on Quick Hot Fix. Today we are celebrating 10 years of Grand Theft Auto V. 10 years ago, next week, uh, this amazing game came out. And so we are going to celebrate. We have asked, uh, we've been working with the speedrunning community for Grand Theft Auto V, and they're going to be showcasing a bunch of different categories for this game today. Before we get into it, just a few quick reminders that I want to give everybody. GDQX will be live from TwitchCon October 20th to 22nd. The event will take place on the Games Done Quick Stage, as well as streamed live on our Twitch channel. You can use exclamation GDQX in Twitch chat to find out more information and check out the games list. Also, Awesome Games Done Quick 2024 will be live in person January 14th through 21st in Pittsburgh, PA. The submissions for speedrunning uh, any of your games, those are open until tonight. They close tonight, so if you want to submit a game to run, get that in today. Also, we have volunteer submissions open. They will be closing on the 18th. You can use exclamation AGDQ in Twitch chat for more information. Uh, so if you're interested in any of the volunteer positions for that, uh, you can just go ahead and apply. If, even if you don't have experience, uh, it's worth a shot, and uh, there's a good chance you'll get picked. Uh, with that said, uh, let's get into some GTA V. I uh, will let everybody introduce themselves, uh, and then they can take it away. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Alex, and I'm going to be running uh, Any Percent Classic for you now. And uh, with me in commentary, I have... Hey, I'm Hustle. Um, I've been running this game for about as much as Alex, and also here's... Yeah, I'm Reggie. Hello. Uh, I also speedrun this game, but mainly focused on uh, another Rockstar game. But uh, yeah, I do speedrun this game, so yeah. Good. Uh, I'm, I, um, I, know what I'm, I know what I'm seeing, at least. All right, and uh, yeah, for the next six hours, we are going to be doing any percent classic for you, as I said. So uh, let's get right into it by pressing new game, and uh, the timer will start once the the uh, sign of Ludendorff North Yankton nine years ago pops up. So in the first frame of that sign, the the timer starts, which will be in a few seconds after the loading screen. And uh, yeah, first of all, I want to say. The timer starts now, uh, and that uh, I'm super hyped to be here. I'm super happy about this event. Uh, yeah, GT5 on the big stage, 10 years anniversary. I can't believe this game has been out for 10 years already, honestly. Yeah, right, that's kind of crazy. Like, I remember yeah. getting it on the first week it came out. Oh yeah, for me it was a bit later, but uh, I've also been playing this game for a long time, like nine and a half years, which is just mad to think about. So yeah, um... We are now already in the first heist of the of the game, and there's a dialogue skip here. There we go. Um, yeah, this this GTA game starts off a bit more fast paced than the other ones, I would say, because we're basically in the middle of a, our first big robbery already. And uh, yeah, as it said on the sign, this uh, robbery takes place nine years before the actual normal story. And uh, it just like works as a bit of a introduction to the characters for the story. Yeah. Uh, nope. Yeah, I mean, I guess Vice City starts similarly interesting, although that's only in a cutscene, you know, where like some 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 drug trade gets interrupted. But yeah, the, yeah. the helicopter thing, yeah. Yeah, but like this actually yeah. starts out with some uh, blood of pumping gameplay. Yeah, you yeah. actually get thrown into it quite quickly. Like you get some uh, gunplay here in a second, also really introduces like the mechanics of the shootouts and stuff. Exactly, and as you can so. see there already, we just used pretty much the biggest mechanic that was introduced in this game, that being the character switching. As you could see, earlier we were playing as Michael, who's now over there, and now I'm Trevor. And uh, yeah, also, uh, we're already almost at the first shootout, which is like two and a half minutes into the run, which is like super early for a Rockstar game, for a GTA game. Okay, there's like a skip here that you can get if you get in front of Michael, but I didn't get that. Uh, shootout time. Yeah, and in the shootout, one thing that I like did was uh, pick up the gun of the security guard, because there's a thing in GTA V, and then if you just swap guns, then the gun gets reloaded automatically. And uh, another thing is that if you just keep putting away your gun and taking it out again, um, if you're in something that's called a combat stance, you know, when you like shoot your gun and uh, Trevor or Michael or Franklin just kind of gets, you know, excited, I guess you could say, then if you just keep uh, rapidly spamming tab, <laughs> then you move faster. You know, it's called tab movement for, for a reason. 
I like your description uh, of getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should also explain that, uh, as you can see in the top right corner of my screen, there's an orange number, that being the FPS counter. Uh, this is something special about GTA 5 speedrunning. Unlike most other speed games, we permanently have an FPS counter uh, on screen. This is because there's many, many, many different strats where we have to lock our FPS. Uh, the first one coming up already soon in a minute. And uh, something else I want to say is that this mission, Prologue, also has uh, Rockstar's favorite mechanic, that being the unskippable cutscene. Where, well, yeah, normally I guess we'll see about that. Yeah, we will see about that exactly. <laughs> because what I'm going to be attempting now is uh, a cutscene skip of a normally unskippable cutscene, which I do by driving into the snow here, then shooting my tank to get the, the gasoline running out, and then mission failing at a very specific time, which will hopefully work. It's a very, it's a very, very difficult strat. Okay, let's see this. Okay. Uh, uh, he shoots it, he gets oh. in. Uh, oh, that's nice. Cutscene fail. Well. Wow. There we go, that's awesome. The cutscene fail Actually, is like even a little bit faster still. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So Alex like was exactly one frame away from getting in the car too early, uh, but he didn't. Exactly. So. Yeah. So this trick that I just landed is literally frame perfect. Like if I was a frame off there, I would either have uh, gotten the cutscene like normal, or I would have gotten a slower version of the skip, which is like three seconds slower than what I got. And in general, this skip saves like... 35, 40, not 50. Yeah, 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 35, yeah. 40, yeah, exactly. Which yeah, is yeah, huge yeah. for this early. And as I said, uh, this thread is actually really difficult. It's a very small window, which uh, I, I guess it's nice that uh, it's so early in the run. Like imagine if this was like five and a half hours in. Because like the, the penalty for missing this thread is either you don't get the checkpoint and you uh, respawn early in the drive, which uses like a minute or so, or you get the cutscene, which loses like, as I said, 40, 50 seconds. Yeah. Either way, it's uh, in a normal speedrun setting, it's a reset. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's like 50 seconds or a minute of early time loss is just. It's just a reset. <laughs> yeah, it's just a reset. Okay, the mission is actually over right now. So, yeah, uh, we have a small break. I guess, I think. Okay, yeah. Uh, we are going to take a quick break here just to uh, get the video issues uh, figured out. Uh, so mm -hmm. we're going to be back in just a few minutes, everybody. Sorry about the delay, but we'll be back soon. Hello, everybody. Sorry about the long wait, but we should be all good to go now. I will hand it right back over and we'll get right back into it. All right, so uh, then I'll do the countdown for the timer. So three, two, one, go. And we are back in the second mission of the game after quite a long delay. Uh, we have completed Prologue and uh, yeah, we are now in uh, 2013 after having skipped nine years to the future, <laughs> yep. magically. And uh, yeah, we now find ourselves as our third uh, main protagonist that after having played the first two in Prologue. Uh, this being Franklin and this homie Lamar. Yep. Also, just for the yeah. people that, that were around in Prologue, um, it was awesome. Alex did it really well. It was, it, it was super cool and you should be sorry that you missed out. But uh, the rest of the run will be even better, so don't fret. <laughs> yeah, we've got some awesome strats planned for you. Even some yep. stuff that was only found today, so this will be the first run ever to do it. So oh, really? Gonna You're awesome. gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Nice. <laughs> we'll talk about more and about that more when it comes up. Yeah. So, but first uh, of all, uh, yeah. we, you, you can also see right now that Alex is uh, using um, Franklin's special ability quite a lot here. He has a, every character in GTA 5 has a special ability to use, and Franklin's is 
he magically um, increases the vehicle that he's driving. He increases like the gravity of it and the grip. Uh, oh. And it's been used in the speedrun for um, to basically go giga fast. Exactly. That's one way to put and it. it also slows time. That's probably uh, worth mentioning. And uh, oh, well, yeah. yeah, there's also driving in, in in this GTA game is very different than all the other ones because of a couple of driving mechanics. So uh, the first one, the one that's used most, is called curb boosting, where basically. As soon as I go over any sort of like small bump or incline or anything, even like the curbs on the side of the road here, like now for example, this just made me faster. Uh, basically, what happens is that uh, the whenever the car's uh, suspension is compressed or extended, you get a speed boost. I'm not kidding, literally every time. So even like when you're driving normally in GTA Online, all the time you get uh, little speed boosts. No GTA 5 speed run is ever glitchless. It's a non-existent category, and if you claim that you've run it, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a glitch happening every two seconds. Yeah, Whether yeah. you intend it or not. So, <clears throat> But yeah, that's not the only thing that we've been using. Um, there's a couple of more stuff. Uh, should I explain it or should someone else? Uh, first of all, there's a small dialogue skip strat here. I'm using the character switch wheel to skip a dialogue line. So that's a nice little strat. But yeah, you can go ahead. Okay, so, uh, the biggest one that you're going to see and have seen already is something called a brake boost. Um, similarly, when you go over a bump, um, if you go over a bump and also accelerate and also brake at the same time in a car that's either front or all wheel drive, then you'll kind of see like a little skid mark on the road. And it's almost like the car is doing like a burnout while driving. And if you see that, then congrats, you've just done something called a brake boost. You know, coming from because well, you break the car and that boosts you. And not only does that make the car a lot faster than what it would be normally, but if you combine that with Franklin's special ability, then the added traction will make it even stronger. And it's just going to pull us around the map at a warp speed. Um, and you know, if it wasn't cool enough already, well, that's really nice if you have speed already and want even more. But what if you don't have any speed? Well, that's what. Alex is doing right now, it's a mid-drive. If you pull on the handbrake right before the car is about to shift up, then the higher revs that you know a vehicle gets when it's about to shift just continue being there for the duration of the handbrake, or you know, not quite, but for like a second maybe. Uh, so yeah, if you just try to jerk on the handbrake before a car would shift up, then you just kind of get like a weird sound and the car goes faster. And just like with a brake boost, if you combine that with Franklin Special, then you can go really fast. And not only that, but you can combine the two. He relax to the mid-drive into a brake boost, and he's already going really quick. That's how we're going to speed up drives a lot. And, you know, curb boosting is kind of irrelevant with all this. But then again, only Franklin has this special ability, and curb boosts are really important on the other characters. Because even though they are minimal, they do add up over time. And even right now, Alex is doing curbs. You know, even though they only add a little, when you do so much of them, eventually, well, you just demonstrate the curb boost on that lady. You know, she was oh worth God. the sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. I didn't yeah. want to hit her because I thought if I hit her, I got cops. But I was well, actually I thinking that, yeah, but you got nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah, uh, while uh, Hostel was explaining that, I also did some other stuff, for example, a small warp into the garbage, as you could see. And uh, yeah, I'm now going to be doing something else that was found quite recently, which is uh, that by running into Lamar here and spamming W and Shift, you can kind of push him forward, although it doesn't want to work right now, apparently. That was a really small one there. That was a big, bit bigger one, but not as much as... Yeah, that's a better one. There you go. Shooting out the homies since 2023 and then punching them. Well, yep, one little okay, punch nice. here to interrupt the dialogue and then we trigger the load up. He has out its usefulness. And then now that we are actually in the shootout, <laughs> what Alex is going to do is just climb this little wall because for some reason, if you climb this wall here or just go up in elevation, then every character just spawns like they just come out after a round of hide and seek. And that, you know, makes shooting them easier because you can all just see them instead of them slowly peeking out over the course of your running. Uh, so yeah. 
And now that Dutch is done, he's just going to sprint away. And he's going to come out in the right alley here because the bike is going to leave. But since he's here already, he can just shoot at the guy and just pick yeah. up the bike. Oh. That's good. I couldn't get the pickup because Lamar started running very weirdly. Like, Lamar ran super early, so I couldn't like set anything up there. Well, Maybe can't because block of me off the my subtitles. Line. It should be oh, said yeah, that that's normally, actual, um, yeah. normally in uh, speedruns, uh, we turn subtitles off. But for the sake of this marathon, they're turned on, I believe. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, Alex is going to lose some time because of this throughout the run, but uh, at least uh, the viewers get the pleasure of having subtitles on, which is nice. Yeah, you could already see the first time loss because of that. Uh, at the end of Franklin and Lamar, which was the second mission of the game, uh, I was kind of like stuck in the garage for a few seconds. Uh, that happened because of subtitles. So basically the game was kind of confused for like five seconds and then it let me progress. That doesn't happen normally, but it just happened because of subtitles. Oh, this car's blocking me perfectly. Yeah, but I wouldn't worry too much. The, this story becomes incomprehensible in about two minutes anyways. Or <laughs> yeah. very soon. <laughs> yeah, you know, it doesn't make sense everywhere. It's overall pretty coherent, but, you know, some stuff is... Uh... <laughs> It's okay, a bit over the top, but it's a CGA, so... Sure. We're not going to be doing the only side mission that we're going to do through, during the run, which is uh, pulling favors, which you have to do to get chop. And uh, it's also a perfect example of the mid-drive break boost combination, which I just, which I just did here. And, you know, it... Um... It needs some mentioning that even though Alex is driving a sports car now, because, you know, sports cars are fast, by doing these boostings, uh, boostings? You know, by doing like brake boosts, mid drive, stuff like that, um, you can get almost any car up to really big speeds, and some of them really quickly. And you will actually see that in the mission after this, and the mission after this, and the mission after that. And in a couple more, you know, we don't always drive fast cars, but yeah. we do have ways I mean, of this... getting them to go fast. Even this truck is using a uh, brake boost here. That's um, um, on the curbs. It's using yeah. curb, curb boosts, boost, yeah. No, yeah. no, no brake boost. No brake boost, yeah. But yeah, you can see that he's going giga fast using Franklin's ability and the yeah. curb boosts to combine um, and go really fast. Yeah, it's actually a good thing that you brought this up because for some reason this tow truck, even though it's all wheel drive, it cannot brake boost. And I think they messed up something about this car in general, or at least that's what I heard from some people who know this stuff. Like, its weight or something is just really not what it should be, so it's always just planted way more to the ground than, than it's supposed to. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, and that's almost the mission done already. Um, what's also worth pointing out is that most missions in this game are like super short. We have tons of like really, really short missions. And, uh... This thing here also shows off something interesting, which is that uh, <laughs> the missions end often are dependent on your on the dialogue that's playing. For example, I had to wait really long for the dialogue here. I'm also bringing up my phone here to get a prompt, which will be useful later. Locking my FPS to 60 to make the gate open quicker. And yeah, once again, uh, doing a midrive to get up to speed. And are you ready for a strat that's... Uh, Quite uh, interesting, look at this. There we go. That's hey, how we uh, triggered the uh, mission nowadays. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, jumping over the fence, nothing special. Yeah. Just building just up enough speed in seven seconds. Yeah. But um, if you think that that speed build up was fast, then look here. Looky, looky. Uh, first of all, what Alex is doing is he's going to just <laughs> steal this cart and he's going to position that right next to the door. Exactly. Because Lamar is going to attempt to put a trap in the van, but if we can just block his pathing, then the AI just says, nope, I will not even attempt this, screw this. And he will just teleport into the van along with Chop. Very yeah. nice triple time save, but the bigger time save is going to come here, because Alex is going to spin around, hit the palm tree, and then he's going to pull a mid-drive around here, and then do a brake boost right here in this little hole. And now that's some speed already, but he's going to do another brake boost here, and a couple more here on the right side. And yep, see, this van is supposed to go like about half this fast. Well, unfortunate, we don't play by the rules, do we? 
Yeah, we really don't in this game. Yep. <laughs> and this this is one of the most fun things in the speedrun. It just goes so fast in like really really slow vehicles. And it also makes for a really high skill ceiling. Oh yeah, definitely. Not even just driving in general, but also dodging traffic cars that spawn in. Since we are going so fast that the traffic patterns don't often keep up. Like, there were supposed to be cars in this parking lot, but they just weren't because they just got here so early that they couldn't load in in time. And yeah, exactly. sometimes you just get like bikes, trucks, people, anything, taco truck, just in your way. And knowing how to dodge them um, doesn't only require some good reaction times, but you know, also knowing how to drive efficiently or like the truck. But something cool is coming up. Which is none other than uh, getting to this cutscene earlier than you're supposed to. There's three checks that the game is looking for here. One of them is there not being any dialogue running, so Alex is calling the cab company here to have Lamar and Franklin not talk. The other is entering this zone on the left here. This is uh, where the game starts rendering in the assets for the cutscene that's about to play. And the third is to be within three meters of D, the guy you're chasing. And if all three of these are met, then this cutscene just starts. Yeah. Uh, that skip saves like roughly 15 or so seconds, I think. And yeah, it's quite impressive. Th like, this is a strat that was found purely by looking into the code of the game. Um, which kind of showcases how strat finding has changed over the years. Because back in the day you would find strats by like going out and just testing random stuff. And nowadays it's just like, okay, look in the code, what can you find? Unless your name is Twisted Tamer, in which his case he just sits down, tries random shit for six hours, and then um, he's like, Oh, hi guys, I found a way to save two minutes. Yeah, that has been apparent in the <laughs> last few weeks. <laughs> literally last week you found a random two minute time save. Bro is just like, hmm, I haven't booted up the game in two weeks, let's see what I can find now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Hey, Twisted Tamer, okay. if you're watching this marathon run, shoutouts. Shoutouts shout to the entire community. He's actually going to be on uh, later with a Trevor Percent DM run. Oh, yeah. So, uh, if you want to yeah. see that, that is coming up in, uh, I would say, about seven hours or something like that, I believe. Yeah, while you're just pushing Trump, why not just give people a refresher on the schedule? Because uh, this is not too uh, interesting. What do you mean? It's shop pushes. Look at him. It's shop. It's a dog. Yep. Pog. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm pulling so hard. You may not be able to see me currently, but my mouth is wide open. I am. I am actually pogging so hard at you pushing this dog. Like it's, the dog it's is dog, here, so that's and alone. then the dog is there. That's unreal. Dogs just, always win. Just unreal. Yeah, literally. Yep. <laughs> Wait, uh, where's the schedule? Delayed. Okay. Uh, that's bad. Oh, so yeah, going into the, first the person to open the uh, the the train car also saves a, a couple of seconds. Yeah. Uh, it's because the game is not bothered to place your character because you can't see your character when you're in first person. So some exactly. animations are faster to do in first person. Okay, also something else that I just did is, uh, as you could see there with the phone. So I, I opened my phone, then I took cover on that train cart, right? That will be used in a few seconds to start the next mission. Uh, meanwhile, I can mention that this is one of those drives that's also very dialogue dependent. Uh, in fact, the dialogue is basically perfect for the ending of the mission. So like, you can perfectly reach the ending of the mission if you just have like a decent enough drive. Also, it's worth mentioning that right here, I just uh, held Franklin's power a bit longer because I didn't want to interrupt the dialogue. And I just noticed that uh, actually the subtitles make this play a bit longer, so I'm actually gonna have to wait here. Usually without the subtitles, I would end the mission now, but I have to wait a few more seconds now because of subtitles. Because apparently subtitles make every dialogue line a bit longer. So yeah, that's an awkward wait right here. That's so interesting. <laughs> That's really interesting, actually, yeah. Okay, that's the mission job done. Uh, I'm not going to be moving on to complications, which is very infamous, because uh, you have to lock your FPS to 60 at the start of the mission, uh, because if you don't do that, you're going to mission fail continuously, because of a bug in, in, in the game. Yep. And, if you uh, have a good PC and aren't familiar with speedruns and you've played this game, um, 
then uh, you may have realized that um, something Look is wrong with the start of this mission. Okay, That's so we start the mission, by the way. <laughs> but Alex just did. Um, it's a really big goofy. Um, it's called a buffered ledge grab, or a ledge buffer for short. Uh, LB, as the homies call it. Uh, the LB, yeah. And what it is, in a very short, is that um, the phone special option and the jump is bound to the same key. And that normally prevents this from ever happening, but if you rebind either the jump or the phone special option, um. and you... Oh, oh, oh no oh, way, oh, man. Oh, Alex is doing something he normally never does. He's doing the complications jump. Okay, so he's going to take a I big speed you. and try and drive into the mission marker, getting out yes. in time. <laughs> <Yeah. Hello>. <laughs> <laughs> so he could just jump his car over the uh, edge into the house. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> so this is um, a really cool strat. Basically, you get invis invincibility when you enter the zone of the the house. So if even if you ragdoll out of the uh, car, if you time it right, um, you don't take any damage, and you can just enter like that. That yeah. saved like three seconds. <laughs> Nobody does this usually because it's so dangerous, and you can see it. But that saved me like three seconds, which is crazy. And I love it how you paused your commentary once you saw me take that right turn towards the jump. I love that so much. I had to laugh so bad when I just hear you pause the the, 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 the commentary when I took that turn. <laughs> yeah, I, I I got some some shivers when my hair just kind of went up. I was sweating bullets. Bro, I got into combat stance, got really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was getting so nervous. I was like, should I do it? Should I do it? Let's just go, man. Oh god, okay. Yeah, if done, um, like, if done perfectly, you can, like, basically launch yourself right next to the uh, white truck that you get up on to the balcony. Uh, which is faster, but it is risky. So, usually people don't really do it. That's one guy that managed to jump through the window, and that was so fast that he actually ended up soft locking the game. That was funny. Really? Yeah, because then you never trigger, um, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, trigger to go in. Yeah. Yeah, so Wait, I was just. Um, How did he land that shot? I mean, that punch? Oh, well, it was brutal. GG's. That's why you don't pick a fight with an Armenian car dealer. Alright, what You're Alex right. is doing here is a save warp. Uh, he's going to use the quick save function on his f uh, phone, make a save, load the save, and while he's holding this, uh, while he's loading the save, uh, he's holding down the character switch button to Franklin. So that's, uh, it's always the character that you're not uh, playing or save warping to. Uh, and uh, that just warps you back to your... Um, your home, basically. Yeah, there for a second, the autosave thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just yeah, like, what? This, this autosave will pop up every time um, we have a save warp because you overwrite, you have to overwrite the autosave, basically. Yeah, exactly. The so save warp, basically, nice and convenient straight to warp yourself to your safe house. Yeah, because this is where the next mission starts, which is father and son, is what we're doing right now. Uh, it's the mission where you save uh, Jimmy from uh, the yacht on the highway. Yeah. In general, these these early missions kind of serve to introduce most of the characters. I mean, obviously, F like Franklin and Lamar introduced Franklin and Lamar. Pulling favors introduced uh, Tonya. Oh. Chop introduced uh, Chop, which is very important. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this mission introduces Michael and Jimmy. Yeah. Sorry, I just need to, need to tell you this because it's going to be really important. Um, Autosaves break um, the new warps that were found by Tamer. I just got a DM about okay. this to tell you, so you will need to turn okay, them off you. or else it will not work. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, good to know, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will disable that once I get there. Thank you. But you're very welcome. <laughs> uh, thank you, sir, thank you, sir. <laughs> on the uh, on the go, uh, strat hunting yeah. has its drawbacks. Yeah, this was found about seven hours ago. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally, oh, wow. I learned that strat. I haven't, I've never done that strat before, I just read about it. <laughs> oh, this is your first time trying? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've written well, down on a sheet of paper next to me what I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. This will surely not turn out goofy. Shit. <laughs> surely not, no. <laughs> surely. I mean, normally you're the, the goofy one, so... Yeah, you gotta take the reins on, on, on the goof. What? If we are goofers in crime. <laughs> no, we are partners what? in goof. Fuck. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> okay, uh... Dude, I, I hit this guy, pick up Jimmy, uh... Fall back again. This whole sequence is very difficult because of rubber bending. Um... Yeah. yeah. Goofing. <laughs> Nothing is, you know... I mean, you know, it's 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 interesting and stuff, but... Dude. Yeah, it's... it It's just red, he did it. Let's just move on. Oh. You know, there's, there's gonna be a lot more. Why, why get hung up on this one? I was what actually considering doing the stunt jumps, but I just... <laughs> <laughs> what he did I for, for it. Was that he went slow as soon as the boat really drive away too far, and he just only went close to the boat whenever there was something to actually, you know, progress, so like, when shooting the guy or picking up Jimmy. And if you just pace that, that drive correctly, then you can get off here and get here to the, the auto shop at the point you need to. I don't think that's even possible uh, with subtitles. No. Yeah, I, I was about to say that. Uh, there's normally a dialogue skip that we go here, uh, that we go for here, but uh, it's not possible if you have subtitles turned on, so uh, yeah. Rip uh, five seconds. And just a um, quick actually, note on the drive earlier like, your instincts always tell you to, like, you have to go fast to catch up to the boat. It's the exact opposite. The, like, actually, the uh, boat will not go. Let's I want to ahead. read a message, like, uh, during this drive, which is also another very fast one, uh, I want to read up on a message from chat by uh, Maidenless uh, Canadian, uh, s uh, talking about the uh, versions of uh, GTA 5, um, because we don't actually play on the current patch of GTA 5. We play on a uh, version from 2015, which has various different uh, um, improvements. <laughs> There is different uh, time saves compared to the current version. It's an improvement for us, not for the game. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice little... Uh... Thank you for asking that. Uh, we don't actually use the current patch. So yes, you are allowed to use old versions. Yes. Also, um, I couldn't finish explaining the ledge buffer because you went for a, a goofy jump. But yeah. Oh yeah. So as as, as we were here, saying, so... um, Alex has rebound his jump key so that he can jump during the uh, mission pass screens. And now he can also jump with the phone up. But this just isn't allowed in the game because, you know, you can't jump with the phone up. There's like no animation for that even, most likely. So instead, yeah. the game just kind of goes like, yep, you jumped. Now what? Well, nothing because the phone is still up. But the moment Alex puts down the phone, the game will actually remember that he tried to jump and that he tried to climb that little fence. So now he climbs the fence and now he's back where, where he tried to do that. Um, yeah. yeah. That's one of the more goofy looking strats that we have in this game. Uh, it's called a ledge buffer. Basically, you set it up and you fly back to where you came from. Yep. Some people can do this. Yeah. You can do this with basically very little limitations. Like uh, you can go like a really long distance. No, the, there's a distance uh, limitation. Really? Yeah. For yeah. Example, after some time, you start to go backwards. <laughs> yeah, like the. What you saw on the start of complications, for example, um, that happened because I outdistanced the object where I set the ledge buffer up. Like, yeah, the complications sure. start thing only works because we outdistance it. So yeah, there, there is a distance limit. Um, also, yeah, Same I just did the hill climb, climbing up that hill right there, which is one of the most difficult strats uh, in the early game. Because, uh, like, you have to go slower to go fast, basically. Because you have to slow down to get the car in the lower gear to then be able to drive up better. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to pull down this guy's house. Uh, which definitely won't have major precautions later on. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, you know. If they pull down my house, I'd just um, say, like, you know what? That's You'd fair. be happy. You don't have to live there anymore. 
That's totally fair. Yeah. I mean, I've seen your horse. You'd be, <laughs> you'd be happy. My house is pretty cool, man. I gotta say, especially for this price of rent, man, this house goes hard. Also, nice no. little strat here by uh, holding the look back button. Uh, I prevent uh, eight enemies from spawning. So yeah. And uh, that's marriage counseling done, which is uh, one of the most pivotal, p pivotal mission in missions in this game, because uh, it introduces us to Martin Madrasso, who basically threatens us and says that we have to give him a bunch of money for the repairs of the house, which basically gets Michael here back into the robbery game. So we have to rob a place now to get the money. Just a little bit of a lower catch-up right now. Is this just a game for you? Alex Hunix, it's crime. There's crimes being committed. Just imagine and? that for a second. What do you mean, okay, and? Speaking of committing crimes, I want to steal a bike here. Um, <laughs> That's so uncool, man. <laughs> yeah, just uh, imagine this guy with the bike. He's just driving his bike. I'm driving my bike. And then... Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, goodbye. It's gonna yeah, be right over. It's, it's, this is our bike now. Look at me, I'm the bike driver now. Um, so yeah, you, you you always want a bike here because it's uh, very quick, very high top speed and because it's got a very short get on and get off animation. And you can also do a nice little strat which I'll do when entering the next mission. Least German accent. Well, glad to me I'm not German, so uh, factually incorrect. No, it's factually correct. It's the least German accent because it's not even true. Because really I'm not German. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, this guy is just stating the real facts. Like, Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. Actually, yeah. Okay. But what I was talking about is this. If I can get it. Yeah, it's it's okay. Hey -oh. Okay, skip a bit of an animation here by bringing up the phone. And uh, now we're on our way in the mission Friend Request. Where we are going to, well, dispose of a very uh, fami familiar looking uh, guy. Yeah. Well, such one a weird the, way to explain uh, that. Did I know yeah, Jay one of the... yeah, Jay Norris. Yeah, So, yeah. obviously, um, a lot of uh, the characters in this in this game are like based on somewhat known personalities in real life. Obviously the game says that it isn't, because they have to, but um, everyone knows who this uh, Jay Norris guy is based on, and uh, yeah. he's going to uh, meet a very um, a not so nice fate at the end of this mission. Exactly. Oh, come on, why would you spoil it? What if this is people's first time seeing it? I mean, okay, maybe it's, it's not 10 very... years old at this point. Yeah, yeah, I was about no to say the same thing. But... The game is literally <laughs> 10 years old. Yeah. It's, it's like when... crazy. <laughs> when you play I mean... a, a game and, and at the end they say, hey, this character dies, by the way. And, you know, if the game is out like a couple of years, then yes, we know. <laughs> I mean, there's still when people who haven't seen Breaking Bad and, and that came out in 2008. So, like. Well, why I... start now? I... Old, I... old news, isn't it? I still haven't seen Star Wars. Have you seen the first movie ever made? You know, the one with the train. No? What are you well, talking about? I'm, I tuned I'm, out for a second and talking about me. old movies with trains. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what? You know, it, my point is it could still be people's first time, couldn't it? Yeah, I, I guess. See? Someone is actually outraged. I can't believe you spoiled it. I have never played the, played the game before. Quote. No, uh, Steamboat Willie is the first. Uh, actually, I don't think it's the first, but no, Steamboat Willie is like a prominent animation in in in, in the history of animation. What I mean is like the first black and white, you know, silent movie when a train just comes into a station. But that's kind of a tangent. I didn't want to go. On. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you talking about Prolog right now? No. They did not beat that train, as opposed to us, who has. See, I circled it back, it's all good. But yeah, um, children, if you're watching, face away, look at some Spongebob. Wait, can we switch to Spongebob? Spongebob? What the f- Why Spongebob? 
I don't really. know, man. What do children watch these days? Like TikTok? Somebody says it's not so long ago that I you were know. one. Yeah, no. Kill Skandal? That's a Star Wars spoiler, man. Why would you do that? <laughs> Wait, what? We ended in a completely weird way there. <laughs> Balooks don't look. <laughs> For context, Balooks is, um, is no, an acclaimed no. GTA 5 speedrunner who is also a child. And, uh, and see, <laughs> see, it's, it's, it's a joke. He's a young man. He's a young yep. man. He is a young lad. It's kind of funny though, because I think GTA 5 has had more minor world record holders than, than ones who are of age. Um, which is, honestly, I don't know how I feel about it, but it makes sense, because, you know, kids have time. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a long game. <clears throat> okay, also, so something interesting here is... Uh... For literally almost a decade, up until last week, we didn't figure out how you can climb this ledge. But uh, li literally last week, we found out that you just have to go through the right door and not the left one. Yeah, this <laughs> and actually that's what brought back makes some you climb that. Yeah. Yeah. For ten years, we didn't know how to climb that, and then like randomly, one guy just didn't go out the left door, and now you can climb it. It's really funny because. I remember, like three, like three years ago, being like, I don't know why, why people just go around. Like you can jump there, and then I told someone to try it, and they tried it, and they couldn't. And then I tried it, and I couldn't again. And I thought that I was just going insane, but no. Turns out that I just went out the right door ac accidentally. So yeah, it's it's yeah. always interesting to just find out stuff like that. Now Rockstar is once again playing their um, jump card, uh, the unskippable cutscene. This is basically like around two minutes of just watching TV. So, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> and, uh, but actually, there is going to be something out of the ordinary, because we, because the program is going to take a very sharp turn once uh, we are allowed to uh, open the phone. But up until then, we just have to wait. Yep. So, in terms of law, uh, we met up with Lester, who is an old acquaintance of ours. Uh, he helped us with heists previously. Uh, and um, now that we've pulled down the house in the mission before, we need money. So we'll be planning, we are planning a heist, but uh, in order to win Lester for our side, uh, we have to perform a little task for him, which is to uh, do this mission. Um, we infiltrated the Life Invader office, and this is the boss of uh, the CEO of Life Invader. Uh, and you'll you'll see what the um, uh, assignment that Lester gave us was here. Okay, that makes it sound like some school coursework. <laughs> pause fish, pause fish. Boom! Oh, wait. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Um, I don't want to say it, but that was kind of mind blowing. <laughs> oh my god! Ho Mind blowing. Hostel. Yes. Hos <sighs> Lock the, th the 60 FPS to be able to jump before the mission pass screen. Let's uh, derail the conversation uh, before Hostel. That's does foreshadowing! Else. It's actually foreshadowing for a later oh, mission called no. Derailed, yeah. It's actually <laughs> foreshadowing, yeah. Mary where the fleet's here, bro. Oh, sorry, I'm just oh, getting God. carried away now. Yeah, got the very carried away there. Uh, we're now introduced once again to Jimmy. We already met in uh, Father Son. And uh, in this mission, we're also going to be. Why aren't you running? Okay. Uh, we're also going to be introduced to Michael's daughter, uh, Tracy. I can't wait. Who is. Uh, having some uh, interesting interactions on the boat right now, and uh, yeah, we're basically going there now. But uh, because this is GTA 5, we aren't going there directly. But Jimmy has a plan on how to get us there. Basically, we're gonna do a drive now, and then we're gonna do a bike ride. Yes. A bike ride, like the one I mean, friend request. No, a different bike ride, because on the on the bike ride on friend request, most of the time the bike is on the ground. However, on this bike. Uh, right, I'm going to be jumping a bit. You'll see soon what I mean. And also that bike has an engine. Oh I yeah, was, that's a difference as well. I was yeah. thinking more about that difference. 
Um, oh yeah, that's the, the, the engine thing as well. Yeah, but uh, yeah. you know. Well, normally in the speed run or like most other runners pick the sports bike here, the the faster one to the left, like the the fast bike, I don't know what it's called, endurance bike, and or whatever. I the slower one. But I'm picking the BMX bike because it can jump. And as we saw in complications, I like jumps. So uh, yeah, I'm now doing what's called bunny hopping, which is basically I'm continuously spamming the jump button while leaning forward, which uh, yeah makes me go quick. Are you a rabbit? But it also makes it very hard to control the bike. What did you say, Hustle? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> a goofy. Good. <laughs> if one more joke like that, and it's soon going to be friends reunited for us. Uh, stupid fucking joke, what? I'm sorry. Nothing. I nothing. didn't even get that one, anyways. Yeah, it was uh, just, I feel like uh, it needs more context. I mean, I get it, yeah. Yeah, see? see What's going on about, about, um... Yeah? I think maybe we should just bury the hatchet on that one. Oh, shut oh up! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Dude. Okay, this conversation has really turned into some monkey business. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Dude. Cool strat here to um, go back on topic is to look uh, on Michael's side and then turn the camera back around on a certain place. That makes a boat spawn. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah. And it's a fast one, so that's really good. Yeah. It's the best possible boat, I think, even. So yeah, it's, it's called boat strat and we spawn in a boat, basically, by looking in a certain way. Saves around 8 seconds. I almost ran off the boat there, which would have been a major skill issue, but okay. Also a nice sailboat over there. Yep. Gotta love it. That's the one that you see don't see a minor want, turbulence it. here, yeah. Man. Uh, but now the time's come to shoot these guys. No, another one. I can't believe Tosla. Which one is... Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. Killing uh, Michael. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the other ending that we don't do. Yeah, it's, it's the lame ending. The, yeah, that's the lamest out of the three. Yeah. Why am I calling Friedlander? What am I doing? <laughs> I called the wrong person, bruh. <laughs> you probably I was so focused on hostel I'm needing like... therapy that I called Friedlander. Anyways, uh, <laughs> earlier someone, I think it was Tanish who said that, asked me whether the t-shirt I was wearing has Trevor on it. And as you can see, it actually has. Because this t-shirt is from our... Uh, Tournament that we hosted, and it's got Trevor and Cletus on it. Hey, yeah, I hope that. you can see it right there. Could you see it? I, I, I can't see it. Yes. 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 yes, yes, I could see it. Yeah. yeah, I actually have the Hey Butter t shirt. Pretty hot design, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of hot, look at the loading. <laughs> oh. Honestly, if you didn't say it, I wouldn't have seen it, but man, that's. that's Anyways, that's um. Hot. Yeah, there was another uh, safe warp. I'm not gonna get uh, the suit, and then I'm going to switch to Franklin, who I just called. Because uh, I set up a hangout strat. Basically, the hangout strat now warps uh, Michael to this position here. So away from uh, the house again. Which is convenient because uh, the next mission takes place over there, uh, there on the map. Uh, which is casing. Which is uh, the first mission in the kind of jewel store heist uh, chain, more or less. Which is also a reference to the older GTA games, because I said chain. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the one who needs therapy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's also worth mentioning, like there are many different kind of warps that we do in in the speed run. So there's the save warp that you've seen before. Now we've done a hangout warp. Uh, we're going to do a hospital warp at some point. Uh, many different strategies that basically place us closer to missions uh, and save time in general. Yeah. So, as I said, we are on our way to the tool store now. Oh, rest in peace. And... Uh... Yep, go on. Yep, rest in peace. I don't even know why I wanted to take that sentence, so... Uh... Yeah, you just erased that person from history. Yeah. Like, he existed and now he just doesn't. 
It's just a bunch of pixels. How do you feel about it, Alex? You just extinguished someone's entire future. I'm feeling good. Yeah, same. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> um, speaking of extinguished, um, if we ever get to look at fire extinguishers again, uh, check out the text on it. You could see it on... Oh, what, why is it stopping? It's got a green light! Okay. Green light! Oh, no, not this reference again. No? Speaking of warping, uh, I'm gonna try to do something here now. I had so little speed, that was very difficult, but uh, that just warped me out the car. So. But will it warp you back in? It will, but not quickly. I think. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, the reason that warp is uh, because Lester can't get out of the uh, vehicle, and you can only get out the driver's side, so if you block out the driver's side, uh, you have to exit the vehicle somewhere, so game just yeah. doesn't have an animation. Yeah, you just... So, we good? Almost. That sound, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, is, it, is, is, is it even going to warp me? It is, okay, but I have to reverse here a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, if, okay, if you would like that thread, um, well, lucky for you, because there's a part two. Yeah, one more warp here. In. So Alex, how do you feel about uh, carbine rifles coming up? What should I even say about that mission anymore? I think it speaks for itself, doesn't it? Because, yeah, I mean, it's probably like the mission that kills the second most runs after Prolog. Maybe after Repo. Yeah, I will sign to that. What was that glitch? What do you mean, the warp? Hey, I see the vents. I mean... I love these kind of warping strats because they're so like nice, so like it's good looking. It's a nice time save. It's convenient. It's just like a typical nice speedrun strat. Also, did you know that you can just eat yourself off this roof here? Okay, Alex. Without dying. Idea. Possible. Yeah. We are going to rate all strats from now on. Okay, should we do like? An S to to F scale, oh, or, absolutely. Or or should we just give them like a number rating, like one to ten? I feel like numbers are easier too. Okay, I agree. I agree. Alex, yeah. what would you rate um, that nice simple speed jump thread? So what did you see? Which one? Which one? <laughs> um, the warp. Oh, that one. Oh, that's a solid like. I mean. Depends on what you would class as a, like, how do you rate it? Because, like, is it time safe based? Is it, like, awesomeness based? I mean, it's like a. Surely, like, an 8 out of 10. No? Okay, okay, you know what? Let's let's, let's establish our, our rubric. Let's rate it on. We've, we've got carbon coming up. Can we stop with the big brain talks? Let's let's rate it um, in, like, a coolness factor, a time safe factor. And um, and what's the third? What? Thing you again. Kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't despawn the car, it doesn't matter. It just gives me more HP. Yeah. So theoretically, I died now, but I didn't. So I'm back at the mission now. <laughs> I've never seen that before. It happened to me like twice in the last week. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gotta pick the loud. It even happened in Hando. Alex has lost so much HP jumping down from the roof that diving out of the car just killed him. Yeah. The oh, fuck? I was so scared again because of the pop up. <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to aim or something here, right? Yeah. Or, or something, I don't know. I mean. <laughs> this, I haven't done the non manip version of car by the nature's because I always do handle and then you do manip. Yeah. Also, hey, uh, so to just Wait. explain why Alex yeah, is on. screaming. Sorry. Uh, it's. um. We are waiting for a, uh, f a text message on our phone for to spawn the next mission. Uh, but ordinarily, you would be having this call <laughs> to Franklin, which blocks a uh, text message from coming in. So now we can just skip it by um, aiming the gun, and the text message will appear. Which means it's going to soft talk after carbines. Never heard about that before. Speaking of carbines, this mission is horrible because of what's coming up now, which is the cop spawns, and I seem to have gotten good RNG. I forgot to shoot that guy, but whatever. 
You're gonna be seen. No? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna be bugged in the heist? I've never seen that before. I've had this before. I've had this a couple of times, it never happened. I thought about it, but it never happened. Okay, so what would you rate Carbine? F, zero, minus, zero? negative, whatever. Yeah. So you would rather it not be in the game? Yeah. Okay, actually, you know what? Uh, instead of ranking threats, let's rank missions and let's rank them on three things. Let's rank them on Wait, gameplay fun. I don't know. Nothing, Hando. <laughs> let's rank them on like right. gameplay fun. Let's rank them on plot, and let's rank them on uh, on. Hmm. Dude, I always have like three in mind, and then, and then I forget the third. I, I swear, I need to take my crazy pills. Uh, that doesn't seem quite frozen to me. What was the third one? I'm actually going insane. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, Hustle, so how would you rate the jewel still highest? Replayability! It was replayability! Oh. Uh, <coughs> we are speedrunners, we've played every mission hundreds of times, what do you mean about replayability? <laughs> yeah, but like, do you enjoy replaying Carbine? No. no. Then it has a very low replayability. Do I you guess. enjoy replaying uh, Lamar Down? No. Well, then th that also has a really low replayability. <laughs> what do you enjoy replaying? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do you... <laughs> Throw long. <laughs> I will not question your motives. But, okay, so. Let's rank the jewel store heist. I would give this, like... A solid 8 on the plot. Because... Even, you know, regardless of how convoluted it is. Um, and how convenient. It's actually a really fun way to reunite Michael and Trevor, you know. Michael coming back into robbing stuff and saying a phrase that he used to say back in the day and then Trevor seeing that on the TV when they were interviewing the guy that was at the bikes. That's, that's cool. That's... You know what? I would actually call that some good writing. For actually a hustle handle stream. What's going on here? My guy hijacked. <laughs> A dude, hustle. Maybe focus on this extremely interesting strat that I'm doing instead of your ratings. Okay, how I'll, I'll, how do you I'll, enjoy the gameplay of this, Alex? Dude, I'm doing an awesome strat here, which is basically... Uh, previously, we used to do a different route here, where you would uh, like go under some bridges and stuff. But now, uh, we recently found out, or like a couple years ago, found out that you can just like always look at the crew, uh, which never fails the mission, and then make your way to the end fastest route possible so it's a super difficult strat because i can't look where i'm going as you can see but uh, it also saves like i don't know 12 seconds or something yeah, that's quite awesome so you would really the ending here is super difficult there we go so what are you talking about what would you read the gameplay on the jewel so highest Zero. So you don't enjoy playing this? No. The yeah, drive is very random with a brake boost. This threat is super difficult. This is boring, so I don't know why. But it's cool, right? I think I, mean, I, think I, yeah. I personally like like um, the um, shooting part, shooting the uh, glass stores in the, in the store itself. Really That's okay. kind of fun, like robbing the actual store is fun. But I oh, agree yeah. with Alex, like, the, this drive is kind of boring, the first drive is kind of boring. I yeah. think the first drive the isn't boring, the first cool. drive is random because of the first brake boost. So it's basically super difficult to get that brake boost, that's the issue here. So it's not random then. But isn't it cool how you just take a slow win and make it go fast? I mean, yeah, that's true. I suppose, yeah. Just like top, yeah. Yeah. What's the worst thing about gaming during a speedrun? The randomness of the NPCs, the police or the NPC allies? Uh, the traffic. The random traffic is hellish in this speed game. I mean, you could even see it on this small drive here. Like, 
the cars or, or the, like the traffic can be in any random spot. So you always have to like adapt. You can never take the same line in every single one of your runs. So GT5 is always, is always a very random speed game because so you can only go in certain places, you know. For example, like this truck is like this this car here is blocking me perfectly. What is this, man? That's okay, very perfect, I guess yeah. yeah, that's very perfect. Yeah. Um. Very topical. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, the randomness of the cars, the traffic RNG is the worst thing. So yeah, that's the heist past the tool store, which is, I guess, the second major heist of the game after Prologue. And this also concludes uh, Chair Percent, which is one of the segments of this game. And uh, I would say that uh, after this, we are going to do our first five minute break. So, uh, yeah, is uh, Tech ready for this? <laughs> Yeah, we're all ready, if you're yeah. ready. Okay, then ready, uh, let's uh, pause it right now. Awesome. And then the strip club during the cutscene. Because, uh, awesome. yeah. No, you go ahead, you go ahead, sorry. What? Okay, yeah. Uh, w during these long uh, runs, we take some breaks every now and then, just so we can uh, let everybody get up, stretch, get some water, anything like that. Uh, real quick before we go to the break, uh, if you've missed out on any of our other hotfix shows, uh, you can go check them out over on youtube.com slash games done quick. We'll be right back after a quick break, everybody. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. Today, we are celebrating 10 years of GTA 5. We're in the middle of 90% run. I will hand it back over if you want to just give a quick countdown, and then uh, we'll get right back into it. All right, we are back. We are currently at the end of uh, Jewel Store. Next mission is going to be Long Stretch. And uh, yeah, um, we'll just get right back into it, I guess. I'm going to do the countdown for the timer. So uh, three, two, one, go. We're and back. Uh, yeah, we're back. As you can see, we are in the strip club. And uh, we've, we've, of course, got to quickly make our way out of it. Uh, don't look at any uh, uh, of the... Yeah. Ladies of yeah. the night. Let's hope that um, um, the audience got a long stretch because um, we are looking at a long <laughs> stretch of gameplay. How can you pull this off so seamlessly? That was so... Oh my god. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, this mission that I'm entering right now with a smooth entry is called Long Stretch. So, yeah. That's... I mean, it sucks when you have to explain the joke, but... Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's shoot a bit here to get them to run. And uh, <laughs> now we're on our way to ammunition to grab some more gear for the shootout that's gonna happen. Because we are going to do a drug deal in this uh, mission, which is gonna go, which is gonna go south, of course, because it's a GTA game and no nothing can ever go well. <laughs> Okay, buy the shotgun and the very necessary flashlight. Yeah, it's pivotal. The game. Yeah, it's pivotal. If the you don't buy the flashlight, the it's, it, it, it's so it's so jovial. It's so jovial. Oh, I wanted to go for that jump so bad, but there was a bus there. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, I saw that bus and I was like, okay, no way. There's like a jump there, you can jump off that bridge and fly to like here. But I couldn't go for it because the bus was perfectly blocking me. So, yeah, kind of sad. Okay, another jump here, small one. And then we are on the way into the... What? Uh, okay. Nice fence. <laughs> I thought that was blocking nice fence. Wow. Oh. Okay. Now, shotgun shootout. I mean, there's this thing in games where I think that shotguns are either like super broken or super bad. For example, like in GTA 5, they are super broken, especially the automatic ones in online. Super interesting. I feel like everything is broken in online. <laughs> oh, yeah, online in general is broken, I guess. Yeah. I mean,. There are even online speedruns actually, which is super interesting. Okay, I'm moving ahead a lot here, and I'm now going to just stand <laughs> in this room so that the enemies kill me. 
which uh, will then warp Stretch and Lamar closer to my position because else I would just mission fail if I abandoned them if I just continued. So yeah, one strategic mission fail here in the middle of... What? Yeah, you you need to die twice because sometimes Lamar and Stretch just, just don't warp, so it's a good thing that I no. just noticed. Don't even say that, that was not intentional. <laughs> it hostile. Don't, don't even say that. This, Man, I'm that was not intentional in life. I have no idea why I died there. I guess I just got... I could have gotten lasered. There's this bug in this game where an enemy basically fires the entire magazine into you. And that's called lasering. And that could have happened there. There's like nothing you can do against it. I guess just bring a mirror. What? <laughs> because it's a laser, I am not going to explain my tricks to you. I, I, I've given up. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that you. one. I you don't? You, on that one. you got it? Yeah, I got it on that one. This, this thing is no, looking- What? There you go. It's a prop, it's not actually on fire. No, but I could- But I moved through it. I walked through it. Yeah, there was a no. collision. Is, is one of them stuck? Yes. There's no dialogue either. I guess just go back and babysit him. You know, he just needs some encouragement, it's fine. Dude. I'm gonna kill these guys. He warped. Wait. He warped. He warped. Okay, that's nice. Hey, yo. He warps. Hey, yo, he warped. Yeah, see? That's just. Some lifelessness there. If your homie is just stuck and he needs some encouraging, don't. They will just teleport. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> don't, don't, don't ever care about your friends. The issue will just fix itself. Trust me. Have you tried turning them on and off again? <laughs> <laughs> that's about as useful. What's this car doing there? That's a oh, bad that's cop spawn. A... It's an interesting cop spawn. That's not supposed to happen normally. I hope he doesn't go straight, because that would be bad, I guess. He should turn though, turn left probably. Oh yes, okay. He, he was gonna turn left, but I lost him anyways. That was a really weird cop spawn, that's not supposed yeah. to happen. Okay. I'm gonna go below this uh, house now to have a quick switch animation, then I'm gonna switch to Michael for the next uh, save warp. So, make a save and. Yeah, once again, save warping to get back to Michael's. And uh, what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna do a bike dupe. So, I'm gonna enter the bike and then get off it, and while getting off, I'm gonna switch. And that's gonna dupe the bike, hopefully. Is Alex German? No, I'm not. I'm Austrian. Which is not German. What you should have done is just have people keep guessing at your nationality and just whatever they say, say no. Even if they guess correctly. I mean, and just keep it a no mystery. Nobody ever guesses correctly, seriously. Like, almost nobody has ever guessed that I'm Austrian. It's usually German or French for some reason. Okay, I'm, back to there. I mean, let's be real, there's a solid chunk of this this planet that thinks that Austria is just like a province of Germany. So. And there's a solid chunk that doesn't even know Austria exists. So. Yeah. Switzerland? Oh, oh yeah, that's my favorite part of Germany, man. <laughs> or confuse Austria with Australia. Yeah. Oh yeah, Alex! You did a goofy! You don't need no, to I duped the bike if you're doing the switch. I know, I know, I know. No? I, I duped it anyways, because I want to show it off. You know what, that's fair. That's... That, that's... Fair. Oh, is that... Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you lift? Do I look like I lift? <laughs> look at me. Alex lifts. He lifts so much. He lifts up he lifts. every conversation with his good spirits. <laughs> yeah. Whenever yeah, he's man. in the room, people are smiling.
If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. Wait to learn about Lichtenstein, yeah. Hey, what does Salzburg mean? Does it is it just like Salt Mountain? Yeah. No, Salt actually, Castle. no. It's it's Salt Castle, yeah. Man, Salt I Castle. almost spoke German. Unterwasser. Krankenwagen. Okay, Hostel isn't actually German. He just thinks he's funny. Oh yeah. He's a Dark Viper AU from Austria either. Yeah, he's from Austria. The AU stands for Austria. Yeah, I think he lives like maybe two cities away from Alex. They actually met once. He's a cool yeah, guy. Yeah, he's my neighbor actually. Yeah. I can hear him scream and punch his desk every time he tries to speedrun. <laughs> yeah, he sometimes brings him some jam and stuff, you know, just like good neighborly duties. Yeah. Water his plants, feed his cat, you know, stuff like that. What cat? Meow. <laughs> Dude! No. No, don't even, don't even go there. So yeah, uh, I think we need to do a bit of more of uh, lore explaining here while I do the stunt jump. Um, basically, after doing uh, the jewel store, uh, Trevor has now realized that uh, Michael is alive. He previously thought he was dead. He thought he was killed in the prologue uh, heist, but he's actually alive. So yeah, we're now playing as Trevor on his uh, quest to become the number one drug lord in uh, this desert area. Which, uh, yeah, we're going to accomplish in the next few missions by killing a bunch of guys, like literally. Every single of Trevor's missions now is just go to a place, kill people, go to the next place. You say that like That's it's a Trevor exclusive thing. I mean, in the other, I mean Basically no, every it's, it's, I mean, yeah, Most good point. time anyway. <laughs> Very good point. Let's count the murders on this section, how about that? You killed how many people so far? Three? Yes. No, no, okay. no, but that's Trevor. Oh, two. Oh, I mean, my. if you count Johnny or not. Uh, oh, you count Ashley as well, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah it's three. Eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ah, uh, no way. Hmm. Ah. Uh, Mike? Or this tank? I don't know why this sometimes doesn't work. I wanted to explode myself in that thing, but it sometimes doesn't work, so I have one HP. Why am I, how am I regenerating? <laughs> Average GT5 moment regenerating in literally hellfire. Also, yeah, I, I should have mentioned that, but uh, I'm sorry, GT4 fans. Uh, in this mission, we killed Johnny, Ashley, Terry, and Clay. So, rest in peace. It's I fine. wonder which characters yeah. they will kill at the beginning of GTA 6. <laughs> which GTA 5 Thanos characters? Let's go. Yes, another runner who's going to be doing a run later on. Also, this section here is one of the few where you um, use the controller instead of the keyboard and mouse because it's actually quicker. Um, you can hold down the controller accelerator here, which like makes your truck accelerate a bit earlier or something like that. So yeah, and uh, after taking out a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> nice scream, Ortega. Um, after taking out a whole bunch of lost gang members, we're now starting our next feud with the next gang, and this being the Aztecas, which uh, Ortega is like the boss of or something. And yeah, I wonder if he will show up again after having left him alive. I could have killed him there, but I chose not to because I'm a good human being. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna show up again in like four minutes, two minutes. No way! You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as this mission is kind of like the big, very big story moment. You know, playing as Trevor now, whole new area of the map, whole new characters. GTA 5 does it a couple of times that it just basically resets a bit. You have like a new beginning, a new kind of chapter, a new new characters and whatnot. 
You can't actually switch back to Michael and Franklin at this time of the game. Yeah. I actually heard an analogy um, to the game's plot where, like, if you think of it as, like, a movie or, like, a book, it doesn't really work because there's just always so many plots running, you know, at the same time. But if you think of it more like a TV show, then the pacing is actually a lot more sensible. Because, you know, sometimes you just advance this plot, sometimes you advance that plot. Like, it's, it's, it's really written like, you know, something that would be, like, on HBO or Netflix. Yeah, like, I mean, g games are more like TV shows anyways than movies, because, like, you, you, you basically never finish a game in one sitting, do you? Mm. I can say that I'm finishing the game in one sitting right now. Yeah, well, you but, know, usually. Uh, this is not yeah. the usual. Usually you don't finish GT5 in one sitting. Yeah, but I mean, it's not even really about the length, but about, like, the style of storytelling. Like, you know, yeah. there are many games that um, only focus on, like, one main narrative, and it starts out at one point and ends in another, and there's not too many turns along the way. It's a very straight road. GTA V yeah. is kind of um, squiggly. Yeah. Grab some break posts here on the side. While we get introduced to Trevor's occupation. And while uh, Franklin is a good and honest car thief, and Michael is a good and honest retiree, Trevor has more of an active role in his business, because he's a drug lord, basically. Why are you laughing, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, a, an honest car thief is kind of... Yeah, yeah an honest car thief. Yeah. Nice little shootout here. I mean, let's be real, what's worse? Being a car thief or a liar? I have nothing to add to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. Good question. <laughs> no. He's behind the bike now. Okay. I always have to focus a lot during these shootouts. Yeah, the shooter is fairly scripted, once you kill everyone. Uh, Alex, of course, knows where all the enemies will spawn. He knows at which point he has to um, do a death uh, walk. I'm delaying the dialogue here to uh, not play a certain of Trevor's dialogue line here. Yeah, because Trevor's power, which we should also explain, makes him invincible and also delays the dialogue. And yeah, that's TPI done. We also got rid of uh, Ortega, who we left alive many minutes ago. We have now gotten rid of. Good. And yeah, we're now on our <laughs> yeah, way to Nervous Run. <laughs> Tying up a loose ends, just the way I like yep. it. Yeah. Uh, we're now on our way to Nervous Run, which... Uh, yeah, it's the third mission in this whole Trevor kind of segment, and uh, yeah, I should maybe also explain Trevor's two kind of sidekicks, Wade and Ron. Um, yeah, they are, like, every character has their, you know, sidekick, you know, Franklin has Lamar, Michael has his family, and Trevor has these two guys. What do you mean? Nothing, I just, I just see it really funny that Trevor's sidekicks are a meth head and a conspiracy theorist and Michael just has his family. That's <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, who, who would you side with? Like, a crack dealer or a gamer? I mean, it's kind of Gamer, obviously. He's a speedrunner. I mean, yeah. yeah. You do Jimmy's playing that. Righteous yeah. Slaughter. Run. Yeah. Run, I got the gun. yeah, I also bet I Jimmy bought, speedruns uh, Righteous Slaughter. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy's an actual speedrunner. Uh, as you can see there, I bought some extra things, which is uh, the sniper, I bought uh, the tear gas, and I bought the micro SMG. Look at this strat. Nice little ladder launch here. Uh, yeah, basically, ladders in this game don't quite work as intended sometimes, because you can just fly, it, fly up them. 
Also blow up Ron here for a quick little time save. Which warps uh, Ron closer to his uh, ending location, so this saves like a second or two. And yeah, now we have uh, the first of many sniping sections in this game, which of course are very uh, entertaining and welcome in speedruns. Definitely not uh, very boring. I'm gonna shoot the two lights and then the sky. Didn't try ATV jump. Oh yeah, like there's a different strategy you can do here where you can try to like basically get shot up this tower by going off of that ledge there on the train tracks. You can like fly up here. Um, it's no longer done anymore because it's just too inconsistent. Nowadays the ladder launch is just better, I guess. And yeah, now we're just waiting until this one guy in this car arrives, until the section continues. While we wait, can we um, actually um, say that next week is the actual anniversary date of um, this game coming out, next Sunday, in fact. Oh, yeah. And to celebrate that, the uh, speedrun uh, community, of which the three of us are part of, are actually having a wow. any percent classic race that anyone is welcome to join in. Um, so um, basically, everyone's welcome to play. We'll all be in a voice call and in the GTA 5 speedrunning Discord that you're, everyone is also welcome to join. And yeah, that should be a lot of fun. Um, We're hosting a big anniversary race, basically. It's going to be huge. Can I post a link in chat? Uh, you'll have to DM me. Okay. And then I'll post it for you. I am going to send you a link to the server invite. Uh... Okay. Also, watch this shot here, it's very difficult. There nice. we go. Nice, well done. There you go. Yeah, you have a that very, very like... small window for that shot. Yeah, that might be like the most difficult single shot in this uh, game. Okay, yeah. put that one guy there on top. Yeah, but... now I'm gonna <laughs> explode this gas station to blow up the van. I'm going to just clean up the rest of the guys before I'm going to jump into the airplane. <clears throat> yep. And there we go. And uh, just some more things about the race. No, not everyone has to be in the call. You can just leave after the starting. Or you can just start at a, at a different time. Or you can just quit earlier. You know, we are all doing this for fun. And yeah. uh, if you can't have fun, um, you know, at the time that we start, or you need to leave earlier, or you just take a really long time to finish the game because you are brand new, you know, it's cool if you just quit earlier. It's it's fine. Uh, so yeah, even if you've never played on GTA 5 before and you just played it once seven years ago, you can still join this and just you know have fun with the speedrunners or or you know alone, I guess. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a call that anyone is welcome to join, but you also don't have to, so... There's exactly. a Discord link there. So that link that Church just posted in chat is the link to our Discord, our official GTA 5 speedrunning Discord. So go ahead and join it if you are interested in speedrunning this game, or just want to, you know, talk to the runners, I guess. Yeah, yeah we are, all three of us are in this Discord. Yeah, and we regularly want to talk <laughs> to the legendary Alex Hoenix, the star player, then, uh, then you can do that. <laughs> I recommend that you join and you just ping him directly in the channel called Speedrun Questions. He likes that. <laughs> yes, please do that. Dude. It's some advanced trolling right there. Also, you could see a bit of like. You could see a bit of checkpoint manipulation there. Basically, I drove the plane off the side and then mission failed, which skipped me into the air, which saves a bit of time. So yeah, that's quite nice. Um, yeah, that auto scroller that I did just there as well, you can't really speed it up, just kill the guys. And yeah, now I'm flying a very precise route here to not outdistance Ron while still uh, going as fast as possible. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically, 
actually something else I should mention is that we actually split the GT5 speedrun into s multiple smaller categories as well. So there's this category I'm doing right now, which is 80% classic, no on Mission Zero. Uh, we will explain what our Mission Zero is later. Um, and we actually uh, have several segments, I think it's eight, that uh, we are basically like small portions of the game. So there's 0%. Which uh, went from the beginning up until the tool store heist, or up until the first pause that we did in this run. And then right now I'm doing the countryside segment, which basically goes from Mr. Phillips, which we did earlier, to two missions from now. And uh, I guess this section also gives us a good uh, moment to explain what on mission zero is. So as you can see, the title of the stream, and in like on the leaderboard as well, uh, the leaderboard is split into on mission zero and no on mission zero categories. Uh, I'm currently running the no on Mission Zero version, and but we will also see our Mission Zero uh, categories later on in this stream, in this uh, event. Basically, on Mission Zero is a skip that saves around 30 minutes in the speedrun, and uh, it's also known as the Cletus strat, because we abuse the Cletus side mission nine times to skip a whole bunch of missions. Basically, by gaining checkpoints on the side mission and then transferring them to the main mission, we skip the main mission. And that's such a big and revolutionary strat that we decided to split, split the leaderboard. Yeah. It's that. It's really that much of a of a strat that uh, a split was necessary or was deemed necessary yeah. by the mods. Exactly. We held a vote and decided to split it. Also, it's worth noting that in this mission you don't actually have to fly close to the ground, you can just go. So, a uh, typical Rockstar moment, uh, telling us about restrictions that don't actually take place. Also, pay attention while entering this uh, hangar, because if you destroy the plane while entering it, the game will play this entire cutscene and only then you will mission fail. And then you have to do the entire drive and the cutscene again. It's uh, it's always a bit um, like driving the plane at speed into the hangar because there's like a little bump just in front of the hangar. Um, yeah. um, it dislodges your plane as well. It's it's quite actually it's actually more difficult than it looks. Yeah, true. Now that this cutscene is finished, we are now going to enter one of the most disliked uh, vehicles in this game. That being this. Uh, Abomination here, the Dune Buggy. Um, basically, every speedrunner hates it because it it just handles so horribly, honestly. Like, it's open wheeled, so it can get stuck everywhere, and it just likes to spin out a lot. I'm sure you will, like, see it later when I have an inevitable crash. Yeah. I actually had it just recently. Um, I flipped uh, a Dune Buggy in a speedrun, and the uh, one of the rear wheels got stuck in the ground, and there was no way to uh, fix it. I just had to get a different car. Yeah, that's a rockstar moment. Yeah, typical that's rockstar sure. moment. A typical rockstar moment. Yeah. Also, I'm on my way to the mission Crystal Maze now, which uh, will introduce us to the next big enemies in this run, I guess. Uh, so far in this Trevor section, we've met the Lost MC Motorcycle Gang, the Aztecers, which is uh, like a Truck cartel thing, and uh, in this mission we're going to meet the O'Neill brothers, which uh, is a family of drug dealers or like drug uh, makers, I guess. But however, they won't be existent for very long because we're going to dispose of most of them during this mission. Kind of. I won't actually be shooting anybody. They will all just magically despawn while I do a certain strat. Yeah. So this jump is very dangerous, you can often spin out. Which I didn't, which is nice, I guess. It's basically what Alex is doing in this mission is called pacifism. <laughs> yeah, pacifism. Oh, true, yeah. true actually. Yep. Uh, also, you can get blocked by the train here, which is interesting. Yeah, I guess we can't beat the train everywhere, but we do yeah. strive to beat as many of them as we can. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the worst one is coming up in like four hours roughly on Lamar down. No, yeah. Like that's that, that that train is gonna be horrible. Like trains in general in this game are very RNG heavy if they block you or not. We'll see that on scouting as well on Lamar down. And yeah. Oh, how many brothers you 
Anyways, now uh, for the very pacifist way of doing this mission, so I'm just gonna park the buggy here to use it later. And then I'm going to just run into the house, activate Trevor's power to not die. And then yeah, I'm just gonna run past all of these enemies to do one of the best threats in the speedrun. Just run into the basement, grab the gas canister, uh, throw, a, throw a tear gas, and now instead of pulling the gasoline trail, I'm just gonna casually run out of the thing, out of the house, everything explodes, and we are on our way out. It's that easy. I love this strat, it's like one of the best yeah. strats the speedrun has to offer. <laughs> If, yeah, if you've played this game casually, you will know, like, pouring the gasoline trail takes forever. Exactly. Uh, so this strategy, just throwing a grenade in the basement and running outside, is, uh, is a godsend for the speedrunners. The thing stuck to my car. It's fine, oh, yeah. it's a friendly. <laughs> it's a, it, it's it a spoiler! Slow. It's a spoiler! It makes me slower, though. It, it, it slows me down. It slows me it down. Was a, it was a front wing. Yeah, it was a front wing actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, splitter. Uh, that actually made me slower though. Like that can happen, but I it can tell. Slower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, name all the O'Neill brothers: Elwood, Walton, Wynn, Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, and Don. You're and only a real GTA others. 5 enjoyer if you know all the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> and uh, the janitor's license plate. No, I, I don't even know that because like you never hear it in the speed one. Harvey Molina, license plate number. That's all I know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you don't even know it yourself. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Dude, imagine just memorizing a license plate number. I know my own I, one. I, yeah, I but... know my own one exactly. I know my own one. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> no. 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 That would leak my city. Could be fun. Does the buggy even have a license plate? I know plate? my dad's one as well. Uh, that. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you, Hostel! Come on! Hostel! I was checking for the license plate! <laughs> oh, man! Hostel? Anyways, uh. Speaking of all of Trevor's enemies, uh, we're now going to have some more friendly interactions with the Lost. Uh, once again, we're not going to directly kill anybody, we're just gonna casually place all of these C4 on these uh, trailers. And then, uh, while, placing the, while throwing the last one, explode them and drive away. And we killed nobody, at least we didn't see anybody. I guess you can say the Lost have been damned. Oh my god! How do you keep on doing these kind of things? Like literally, how many more of these can you be doing? <laughs> I'll think of a few more. <laughs> this makes me so nervous, Ron. Riggy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, my brain is currently just on two things. Trying oh, to no. figure out how I will stay awake for this entire thing and coming up with mission name jokes. <laughs> Are we expecting a short break after countryside? No. The next break is gonna be on Eye in the Sky, which is at the 3 hour mark. We're going to skip two breaks because we are already quite late in the schedule. And there's still some EU people coming up after me. I don't want them to completely ruin the sleep schedule. Yeah, poor storm rail. Wait, to be honest, 3 am. Yeah, it's funny because he said that if the run was like any later, he would have just went to sleep at 6 and then woke up early. Uh, but he didn't, and now uh, the run is later, so he might have been... Uh, he might be not happy. Okay. Also, one more thing about mission names. This mission is called Friends Reunited, but it doesn't have any friends being reunited. The actual reuniting between Trevor and Michael takes place in the next mission, which is called Fame or Shame. Good job, Rockstar. I mean, they are reunited in the sense that, you know, Trevor comes here. And, like, you know, he comes here to get reunited. Yeah. yeah. 
You can drive around that thing there to skip the walking po portion. And yeah, now making my way downtown. The, 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 I'm literally making my way downtown, more or less. Uh, this is the third stunt jump I'm doing in this run. Because it's just like the quickest route. There's actually 50 stunt jumps in the run. And guess how many of those 50 stunt jumps you have to do in the 100% speed run? I mean, logic would dictate. It. Yeah, you won't guess it. Uh, logic would dictate 50, right? Or right? zero. Or zero, yeah. But no. You have to do 25. Because once oh, again, a rockstar moment. A violent let them guts. So I can. Okay, I guess I won't do the jump then if I get perfectly blocked by a car. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I wanted to jump off this hill down to the highway here for a quick route, but I'm perfectly blocked by a car, so I can't do that, I guess. My voice just completely went at the end of that sentence. Man, that's a thick accent. Is it actually that bad, man? Like, so many people complain about it today, about the accent. Well, I think I'm biased, because I've been talking to you for a long time, but you sound yeah. very normal to me. It's the Alex we know and love. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's awesome, <laughs> isn't it? No. Arnold Schwarzenegger or Toto Wolf. Yeah. I think you sound like Alex Sonics, but... Ain't no know. way! <laughs> okay, switch to Michael here to start Fear Shame. Actually, actually, hold on. Um, can anyone guess where I am from? If 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 you do know, don't put it in chat. Try to guess my accent, because people can never get this right. Russia. Mother Russia. It's not just Nobody now. guesses. <laughs> Nobody guesses. That's what I gave up. Yeah. Yeah. People are starting to Sweden. Yeah. Ooh, Romanian. Three Romanian. Oh, Romanian is accurate, yeah. Ah, I see the correct answer. And no way someone guessed it. Okay, be real. A sober birch. Did you look that up? Or did you actually just guess correctly? Or are you also Hungarian? Because Hungarians can spot me from a mile away. <laughs> or I guess, as we call it here, a kilometer. What the fuck is a kilometer? 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 The Terminator is just a kilometer away. <laughs> Well, Alright, let's play this game then. Um, can anyone guess where I'm from? The blinder is too German? Actually, yeah, the thing behind me on my window is like a very German thing, I think, the blinder. <laughs> Kilominate! <Yeah. laughs> what? <laughs> Kilominate. How did that even happen? Well, I guess it's a thousand... Uh, ...minators. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make that an emo. I mean, Hossel here is an artist. Phone, Maybe you can actually, actually, Hossel here is an artist. Maybe you can pressure him into making a Kilominator emote. I will just, uh, like put an emote on 7 TV called a kilometer, and when someone types kilometer, it will just change it to to, to it saying Kilominator. Perfect. What's the answer on the previous? Well, <coughs> I'm from Austria, Hossel is from Hungary, and Riggi is don't, from Switzerland. Don't, no, no, don't say why? It. You just leaked my location. Yeah, you know, Switzerland is kind of small for the thing. Yeah, people. exactly. And Switzerland is so general. small that basically anyone yeah. in chat can just show up in front of my doorstep after checking like five houses. Yeah. And maybe seven if they are unlucky. Imagine being from Liechtenstein actually doing that. <laughs> Gotta check the 10 houses in Liechtenstein. 
Okay, so how do you pronounce Liechtenstein? Is it Lich or, or Lich? Or, or do you Lich? want the Austrian or the German version? The more accurate one. Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. So the, so well, the people in Liechtenstein call it Liechtenstein. No, the people in Liechtenstein call it Leuchtenstein. What? <laughs> no, they <Jesus>. don't. <laughs> Liechtenstein. Okay, so what, what is Liechtenstein in English? Is it like lick something stone or light stone? All right. Oh, oh yeah, right. Light stone. Yeah. The Pokemon moment, the light stone. They made a country named after an item from Pokemon. Crazy. Yeah, okay, I can't yeah, believe that they this made lightstone a real thing, yeah, go on. This concludes this very boring mission with jumping out of the truck here. I'm not gonna do a quick cap. Or not. Just quick Amanda. Um, oh, that's a nice car, look at that. That's a good RNG, yeah? That's a very good RNG right car here. here. Yep. Behold, <laughs> behold the Kilominator. <laughs> What is a kilometer? So with a car like this, do you still look for a um, bike here? Yes, because I want to show it off. Yeah, good idea. But otherwise, yeah, also. Uh, so you specifying it was pointless. Okay. Wow, you killed that guy. So but there's a bike here, that's a Ruffian, which is like one of the best bikes. Yeah, for this one, the Ruffian is really good because it, uh, it's very easy to... You need a bike that uh, um, you can lean back or do a wheelie with uh, really easily, and the Ruffian Ooh, is like the okay. best one for that. Yeah. But I'm gonna... Actually, do you guys remember Blimpstrat? Blimpstrat used to be done on this mission, but it has since been deemed slower. Mainly because, I mean, the strategy you're about to see is equally as awesome, in my opinion, because it looks equally as awesome. Also, I'm getting the phone call here, which gives me the money from the jewel store heist. Yeah, or you at need least this the leftover phone money. Call. Yeah. Exactly, you need to get the money here. Can I just say that you phrasing that that way was really funny? I, what? That threat was deemed to be slower, and that's because. What do you mean that's because? It, it, it's, it's, it's slower. It's slower is because it's slower. Or like. It, no. <laughs> yeah, prepare your Davies. Because we're about yeah. to see what he's doing. We're gonna see what he's doing in a very specific way. I mean, look at this. Okay. Nice. How many kilometers power does this car go? <laughs> <laughs> I think I made a new meme. It's Maybe kilometer. five. What's the kilometer to kilometer c conversion? Is it one to one? What? No, we've got to make it something funny. Yeah. It's 69. That's not funny. Okay. It's like foreign, you know? Like 1 to 400 or something. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, this unit is very difficult because I have to punch this guy for the pistol and I'm getting sh This is like the only point in the run where we actually use Michael's special okay. yeah, ability. Yeah, Michael also which has a special time. ability. Yeah. It's, they are it's all very so special. It's uh, worth mentioning that out of the three special abilities that each character has, um, it, Michael's is the least used. Yeah, we only it's use it can... twice during the run. Once is here and once is on third way. And like, don't kill me, thank you. Yeah, it's like um, it's like the Dead Eye um, thing in the Red Dead Redemption games. You just you slow just down like time. You just had to mention your speed game at some point. I, of course, because <laughs> you see. Riggy here is a very rare breed, because he's a Red Dead Redemption speedrunner. Yes, yes, they exist. You wouldn't believe it, but yes, there are Red Dead Redemption speedrunners. Red Dead Redemption 2 may, may just uh, yeah. add to that, yeah. Proud, uh, proud 100% world record holder, 26 hours, yeah. Oh my I'm also a proud 100% world record holder in GT5. Hostel, what are you? Uh, Hungarian. <laughs> <laughs> You're just here. <laughs> Quick little roast. <laughs> um.
Okay, yeah, I'm currently escaping from the cops, um, which is also very RNG heavy, because there can be random cop spawns basically everywhere. <laughs> you know? So, um, I've got to get lucky here to be able to... Oh, look at that! Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna be stay fine. behind him. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just gonna stay behind him. See, okay, he turns around. Ooh, okay, I lost huh. him. It's gonna be fine, it turns around. <laughs> okay, I've got to put away the text here from my phone to end the mission to be able to save Rob after the mission quicker. Okay, so we got this thing here with Franklin. Also, fun fact, safe opening on in first person is a bit quicker because you don't have to wait for the enemy. That's a All really right. fun Alls fact. All are messed up on the PC version of Red Dead 2. Um, that's uh, not something I'm aware of. I think it means like CPU core utilization. It's the same with GTA 5. If you have anything about 16 cores on an older version like this, it just doesn't use them well. It's fixed uh -huh. in a newer thought... patch. I thought you meant the in-game cores. Yeah, that's what I meant as too, because like you have the health core, stamina core, and dead eye mm. core in the game. Yeah. Also, are you ready for a full dosage of relaxation during this beautiful uh, yoga section? Actually, let's do a little questionnaire. Who's also doing the yoga poses right now? I hope you are doing the yoga poses right now. Yeah, honestly, if you ever wanna get into yoga, let's let's do it now. Honestly, you're watching some GDQ. It's a nice chill time. It's either morning or evening or whatever time of day in your time zone. Might as well get up from the couch or from the computer chair and just you know spread your legs, spread your arms, go down into child pose or whatever Amanda says. You know. Uh, if you, if I wouldn't need to hold the controller right now to do this, I would actually do the yoga thing. Let it out. I would do it too, but but you can't actually see if I'm doing it or not. So yeah, I could just be lying. So it's pointless to even try. <laughs> the silly man forgets to breathe. The silly man forgets to breathe. How about and this? More wisdoms with Fabian. If any of you do yoga now and can somehow prove it. I will give you a cookie. Don't ask how I how I will get that cookie to you, but you just have to believe. Hey, Alex, what's your favorite flavor of cookie? Aha! Uh -huh, yeah, I think I think Chocolate I know chip. what this. It's like the um. Sorry, just to uh, answer to the chat message there. The in-game cores are like the game itself. It's like GTA Five actually too. If your FPS is higher than one hundred and sixty. Then um, your game uh, will start to do weird things. So you always want to have less than 160 frames per second, ideally. Which is why Alex is using a 145 um, FPS limit. Yeah. Okay, I, I have to cut this explanation short for a bit because I think I just read the best chat comment I've ever seen. With this kilometer, I shall change all the road signs to kilometers <laughs> instead of miles. Everyone will be so confused that he won't be able to get to work, allowing me to take over the entire tri-state area. <laughs> Dovich meets Evil Incorporated. Let's hey, go. Uh, 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 do you want to hear? Oh, this the... is bugged again. Yeah. Continue. Okay. The Hungarian version of the little doofishness chime. You know how, like, the, there's a scene with him. There's like a, 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 a little, like, this is the da 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 da. Exactly, yeah. In Hungarian, it's um, as it uh, doofishness gonos erte. I thought you were going to give us the translation, my guy. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Nobody can understand that language. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> it's not even a real language, it's basically made no. up. No. Maybe some people can understand. We've, uh, this, we've deemed that already. Let's see the Hungarians in chat, how about that? Hey, if you are a Hungarian, show yourself. Please just don't write anything, it'll be embarrassing for him. Embarrassing? <laughs> but yeah, that's... Good job, I nerd, that was a very nice reference. 
the Kilominator. I'm actually uh, the Austrian Dr. Doofenshmirtz. What is he? Is he even called that in English? What is he called in English? Doofenshmirtz. Well, I'm just saying the German. Because I think I was just saying the German name for him. So obviously I was the, the German. No? Yeah, in Epsilon you have to do the Kilominators to get the uh, Enlightenment. Also, I'm doing a nice little skip here. Uh, normally Jimmy would not drag Michael, but uh, by doing a couple of very specific phone calls I can prevent that. Yeah, yeah you call games? Amanda, yeah. Yeah, this game actually makes tons of sense here because uh, if you have the phone in your hand, you can never grab the the drink, right? So it does make sense that you can't get drugged while having the phone up because you can't grab the drink. Also, another typical rockstar unskippable cutscene here. Hey, Alex. Yep. After hearing me sing, our good friend and upcoming runner Rick Giles just dared me to sing the Hungarian fart anthem. What do you think about that? No. Nope. <laughs> you can do it when we're on break. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, so I'd rather not have any Hungarian singing when we're having the biggest event in GT. <laughs> yes. I would rather not have. Uh, Imaginary singing in an imaginary language. <laughs> what do you want, Michael? Actually, a good point that, yeah, Austria and Hungary used to be the same country. You guys are basically neighbors. Ain't yeah. no way. And so did parts of Romania and Croatia and Slovakia. I mean, Hostel, you, you're the kind of guy to confuse Romania and Croatia all the time. What are you talking about? Dude, it happened okay. more than once, I have screenshots of that. <laughs> Please send me them, because... Yes, I, am, I will afterwards. I am so sure that I never confused Romania and Croatia. Yes, that sounds, you did. That sounds insane. Yes, I, I, I know about that, so now, I'll see, send it to you afterwards. The, the funny thing about this is that, after this is over, you will not send me anything because it didn't happen. But the slander, no, I will send you, I will promise you. But the slander like pink, yeah. has already happened. It's already running too deep. Now people think that I'm a Croatia and Romania confuser. Yes, you are. I'm giving that's, you actually... That's look definition. at what I'm doing, dude. I'm giving you a pinky promise with my own two pinky fingers <laughs> that you did confuse that. Okay, you know what? Um, send it to me on Iron Sky and I will put it on Imager. And, and people can double check. I have to, like, look at it, I have to take a folder, so, but yeah, I can do it. You have a folder full of me confusing Romania and Croatia. Yes. Folder full of hustle moments. Yes. <laughs> I think we, I think everyone in the community has a folder like that, because I have one too. <laughs> you, you cannot be serious right now. <laughs> we all have our hustle moment folders. <laughs> Also, yeah, uh, I just finished yoga, got some good car energy, got myself a furore, and uh, yeah, did another hangout warp, and I'm not doing Iron this guy. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing uh, this company. David. Well, I guess it's just like us, right? Tell me we were double. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Davey and Haynes are like the showrunner and the tech guy, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Actually, Mastron, you just gave me a very nice thing to talk about. Uh, at very different, like, at many different points during the speedrun, different forms of uh, running, jumping, and stuff like that is, is faster. Because, like, normally when you are running around, running in first person is the fastest, and tab running is even faster. But being indoors, jumping is faster. And then under certain circumstances, other stuff can be faster. So, like, various different things might be faster at various different points during the run. There's, like, lots of movement tech in this game. Yeah, What's even better is that it's often not even tied to missions. Like, you can run in a first person inside of Michael's house, but only until Mr. Richards. After that, you cannot. Yeah. 
<laughs> I confuse Sweden for Switzerland sometimes. That's something that I would. Be I knew it. Yeah. I am um, I am a Sweden and Switzerland confuser. That's that's something that 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 I'm it's cool like with the world knowing. You you've been to Sweden. Yes. It's not like confusing random countries. You've been there. It's it's fun when I whenever I go to to Sweden, um, people tell me, huh, "Don't you already live in Sweden?" <laughs> Wait, who says that? Well, some of uh, some of uh, my uh, my um, IRL friends from uh, hey. the UK. The next time they say that, you should you should just punch them. Like, yeah, well, they're in the UK. It's kind of. <laughs> Oh, I would buy a plane ticket just, just to beat them up. Also, fun I fact, could just ask my I... good friend English Ben to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, just imagine seeing like a two meter tall guy just approach you. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared the first time I saw him. Is you? Um, yeah. Anyways, what I wanted to say is, uh, I actually have a folder of people confusing me for Australian because of Austria, Australia, you know. And because I I usually do my streams very early for. Uh, EU time, so people often think I'm Australian, because then it's evening for Australia, if it's midday for EU. So, uh, I do my streams very early usually, so people often think I'm from Australia. So, I actually have a folder of people confusing me for Australia, or like doing stupid Austria-Australia jokes. They are all and, funny. Uh, none of them are funny. Uh, also, Mastron, yeah, I, what I did there is tap movement, basically. Uh, usually you're locked in this drunk mode, but after you shoot, you get into combat mode, which deletes the drunk mode so you can run. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I hope that, um, that makes sense. Since you guys brought up that you have hustle moment folders, I feel like once this run is over, you can put something new in it, because there's something in off topic in GTA 5 speedruns that's, that's pretty funny. You want me to tell you about it, or? I said it before, I'll say it again. Hustle, we are on GDQ. Yes. And knowing the stuff that you usually post, you probably shouldn't. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's very PG and unsafe for work. I'm also, yeah, just quickly uh, flying up to the tower, repelling down, shooting. Yes, gameplay. What? Yes. I love it how we like continue to just completely go like away from anything game related and just talk. I mean, you know, we gotta make it interesting. Six hours of GTA 5, I don't know how people can stomach that. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> the helicopter is alive there? Look at the helicopter, what? She's going down. It was so... what? That was yeah, really yeah. weird. Yeah, I've never yeah, seen it, it looked, like that before. It, yeah. it, it looked like it was alive. No, uh, and the second one survived as well, unfortunately. Yeah. Also, I I used a very specific route to make the helicopters explode into the buildings, but uh, yeah, one of them survived, and uh, this one always survives. So you have to kind of like fly sideways to make uh, Michael shoot uh, the helicopter. Also, uh, you can either fly on keyboard or on controller. You can do everything in this game either on keyboard or on controller. Only like some things are faster on certain things. Like for example, driving is by default faster on controller because you can throttle control better. While shooting is by default faster on keyboard and mouse because you can aim quicker. Hey, yeah. Well, so, um, how do you... How do you uh... How do you fly in this game? Do you use a keyboard or do you use a controller, Alex? I use controller. I just prefer it. Like, I started playing this game on PS4 and PS, uh, PS3 and then PS4. So I just stuck to controller. And if driving so, yeah. is faster on controller, then why do you drive with keyboard? I don't know, man. Also, and you guys just... and you guys keep knocking me for using a controller to drive in this game. You do? I don't. I would never say anything about that because I know it's yeah, not. Yeah, same. <laughs> I don't knock you for that. Is this run affected by RNG? That's a very nice point to mention there because I'm currently getting texts, and uh, text RNG is one of the biggest RNG factors in this game because certain missions only spawn after getting a certain text. 
and uh, that's very RNG heavy, it might lose you a lot of time. There's also switch RNG, switch locations can be random, that might lose you a lot, a lot, a lot of time later. But there's also various different missions where there's some smaller RNG, like cleaning for example, where you have car RNG. And there's also just in general lots of car spawn RNG, like having cars in weird places. Or like getting good cars when you need them randomly spawned on the road. So yeah, the GTA 5 speedrun is very RNG heavy. That's the way I like it. Not really. No? No, I, 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 I don't like RNG, no. But my... Itchy. Itchy? No, I, I was like scratching my, my glasses and it looked too weird, so... Mm. I was itchy. So yeah, I'm now entering one of the most famous missions in this game, Scouting the Port. Uh, it's famous, famous for two things. What what did you say? I said, is it famous? So go on. Go oh on. yeah, surely. It's one of the most famous missions in this game, I would say. Uh, for two reasons mainly. One of them is uh, because of Light Push, which is like one of the most famous strats in this game, which we will do in a few minutes. And the other one is because this mission is very long and boring. <laughs> I think most people would agree with me on that one. So this first drive is kind of difficult because Trevor's truck is so huge. That guy actually prevented me from turning there, that's kind of unlucky. No, it's karma. You killed him, so he slightly inconvenienced you. I feel like it's a fair trade-off. Hey. Okay, can I take a little shortcut here through the um, kennel area? Sewer? Yes, sewer area, yeah. That's what it's called. I mean, yeah, like the. I mean, the game does need kind of slower missions as well, right? Like, GTA can't just be shoot out, 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 right? Yeah. I mean, like. That wouldn't make for a great game or a great speed game, in my opinion. Yeah, like, you need to pace yourself. Yeah, exactly. You need the pacing. I can't wait for flight push. Yeah. I I hate flight push. It's so difficult. Uh, Dawn Chaser, yes it does. Um, there's three settings in this game that we have on specific values. Uh, one of them is population density, population variety and distance scaling. Population variety increases the chance of giving better cars. Population density uh, reduces the cars on the road. And uh, what's the third one? Distance this scaling. Yeah, and, and distance scaling removes tons of the random clutter on the side of the road. Yeah, which is very important for the speedrun. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing flight push. Getting into this truck here. And now I'm going to... Push him. And this threat is very difficult because Floyd can behave very weirdly. You can't hit those guys as you mission fail. You've got to push him basically blindly here because you can't see him. And now for the long one where he can randomly. Okay, that's skill issue. You can do um, it! Kind of in a weird. Yeah, that was a pure skill issue. I'm kind of in a weird spot right now. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Can I get a clap for that for Alex yeah. Phoenix? That was that was really nice. <laughs> One small mistake. Huge. But it's okay. Huge. Yeah. Like this this threat is I mean <clears throat> I've gone on a record I've gone on record at saying that uh, this is the most difficult strat in the speedrun that we actually go for. Like this strat is so difficult. <laughs> so you would yeah, want a record um, saying it right now. Yeah. So it's harder than Provasco. Yeah. It's harder than... Actually, yeah, that's the only two that are harder. Also, yeah, this uh, <laughs> this this dog handler here has another driving mechanic. Basically, by uh, wiggling the toad, like the, the, the handler, as you could see there, or like I'm gonna do now again, uh, you can actually boost the car, or the handler, or truck, or whatever it's called. Um, this works because basically the the suspension and the wheels of the truck are so big that uh, 
it gives itself curb boosts basically. And as we learned earlier, curb boosts um, increase the speed. So yeah, it basically can basically give itself curb boosts. I'm not doing a mission on this run. I would love to because it's like awesome, but we. But you're going to see tons of unmission zeros later. It's going to be a Politos Ghost segment run. Ooh, Jesus. It's going to be a Politos Ghost segment run, excuse me, which uh, will showcase our mission zeros. Okay, and that's the first boring part of the mission done, the kind of dog handler section. Now making my way up to the second part of the kind of mini game. Alright, uh, during this kind of boring part, do we maybe want to talk about the schedule a bit for today? Yes, I would like to. Oh, here we are, go on, sorry. No, if you, if you want to take it away, go for it. Sure, sure, I will take it away. I will take it away so hard. I found it, okay, so. Um, currently, you are watching GTA 5 Any Person Classic without... Um, the very big mission skipping glitch called on Mission Zero. Uh, the next round is going to be a uh, Polito score segment, which is a part of the game about three hours in, give or take, 3.30. And that's a segment where you're going to see on Mission Zero four out of the five missions. Um, because that's like the best application of it, so it's a really good showcase. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be run by Unnamed, uh, with commentary from Rick Giles. Uh, following that is coming up GTA 5 Trevor Percent with Director Mode. Now, you've seen Trevor Percent already today, but what's special about this is that we found a glitch about... Uh, like 18 months ago, where you can enter Director Mode. Um, you know, the thing that you can like spawn cars and teleport around and stuff like that enter that state while also being in free roam meaning you can just use all of that functionality uh between and inside of missions so that's really shaking up the entire run because it becomes basically just you know an on-demand mod menu and uh that's the fastest way you know how to play the game without skipping missions and it's fascinating to watch so be sure to stick around for that. It's going to be done by Twisted Tamer and Storm Raid on commentary. After that, you're going to see all stun jumps, uh, which is, as the name suggests, all 50 stun jumps of the game. Uh, first with a sports car, and then the ones that are too far uh, by just taxiing to them. That's a really good looking category. It's really hard to do all the jumps, and when you can do them correctly, it's really flashy. That's gonna be by uh, M -Palm. Uh, and the commentary for that so far is, I think, uncertain, but I'm sure that details will um, will come as time goes on. And the last run of the, of the of the day, of the evening, is going to be Epsilon Program. Epsilon Program, for the people not aware, is a little side mission chain for Michael, uh, where he gets put in a cult. And that is kind of... Uh, Wild, and it became a speedrun about three years ago, and it has some really boring sections, which we skip in really interesting ways. And that's going to be run by none other than Rake Giles with uh, unnamed on commentary, most likely. Uh, but I'm sure that that too will be, uh, you know, will be specified. So yeah, uh, that's going to be the schedule for today. And uh, I'm going to post it in the chat so that. Uh... Oh, that's more than the character limit. Hmm. You can do exclamation mark schedule as well to figure it out. But it doesn't work, does it? It does. Okay, so uh, during this section, like while Hostel was sharing the schedule, I have taken photos of the freighter and I'm not going to spawn in the car because I've only seen bad car spawns on the side here. Um, let's see what I can spawn. Oh, nothing. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, there's a boat that... Is that a dominator? It is a dominator. It, it is. Huge. It's a dominator. That's huge. That's literally the best possible car spawn. 
a dominator. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That's really crazy. That's like, that's actually the best possible car spawn here. And speaking of car and G, on this drive, and then on the drive to the next mission, Hood Safari, uh, I need to be looking out for a gauntlet, which is a randomly spawned vehicle, which I need to store in Franklin's garage for a mission about three and a half hours from now, the big score, which is like the big finale of this game, basically. And uh, I need to store that because I'm then going to dupe it. Uh, I'm going to turn one gauntlet into four. And uh, yeah, so I need to find one randomly on the street. And if I don't find one, I have to buy one, which is a timeless. <laughs> Once again, jump down to the sewers here. The best kind single player is the Sultan? No. The Sultan is the best four door car, but uh, there's faster two door cars. My favorite kind single player is the Massacre. I just love it so much. It's got everything. I swear. Yeah, the Kilo Dominator, yeah. Nice reference. Oh, I can see a gauntlet. Hello there. Hey, yo. Funny. Hey, Rick, you wanna explain why this car is important? Sure. Um, Didn't for the. For huh? the final, for the final heist of the game. I just explained that. Did oh, you? I was totally zoning out. I'm so sorry. I... Yeah, I was like wondering why you <laughs> wanted me to say it again, but yeah. Dude, you see, that's the reason why I'm in the hostel moments right. folder. <laughs> but yeah, getting a gauntlet here is good because that means we don't have to manually buy one. Yep. That was some quite good RNG. That's like one of the most uh, likely places to get one. That intersection where I got it. There's always a a certain types uh, of cars that spawn in certain types of the city and the gauntlet has a, a spawn it can spawn in that area that we went through so yeah that was exactly good. average rello moment um yeah so i got some good rng here which is nice which will now mean that i have to get good text rng as also and uh act actually i i parked the gauntlet in a very specific spot here uh, because it has a chance of despawning if I park it here, so I park it over there. Why are we getting a gauntlet here? For big score, to score it, to, to, to store it. I love, yeah. I love scoring a car for big store. Kilo, Kilominator! Okay. Kilominator. Kilominator. Imagine not having watched that section of the run and now being confused on where we keep on saying Kilometer. That's why you should tune in from start to end to GDQ Hotfix, to the, the GTA 5 10th year anniversary stream. Ain't that right? Exactly. We've Ain't got right. hours and hours and hours of content coming up for you guys. <laughs> hey Alex. <laughs> I read it, yeah. This guy is so get on. This... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Geram, I'm also not German, so... You're so freaking uh, Geram, dude, it's unreal. What did I even say, man? <laughs> Should the light is There we go. I lost yeah. 20 seconds, either to bad uh, text RNG, so... Yeah, that happened. I have to get this text before starting this mission, because uh, this text spawns in the mission afterwards. I say left, you say right. I say because... Legendary Kilominator. <laughs> Good, I've got to store the gauntlet here, as I said. I'm gonna make my way back to the van, which we're once again gonna boost to insane speed. Just like in uh, Chop, for example, or in... Uh... Cool store. Funny enough, not the last time we drive one of these vans in this run. Exactly. At least one more that I can think of. The leader score, right? right. Yeah, no, well, drifting like problem. crazy. The political score is a rumpo. It's what we, what, what we use for jewels. No, it's so not. Right? Just white. Right no, they're all speedos. Oh, I'm, I just know it's a van. That's all. Political right. score. No, I, I am checking political score right now, but I know it's not for a fact that it's not a speedo. It's a speedo. Okay, are you willing to bet? 
Or burrito. Yeah, I think it's a burrito, but it's not a speedo. Aren't they all the same? I'm willing to bet it's not a rampo. Okay, what do we bet on? We are betting on that it's not uh, a speedo. I'm shooting a burrito. I'm shooting a burrito. I'm shooting a burrito. You're shooting a burrito? Yes. Are we okay. betting on uh, a certain alcoholic beverage at the next uh, Sweden meetup? Sure, I will buy you a beer if, you, if, if, if it's a burrito. Why not? Yeah, it's a burrito, I'm sure. Uh, okay. And what do I have to pay? Like, what do I... Like, I have to buy you a beer if it's what? Um, If it's a rumpo. Yeah, okay. I'm sure it's a burrito. So... If it's a, if it's a burrito, you you buy me a beer, and sure. if it's a rampo, I buy you. A beer. Sure. At the food court. Does it not say the vehicle name? <coughs> yes, it's we'll a burrito. Like... There we go. I owe you I do get... one alcoholic beverage. Yes. Well done. I will be there to verify that it actually does get. Yes. Yeah. Sure. <coughs> I'm so hyped already, hostel, Riggy. Anyways, um. <laughs> For me, buying yeah. you a beer? I didn't know that money is so tight. No, man. not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, what's this? Are you this? excited to take out this helicopter with the sticky yes! pass? Yeah! Yes, you are! Hell I can tell. Yeah. Let's fucking go! Go. Let's three beer. Fun Let's fact: I don't actually beer. drink beer. I hate beer. I'm more of a wine guy. Wine or cocktails. If you didn't know, uh, I'm a bartender. So, how could people know that? I mean, there's some people here who, rec who recognize. Hmm. Germans? No, no Germans here. No, he's a Garam. Sorry, it's a common misconception. If you really also want to uh... hear someone who's German on this stream, stay tuned for the Trevor Percent run with DM by Twisted Tanner with our very good friend Storm Raid on commentary, who is German. Yeah. Yes, Storm is German. So I just like... Oh, my uh... guy is called, like, my guy has beer in his name, that's... A... <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can we please have a minute of silence for Storm Raid being a German? Starting now. <laughs> um. Yes. No, Why that's is that, boring. Is that is that is that really so funny? The poor man, Alex. That poor man was born in that nationality. That's not funny. That yeah, is you know. actually messed up. That you would uh, laugh at that. Hey, Alex. I, um, um. Sorry. Are you not switching away to Franklin to get the buffalo? Nope. Okay. That's that is too inconsistent for me. Wait, in what sense? Doesn't spawn the mission often. Minister? There have been plenty of uh, <coughs> uh, disproven things about that. Also, uh, when entering the mini you have a random chance of the game crashing. So, uh, that's an issue. Also, I'm doing a second threat here by... Uh, Holding W and spamming F while getting into the minisub, the hatch stays open. Which means that the minisub is always as much as possible outside the water. Which means that there's less water resistance. Where are you from? Where do you think I'm from? I'm not German. And also, I'm just gonna relay that message again. Please keep the chat in English. So, no German, no uh, Hungarian, no nothing like that. Just saying. Uh, also, this minisub section is kind of boring, so... Uh, if the beautiful organizers of this event today have something to say, that would be a good time. Yeah, um, I can take this time to remind everybody that we do have uh, AGDQ 2024 submissions for game submissions are open right now until the end of the night. So if you want to submit a game for AG AGDQ 2024, either on site or offline, you have like 12 hours. Because I believe it ends at 11.59 PST. So you've got like 12 hours to get those submissions in. We've also got volunteer submissions open. Those are open until September 18th. 
Uh, so if you've ever wanted to help out at an event, you uh, can submit. We've got a bunch of different uh, volunteer positions open. And if you're worried about, you know, not having any experience in any of them, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll just apply anyway, and, uh, you know, there's always a chance you get a pick. Uh, besides that, I do just want to give a huge shout out to uh, the entire community for showing up today uh, and, uh, you know, showcasing these games. Um, I've uh, worked uh, with uh, some of the GTK communities for other anniversaries, and uh, during the last one, I was like, oh my god, GTA, uh, GTA 5 is coming up. This is, I want to do something for this, because this is, out of all of the GTA games, this is the only one I've played. So I've been super hyped for this to see uh, these runs from all, like all of these awesome runs from all of these awesome runners. So uh, thank you all so much for, you know, coming out here and celebrating with us. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for organizing this, uh, this beautiful event, celebrating the 10-year anniversary of uh, GT5. And uh, I guess now we can lift the, the curtain. Uh, I do have a German accent, I guess, because my, my mother language is German, but I'm from Austria. So, very important distinction here. Don't call me German, please. Alex. Don't call Riggi German either, because he's Swiss. Yes, Hustle. I see that you covered up my R with the instructions to do the new village. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see the pirate is okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Please take a screenshot of that hustle, that's one for the legendaries. When I was visiting Alex, um, I drew him, me, and a third guy um, on his whiteboard. But... Oh god. You can't see it on the stream. You can see, can you see it now? No. No, you can't no. see it on the stream. Oh. It's gotta pick the thing up then. Oh, oh yeah, right, it's not visible. <laughs> <laughs> what a hostile moment. Also, uh, I just pre called the number in the phone, which I will use to start the next mission by the book. But yeah, um, what Hustle was just talking about, uh, there's a there's a, a, a whiteboard to my right, which uh, is um, which he drew a a portrait of me on when he was here at my place. So yeah, it's sadly just outside the camera. If I upload it to Imager, can you send it in chat, uh, Sarge? My thing. I. Sorry, uh, the uh, Discord link? Uh, no, if I take a screenshot of Alex's oh. whiteboard and put it on Imager, can you put that in chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Sorry, I yes. was answering uh, submission questions in chat. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. Does anyone know what the longest game uh, at a GDQ event has ever been? Uh, Maybe some Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy... 9? That was not really long. Yeah, it was a really long, exactly. 10 uh, hour runs. I don't think we've had long. Fair enough. There you go, there's the link. Yeah, um, that imager link is going to be Alex's whiteboard. Uh, click it if you're there. It's a really cool, I promise. Yeah, basically, that's what he just sent in is uh, what Hostel drew on my whiteboard when he was here. And that's what he was referencing too, because I actually blocked that with a. Like, I, I put a sheet of paper. Why did I even go for that gap? That was way They can put a sheet of paper car. over that car crash too, it's cool. No one saw that. Yeah. <laughs> you have to put a sheet of paper over that one as well. Yeah, yeah. Just black screen it. Um, yeah, the basically like I I covered the the drawing that Hostel made with a sheet of paper that uh, has a, has a tutorial on it for the new strat that I'm gonna do in like. And no, I, I threw it away because I want you guys to see the the painting and uh, the the drawing and the. Uh, now I have to at some point pick that back up because it's on the floor and I need the strats. Yeah, I mean. It's, uh, you know, 
If I put stuff into just a document, then you can also just write them on paper like a chad. Yeah, I can't just document. So, because I, I have two screens, one is the game, one is OBS, so... You can... I'm, I'm actually not gonna lie, because I saw that Alex ha was using a whiteboard, him and another uh, runner of this game, Marcus, they were using whiteboards for their runs to write down notes on. I thought that was such a cool thing that I actually ended up getting a whiteboard for myself. And I have uh, used exactly for uh, one single stream and then never again. Hey, don't worry, when I, when I revisit you, I will draw a portrait of you too. Alright, I mean, sounds good. I use it a lot. There's like, there's notes from at least... Wait, hold on. Okay, now I can count. One, two, three, four, five, from six different categories that I've ran over the last two... two uh, that I've ran over the last two um, months. Uh, I picked the wrong thing here. Uh, normally you're supposed to use the wrench here, but I picked up the wrong thing. Now I can pick up the sheet of paper. Hold on. So, um, yeah. click into Alex's camera on Discord and uh, read the text that's under the perfect portrait. Um, I've seen it before. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, so normally you're supposed to pick the wrench there for the torture thing, but I. That's invisible. Did you see that? I, I, I crashed or something invisible. Yeah, that was. There's a car the, uh, falling in my way. What's happening? The game is turning against them. Okay, okay, what, is, <laughs> what was I saying? I need to catch my grip. Um, yeah. Uh, I picked the wrong torture tool. Normally you're supposed to pick the wrench. Uh, also, this, this mission by the book is the very famous torture mission, for which uh, GTA 5 was in global news back when it released. Also, yeah, I've picked up the sheet of paper for the notes for the strat coming up that only got found like today. So, this is literally the first run ever that has this strat, but I know it's gonna work, so yeah. And yeah, now we are on the biggest uh, split in this entire run which is the Blitz Play Split, which is uh, about 20 minutes long. And it's so long because it's very RNG heavy. I need like two vehicles to start the end, the, the end heist here, which is a tow truck and a garbage truck, and they are random to spawn. So it's very RNG heavy when I get it. And uh, the point where I get the tow truck is actually right after this jump. There's always a nice reveal if you get one or not. And I... Uh, look left. I know. Oh, there's one. Got one. Nice. Oh, good RNG. Nice. There we go. Yeah. That's some good RNG. This is a... Um, because of the RNG, this is a non-linear segment, which is why it's a 20-minute uh, segment. Yeah. Exactly. Also, as you could see there, I hit that guy that I stole the torch back from, because if, uh, if you hit enemies after... Like, I mean, if you hit the guys who you steal the, the cars from in this game, the chance is less of them calling the cops. I mean, yeah, you break their arm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I that guess makes that's sense, true. But that, 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 that makes sense, but it caught me completely off guard. Like, at <laughs> this point, they are more concerned with survival rather than, you know. <laughs> yeah. Also, the text that I just got is very good because it spawns the mission over there, the blitz plane. Uh, this is another um, RNG part, whether you get the text or not. And uh, also I just casually want to point out something. Uh, thank you to all the uh, viewers right now and the people who support this. Uh, subscribers, uh, donations and uh, stuff like that and bits. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I'm now starting with the intro. I think it's always important to kind of uh, thank people for being here and for supporting the show. I mean, it's a good show, they would be, you know, it it, it makes sense, it's fun. Yep. Oh, yep. oh my god! Okay. Perfect. Uh, I'm keeping, I'm keeping my, my camera pointing toward uh, the tow truck right here to not despawn it, because if I turn the camera around, I would despawn the tow truck and I have to keep it spawned in. And I also just spawned the garbage truck. Um, I actually hit that guy, you could hear that he was going to call the police. He said, like, I'm gonna call the police now, so that I, so I hit the guy. Uh, so yeah, basically, I need a torch, I need a garbage truck, I got perfect RNG. 
this situation is called WRNG. It's super, super, super unlikely. It's literally millions to. This is amazing. It's God RNG. It's the best possible thing. This probably this saves you minutes. This stuff, what just happened. I'm so frazzled, dude. It's crazy. Frazzled. I need to look up the definition of frazzled. I mean, I can get it from like context, but. You don't know the definition? You usually know like every single English word. Frazzled. So, yeah, uh, yes. So yeah, I placed on the garbage truck, I placed on the tow truck. Uh, now I'm gonna switch to Franklin for the next couple of uh, missions. Um, some synonyms are beat up, beaten, buggered, distressed, feet, exhausted, heavy, impoverished, jaded, and overwrought. Or debility, distress, fatigue, lassitude, prostration, weariness, or fatigue fever. You said distress twice. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, it's there I, twice. I heard like half of that, but yeah, uh, I got the best <laughs> possible switch here, but I'm gonna lose 20 seconds because I got this Lamar text instead of the Lester text that I'm supposed to get. I should have looked for a better car here instead of just sitting here, but it doesn't look like there's any better ones around anyway. So yeah, I had to wait for this uh, text before st uh, starting masks. It's the longest mission in the game. Mask? Yeah, exactly. Mask, longest mission in the game. I, I, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Ashley is the longest <laughs> with this guy punching you. <laughs> I, 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 um, I. I don't even know what to say, I'm a loss of words. <laughs> Honestly, I just I increased that... Yeah. I just increased that mission time by like 600%. Yeah. <laughs> Was that guy flying away? I that's mean, a good a... way of explaining it, Alu. Frazzled, the state of feeling... Is the... Yeah, that's a good way of explaining it, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna keep... Meanwhile, oh, yeah, just, uh, Alex yeah. is doing the first assassination um, mission. Basically, there's a, they are the, I mean, all the assassination missions are optional apart from the first one, which you have to complete um, for the game uh, because exactly. it unlocks uh, Franklin's uh, safe house in the Wineboot Hills. Yeah, it's like a different type of side mission. Like you know, for Strangers and Freaks, you have to do the first Tanya mission as a tutorial. For these, you need to do the, the first Lester mission as a tutorial. Uh, but both of these types of missions are optional, so you only, nice you, you only need to do the first. So yeah, uh, I now have a downtime of one and a half minutes, which I'm going to use to uh, get myself a better car and get myself some weapon upgrade. What car am I going to get? There's only bad... Okay, there's a 9F there, I think. Also, oh, the Rapid GT. And that's a so oh, 9F, 9F. 9F? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 9F. Uh, 9F is a good car, yeah. Yeah. You I also do not like get uh, cops on this uh, mission. So you can just steal vehicles on this as section. much as you want. Yeah. yeah, and you just also kidnapped a woman, so that's like another 10 years on the felony charge. I, dude, I watched some videos today. There's like these videos about like. Uh, uh, Characters being sentenced to crimes, for example, there's like one for Breaking Bad, for example, where like they list all the felonies committed by Walter. And this also for GTA 5, like how many years of prison would the GTA 5 characters get? And they all get like thousands. I don't know if you know that. I don't know what these videos are called. Yeah, uh, I, I, like... I know which ones you mean, yeah. Oh, it's like... <laughs> how many crimes did committed? What is he requesting? Oh no, it's it's not legal eagle. It's it's like a very small channel with like twenty videos, but they 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 list like all the crimes committed by TV show characters like uh, Walter or Jesse from Breaking Bad, for example, or video game characters like Jeff Michael and uh, Franklin. I'm trying to remember what they are called while I'm assassinating this guy. That's another like twenty years. No, I mean that's a death sentence, isn't it? Yeah, assassination. If... They're called if Walter White was charged for his crimes. Oh yeah, yeah. If charged for the crimes, okay. Wait, yeah. that's a Yep. 
A verdict you get a death sentence. Or okay, I guess I mean, there's if, many I mean, places. If you but... if you kill someone, you get a death sentence, no? No. In certain didn't. states, you do get death death sentence still. Yeah, but like not but... anywhere in Europe, I don't think. Mm. Oh yeah, in Europe. I mean, but this game is set in the US, so. Oh. I don't think California had the death sentence in a long time though. I mean, host, look at this beautiful uh, grid layout on the streets. No sidewalks, no anything. Clearly oh, a car built city. Very US. Don't get me triggered like this, man. Yeah. Um, there's obviously only uh, infrastructure built for cars. No bike lanes, no nothing. Uh, grids. <laughs> Big suburban areas, everything beautiful, just like how you like it, Hustle. Dude, okay, so this is kind of off topic, but now I, I have to say it, it's too funny. Uh, we were like out at, uh, at it's like, like a walkable little... cities now, yeah, man. <laughs> um, with my friends, and you know, we just see like this this really nice landscape, and one of them just goes like, "Do you know what would go hard here? A parking lot." <laughs> <laughs> US moment, parking lots, parking lots, parking lots. I mean, don't you see how crazy walkable this city is? I mean, I'm clearly not driving right now. You can tell that it's fictional, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this replay warp isn't for Blitzplay, I'm gonna use this <coughs> on Mr. Richards. Yo. Yo, Frank, oh, is that what that was? <laughs> Yeah, there's one train in the game and it's a freight train. There's okay, no, actually, a tram. there's a subway. Yeah, there's a tram and a sub. Heels, oh. Hey, I mean, for it to be mixed use, um, it's not uh, sad to, to have the use as heavy for percentages, right? Like... I mean, look at the zoning. Living space over there. Um, yeah, this shops is actually over mixed there. use. Yeah. This, this is mixed use, yeah, true. It is. So there's like shops at the bottom and living space on top. Yeah, stuff like this is zoned out of existence in the US now. So that's why you have <laughs> suburbs and then just that. You know what? I will not get into this because I'm going to get angry and it's not the point. But yeah, that's another one of Fossil's kind of uh, moments or like pet peeves, I guess. Ranting about American infrastructure I from his post Soviet hellhole of Hungary. It's not a hellhole, it's awesome. <laughs> is it though? Yes! X XDD in 650 euros minimum wage. No. Okay, but you can get a place for like... Um, two f okay, I mean, yeah, still... Yeah. <laughs> How did we get this far? Right now, but infrastructure! We just went, we just went good, crazy, though. dude. Like, yeah, we you know... We just went off the charts. Like, the actual living quality is like... Yeah, sure. Could, could be better, yes. But like, it's still a bit a lot better than the US. We just went completely off the rails, hostel. I mean, have you seen my communist block? No, of course you haven't, but you will. Like, there's so much stuff here. I have seen it on like Google uh, Google Street View. It's so communist. I I drove through Czechia on my way to Sweden. Dude, the communist yeah, block is cool, crazy. Right? There's so many. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, over here, instead of homelessness, there's uh, there's homes. It's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, isn't it crazy that there's so many houses? Look at Twisted Tema. I'd love to see Europe and see what I'm missing. <laughs> That's the US. <laughs> this is the guy from the US. First bomb is planted and armed. Moving up to the next position. Metric yeah. measurements. Yeah. Kilomina Kilominator! I would like to see the first part. I'd have to go to like Houston once and see the oh, walkability. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's epic. How not, not just in the U.S. but okay, like in general, isn't it? but like this started in the U.S. Um, houses aren't looked at as like a thing that people need, but as an investment. So now if someone just has a house, it actually makes more sense to just keep it vacant. <clears throat> and then set it for later down the line instead of setting it to someone right now. So this leads to people just being homeless and like so many houses. You know what? I should stop. It's not the point. But we are here to Hustle play GTA 5 and not complain Hustle about. Listen. Hustle listen to this. <laughs> the state I live in has more empty homes than homeless. I'm so it's angry. California right now. moment. I'm so Wait, freaking angry. Actually, Hostel, which which state is that? What do you think? I'm saying it's. I think 
like New York as well. I think Rhode it's either Island. New York or like Rhode Island or New Hampshire. Those are my guesses. If you want to share, I thought then it's okay as well. I don't think it's, it's Cali. It could be like Texas. It could also be Florida. Florida? Could... Oh, it's Virginia. Virginia. Okay. Isn't Virginia like not as bad in like living costs and stuff? I mean, it's it's the south, so barbecue and grits. What? Oh yeah, by the way, you know um, about the gameplay of this. Yeah, it's it's just you, you just shoot people. <laughs> um, <laughs> talked about the gameplay ever since the tow truck. Yeah. Oh, you shoot those the other way around? Hmm. How easy it is. Oh, you, you, you I see. Oh, I shouldn't have shot them there, it's gonna wait now, yeah. It's a bit of a mistake, but whatever. DC is Northern Virginia. Washington DC has to be such a weird place, because it's like the US, but like the very special, you know? It's like there's surveillance everywhere, it's government. Yeah, you can never talk, talk to someone and be not 100% sure that they are a government plant. <laughs> Maybe they are just surveying you. I mean, this used to be a real issue in Austria, because like Austria for a long time was like the spying capital of the world during the Cold War. I'm not even mm. kidding. Like out of Vienna's like 1.7 million inhabitants, a good 50,000 were spies. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, not they even spying kidding. on each other or something? They were spying on everything. It's like Vienna used to be very important in like a cold war time, you know, because of east and west, you know, we were kind of part of none. We were having good relations with both. And uh, Vienna has the UN headquarters, so it always had tons of uh, government people. The funny thing is, like, none of them were spying on Austria. Nobody cared about Austria, they were just spying on each other. That's freaking funny. But that's a, that, that's kind of a funny thing. The thing about the uh, about Austria, I guess we have like a bigger, uh, big uh, spying past. I'm homeless in LA. I'm so sorry. I'd love to go to like all of these US cities once, just to see the differences between me being used to European cities and US cities. What about Detroit? I would go there. I mean, I, I, I would go pretty much everywhere. If oh. someone told me, hey, you want to go to North Korea, I'd say, yeah. North Korea is cool, up until you don't try to steal a poster and get put in a working camp. That's a real story, look it up. I know, I know it is. I shouldn't laugh, but... Most yeah, big man. cities are very similar in the US. I thought about that. I mean, nobody knows the difference between Tacoma, Washington, Akron, Ohio, and Homestead, Florida. What a fucking loon. Classic. It all just looks the same. Some big buildings in the middle, then a bunch of like shops, so like one story shops, and then a whole load of suburbia. Don't you love suburbia? It's just so many Mac mansions and no way to go between them if you don't have a car. It's, it's epic, it's great. Nope. Hold on. I'm confused. Okay, now I'm good. I mean, I wouldn't care whether I lived in suburbia. I have a car. I'm an adult. I, I can drive. I wouldn't care. Yeah, but not everyone can drive. That's the issue. It's cool if you like cars. The problem is that not everyone does. Well, I do. So... In the good old American Planet style, doesn't. I'm an egoist. The planet doesn't, but the planet likes nothing, so... Also, yeah, I just set down the the getaway car, and now I can start Blitz play by doing this. Oh, I can absolutely nice agree with with um, Ray and in, in chat. Um, I I have moved to uh, the city I work in um, last uh, October, uh, which basically means I have a commute of five minutes with bicycle to work. Oh, that's and awesome! That's 
so much better than driving half an hour, uh, getting stuck in traffic and stuff. You know, yeah. each way. Also, so it's like an hour of, of, of time that you lose per day. Like, if 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 you aren't reading chat right now, uh, Wales said uh, commuting 45 minutes to work from suburbia is not epic. And uh, yeah, like my, my longest ever was 15 minutes by car. And I could only use car because there's no... Uh, I was working as a bartender and there's no public transport in the night. I would finish at like 2 a.m. So there's no public transport there obviously, so I had to use my car. And uh, it was annoying, yeah. Twice a day. I'm gonna be real. I freaking love cars. Which oh, yeah, might be... Too. I do love cars. Which, which might be a fun contradiction, because I say that there's too many of them. Uh, but like... See? The issue isn't cars. Yes, cars are polluting the environment, yeah, and, and, and cars aren't the most efficient. The issue is that there's no choice in so many places. If, if you want to drive a car and, you know, enjoy the comforts and the inconveniences, then go ahead, that's cool. But if someone wants to ride a bike or use a train, so watch this. then they should be able to. Oh. And, and watching. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, cars can work, we just have to make them work. And yeah. I don't like it what most European cities do nowadays, that they just ban cars. Or like, ban cars from city centers, for example. That's what my city is doing. My city demolished like 500 parking spots. They're crazy, they're just like murdering the city center. Well, if the shops you know, can't survive if the people can't drive there. As you don't want to carry your sound. groceries through the box. Hmm? As a drastic as that might sound, that's exactly how you incentivize people to start using stuff other than cars. Like, yeah, this is kind of bad right now, but in like 5 to 10 years, it's going to transform the entire culture of the city center. And believe it or not, then people can just walk around and, you know, a window shop, then they actually do buy more stuff, so it's gonna be enough positive for the stores. I mean, it, it can't transform if there's no more in the city left, because people don't go there anymore. But they will. They have to drive. Will the they? same thing is, is happening in my city, yeah, yeah. Like, they, they are transforming a lot of the inner city away from cars. And Ooh. the way that it's just gotten alive is so nice to see. Like, there's so many oh, more interesting. people. I'm seeing, like, the opposite in my city. Because, like, they... We have, like, a big square in the city center. That I would have showed you if you weren't sleeping. But, uh... Sorry. <laughs> but, uh... They used to be parking spots, but now they're not anymore. So, like, I have quite good, uh, like, contacts to most of the cafes and little restaurants in the city because I've worked at some of them. And uh, they keep on telling me how, like, they have less and less customers because nobody goes there anymore because nobody can drive. The thing is, they're taking away the, the parking spots, but they aren't, like, giving us uh, public transport in the night, for example. Like, I can't take public transport, because there's none, if I want to go home from work, you know? I mean, also, yeah, yeah, you know, they nice have to for here, by the way. The same time. Yeah, yeah, gameplay, whatever. The yeah, conversation gameplay is more nice important. Buffer. Blitz play yeah. is done, nice shootout. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, that's a ledge buffer, which is still a bit of flying, kinda nice. Um, yeah, I guess we should explain it again, because the people that weren't here at the start might just be scratching their heads. Yeah, that's just about yeah. explaining. Uh, should I go ahead or do you guys want to? I didn't do the hospital bob, did I? You didn't. I did handle strats. Anyways, yes. I can show off something cool. Uh, I, I can't show off something cool. Yeah, no. because you were supposed to get a phone call. No, I was supposed to press F8. But you can't do it if you drop the grenade instantly. It's the same thing in Hando on uh, Paparazzo. Anyways. But... I don't think you can switch characters here anyways, because you're supposed to get a phone call and you can't before the call. Okay, interesting. Anyways, explain the thing. Yeah, so what you saw there at the end of this play was called a buffer ledge grab, or ledge buffer for short. Um, if you change the key binding on either the phone special option or the jump, because they are both uh, occupied by space by default, uh, then, you will, then you will be able to jump while having the phone up, but you cannot jump while the phone is up. Uh, but the game will still remember oh, that input, sorry. and the next time you put down the phone, um, it jumps you to where you tried to jump. So if you try to climb a ledge, 
then it will remember the ledge, and then you just swoop back to the ledge when you put down the phone. Yep. And uh, speaking of some nice threats in this game, uh, this is I Fought the Law, which is one of the most ridiculous missions in this game. Basically, you drive once around the entire map. I'm not kidding. And uh, of course, we've already done quite a lot of break boosting in this run, and this mission kind of like amplifies that. This mission, we blow this mission so wide open by using break boost. It's crazy. I mean, just look at the speed already. What are they doing? They crashed. Uh -huh. U.S. drivers getting their driver's licenses at age 14 maybe isn't a good idea. Yeah, potentially. Anyways, uh... See, that's why yeah. you need mixed use cities. Because those people, and neither of them should have drived. Yeah, they are I not guess we're capable. back to that discussion. Yeah. I, I saw people a reel like on Instagram... A bicycle. Dude, I saw a reel on Instagram the other day where like a mother that her son just got his learner's permit and he had his 14th birthday a week ago. My guy was my guy was born in 2009 and is allowed to drive his Damn. This SUV that weighs like 5 tons. And this is as long as the football field. Yeah, that's that's another uh, topic of discussion is how big cars have become. Oh yeah, yeah. true. Um, and and do you know why? Cars have just actually? become bigger. Um because maybe people yes, think Drake, it's safer. Iowa. Um, so it's mainly two things. But the first biggest one is that light trucks in the US um, are not limited by emission standards. So they can eat as much really? fuel as they want. Yeah. So every automaker is just, is just trying to pump out as many light trucks as they can. And since this became a thing, well, that kind of also made the second boost. reason arise. Yeah, yeah, you know, fast car. Um, <laughs> yeah. Which is that now there are so many more big cars on the road. If you're driving a small car, you feel like you're in constant danger. So even the people who would not buy a truck now do buy a truck, or at least a crossover, which is a normal car but bigger. Because otherwise they are super unsafe, you know, because there's just like Snapchatting teens, like 15 year olds in an SUV, and if they look at, I don't know. You, you know what I mean. Now you need to be in a big car to be safe. So everyone drives massive cars because of a tax loophole. Um, and it's ruining everything. And it's great. It's, it's epic. And it's really funny because in the EU, where people don't feel the need to be, you know, taking place in the, in, 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 in the transportation arms race, um, they are actually marketing smaller cars here. Because, you know, they are more practical. Big it's cars are more dangerous, though. they kill the drivers more often. Really? Uh, I mean, how yeah. does that work? How are big cars more dangerous? Maybe like because of a percentage, because there is more SUVs than there isn't. Another thing that's really important is crash compatibility. You know, like if, let's say that two normal sized sedans crash into each other, then they are very crash compatible they both suffer the same amount of damage and thus both the drivers most likely survive. But but imagine what happens if like a Ford F-150 crashes into a Mazda Miata. Yeah, good luck, the guy turns into <laughs> yeah. a tuna can. Like, th th those are not compatible. Also, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I mean, th this is such a US moment. Imagine getting your learner's permit for driving a car at age 14, being able to buy a gun at age 16, and being able to drink at age 21. You know, I'm actually kind of happy that um, the legal drinking age and the legal age to drive are so far apart because they are experiencing them at different ages. Like, imagine if you got to get your driver's license mm -hmm. and the ability to drink on the same day. I feel like that would not uh, <laughs> make Yeah, that better. wouldn't end well, actually. <laughs> so, like, you know, I've been working as a bartender for five years. Right? Yes. I started when I was 16. And I just turned 21. Yes. In the US, I would be able to start now as a bartender. Very good luck. So if you, if you working... apply to a job in America, you say, like, hey, I have five years of experience. And they're like, what? And then they How the hell is that possible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like Please do more USA accent. That's so crazy. I've been working in this field for five years, 
But in the yes, I'd only be allowed to start fucking now. Or like, start actually serving alcohol or drinking alcohol. So crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rick started driving at 50. What? I mean, I, I, I did 16, so... But like, we have a great system for that in Austria. I had to do like 20 hours of driving with an instructor and like 3,000 kilometers from my parents. Like, in Austria the system works. We get the necessary uh, training. 20 hours is actually very little, if you think about it, but yeah, that you need the to drive a car No, that's not little. 20 hours is not enough to get, to get you any form of practice. 20 hours is oh, just yeah. to teach you. Hell yeah, of course. It gets you a lot yeah. of practice. I mean, I, I've been through it, it gives you so much knowledge. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a license, so you, you are most likely right than if you say that, but I don't know, 20 sounds very little. Like, it's it's 20 hours of actually being in the car and driving. It's also like 20 hours of theory. Yeah. Plus, like, 3,000 kilometers with your parents, or like any kind of adult that has a license. Uh, that, like, it's crazy. Like, it's... Austria is, like, one of the hardest licenses to get. Like, you, you have to actually be good at driving. Like, I take pride in being good at driving my... I and I would to consider that, to be a good, good driver. I was, I was, I used to say that until I had the first crash. I, I haven't had that yet. Or when you caused the crash that you weren't even a part of, and then the guy tried to beat you up. We didn't try to beat also, look me at up. Speed just now, by the way. Me. Right. Uh, look at the speed, by the way. This is the most speed we ever reached in the speed one. So it's it's very close to the speed cap of the game, and it's done by brake boosting. Yeah, back to the discussion. So, so if you go speedy in a speed run, is that just a regular run? Wait, that makes no sense. Never mind. Go on. It's a, it's a speed run, speed run. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm on like four hours of sleep, and I don't even know what I'm talking um, about, man. I'm just getting angry about public infrastructure on the on GDQ. I don't even know how we got here. Uh, it's such a <laughs> fuck, such a meme, man. <laughs> But hey, um, 1850 Whoa. people are enjoying Whoa. that. Whoa! How many kilometers and... That how, was how many kilometers? That was 420 kilometers. You are right. It's actually, Ricky. I know. <laughs> it's actually, it's like, I I this mission we reach 420 kilometers an hour. Yeah, because that's the speed cap. You cannot go any higher. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not searching to Franklin for Iron Sky, which is a perfect mission for more uh, discussions. Mm. What's a good car in That's a saber. Look at that. Yeah, but it's interesting because people do actually feel a lot Phoenix. safer in, in SUVs. Like, whenever uh, I'm with my mom in the car, she, she just sees like an SUV and she's like, I want that. Like, why? Because I feel safe. And like, I get that, like, yeah, if someone crashes into you, then I guess you will survive, but imagine if you hit someone. Like, yeah, you know. That doesn't matter for just... your safety, though. Yeah, obviously, but isn't it someone. a bit selfish? Like, let's say yeah, that you run over a bicyclist because, you know, maybe it's not even your fault, but let's say that it is your fault. Now, if you were driving a smaller car, that guy might survive. Now, she doesn't have a liver. Or he, I don't know. But like, you is, can... is, being, yeah. is, is being selfish in that case bad? Um, like it's it, it should be about your safety. Like you should be focusing on your safety and your. I mean, I guess if you think about it, as in like it's your money that you're spending, so you want to get the most out of it. Yes, but I think that if people were just driving cars that were, you know, um, lighter and smaller, then everyone would benefit in the end. But you know, like yeah, some people and some use cases do need big cars. Like contractors who need to haul wood or something. Yeah, they do need a truck, but there's trucks that are way more um, useful and and practical than, than whatever they sell rent to just like you know moms trying to feel safe on the road. Yeah, and, like, you know most those people, people just don't buy need their SUVs. Yeah, yeah, they don't. They don't. Most people don't need the SUVs. It's... Oh, wow, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, like I said, let's not get into how much more practical a van actually is for almost anything. Like, with a van... Excuse me. Uh, with a van, uh, you can have, 
you know, like a couple of bed. Um, and with, with, with a truck, you don't. And yeah, you know, you can put like a bed cover on it. Oh, you mean truck like a pickup truck? Yeah. Okay. How do you die? How do you shoes? Take your shoes. Pause fish. Possibly your burp broke the stream. Good job. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. How do you I will never burp again. again. L hustle. L. Technos. Okay, good. Techno. Yeah, I fucking um, love techno. <laughs> Fico hype. Alright, uh, yeah. Um. I should. Uh, I'm just getting people here to find that car one was somehow trying to grant Grand Theft Auto. So, who's, who, so whose auto are we Grand Theft Auto? We are Grand, Grand Theft Auto in the Grand, what? We are Grand Theft Auto in the Grand Theft Auto in the car in the Grand Theft C-Type. Yeah! Um, theft. Is his name actually? It is Chad! Wow! It is Chad, yeah. What is that? Chad! Hey Chad! Chad! Chad. Chad. Oh, yeah. Was I mentioned mention that usually in Medium we use this, uh, this sector as a toilet break. But, uh, I guess at this point it's worth announcing that we're going to do a 5 minute break after this mission. Because that's when we're going to be at the 3 hour mark roughly. So just announcing that. I have a as a robot? No way. No, Twitch. <laughs> That's what the message got deleted. So <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Fimo. That's a Yigi butt haircut to be family friendly. And uh, while this mission is playing and we're not really doing anything, it's worth mentioning again. Next weekend is the actual anniversary, and to celebrate the 10 year anniversary for the GTA 5 uh, game, uh, all the speedrunners are having a speedrun race, and everyone is welcome to join that race. Um, you can jo join the GTA 5 speedrunning Discord for more information, but basically uh, it's just a any percent run that anyone can join in. If you want, you can join our um, our voice call that uh, all the runners will be in. I think all three of us are going to be there, and a yeah. lot of others that you know. Um, so it should be a good time. I'm really looking forward to it, and um, yeah. Okay, for for me the audio is actually fine. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, their church just posted the link to the GTA 5 speedrunning disc. If you want, Wait, like people are saying it anyways. fixed it. Fixed? Fair enough. Hey, are we back? I'm English, is great. <laughs> I speak London. The London is my city thing. No, no. England is my city, yeah. Let's actually ask the people in chat, how many languages does anyone speak in the chat? Two and a little of two more. 
Does does anyone speak more than one language who is from America? Oh my god, that's where you're going. I was like, yeah. okay, where are you going with this? Oh, that's where you're going. Is anybody here from the US who speaks more than one language? I mean, I speak two, German and English, and I kind of speak Spanish as well. Three, three. I speak Spanish American. Like American. I speak Virginian and Texan, though they are two languages, man. I feel like it becomes really impressive from three. Because, you know, like, like yeah, one, it's like pathetic. Two, it's pretty normal. But when you speak three, that's really cool. What about me? I speak five, and I'm learning the sixth one. Okay, but do you actually? Yeah. That's, that's freaking crazy. Okay, so they are like English, German, French. No, French, no. French, not really, no. So I speak, uh, I speak English, German, uh, Roman, Italian, Romance. Yeah, Romance Italian. is a Swiss language, yeah. Italian, of course, yeah. Uh, a tiny... I do count that I do speak French, although it's very little. So I guess I can say, yeah, it's four. But I'm learning uh, Danish as well. And how oh, close yeah. is this, like, Romance to, to, like, you know, other languages? Like, Sorry? That, like, you know, the, the Swiss language, like, that's not wholly separate from German, is it? Like, that's just, like, a heavy no, German language. Like, like, unintelligible. Romance is actually a, a, a Latin language, so it's more close to Italian than it is German. Yeah, well, like, actually. I mean, I speak German, I don't speak, like, I, I can't understand a single word of Romance, so... Yeah. Uh, occasionally, there will be like a word that 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 just doesn't exist in the language, so they just say the German word. So they oh, say like God, that was close. The, the German word for vacuum cleaner, for example, because that doesn't exist in the <laughs> in the Romance language. Saka. Yeah. Also, no. just a little update on the game. Uh, we have now acquired the C-type, and uh, we're now on our way to the airport with Devon. And I almost just got cops on this drive because I, I killed uh, Chad and then I almost hit the guy and hitting that guy would have gotten me cops which would have lost me like a minute. So yeah. Also there's a nice little skip done. here, go on the side and not, not get stopped. And dive out at the end. What?! No way! Uh... Devin was scared now. I think you were too yeah. far to the left. No, that, that, that doesn't exist. There's no too far to the left. That should not have happened. It's subtitles. Oh yeah, maybe. Is it it's so subtitles. Long? It's surely subtitles. Wow, that's really funny. Subtitles <laughs> just made the car not stop on the yellow dot, so a mission oh. failed. Ex Unbelievable. I Someone clip that, please. I wanna post it in the Discord. Because our Discord also has like a place where you can share things happen to you on your speedrun. And I want to share that one. Yes. That's yeah, and funny. I'm yeah. not doing that again. I just Maybe want to tell Rage that the there's diner? nothing bad with going for, for this. Like, nothing at all. This is a very fine strat. This just happened because, you know... This strat works every time. I think it's the subtitles. Yeah, it has to be. That is extraordinary. Yeah. Okay, also just saying again for everybody, uh, once I finish this mission, which I should have just done, but you know, uh, I'm going to, well, we are going to do a little toilet break. Uh, yes, sponsor beer. This has never happened before. Literally never. It happened many times? What do you mean? Never no, to me. it hasn't. Yeah, so that's not this thing. And that's, that's, yeah, the, that's... the door breaking off is not me T-boning Devin. Okay, and pause. There right. we go. So, uh, like we, we said earlier, we just like to take breaks every now and then so people can get up, stretch, get some water, everything like that. We'll be back in uh, just a few minutes, everybody, with uh, more of the run. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. Today, we are celebrating 10 years of GTA 5. We are in the middle of an any percent run. I will hand it right back over, and we can get right back into it. All right, yeah. Uh, welcome back, everyone. 
uh, GTA 5, any percent classic, non mission, uh, which just finished Iron the Sky. So let's continue by switching to Michael. I didn't do the countdown. <laughs> okay, just stop the timer, please. <laughs> I, I, I forgot about the timer. The time is fake! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I also focus on the new strat that I'm doing here because I'm now doing a new strat that was just found literally today. The strat is literally not even like 24 hours old. Which is that after switching here, I am going to load a save file. Make a save and load it. And this should put me very close to the mission. If everything goes right. If not, then I'm very embarrassed. But we'll see. If not, then I will laugh at you. Not you with you, but down. at you. Do you need to press down a button here? No. Yes, there I am. Let's go. Um, nice. can, can I go through this? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's a new stat that I just did. Um, basically, I can I can warp now. So by making like a mission replay thing about an hour. Well, I actually know, like half an hour ago. And then loading that, uh, and, and then like making a save and loading it now, I just teleported myself to this place. And I just so, but have to do something, hold on, okay. Yep. I just had a realization. This mm -hmm. now makes the friend request bike a lot less important, but it makes the Blitz play car a lot more important. Yeah. So now actually getting highway switch is awful. Because you cannot get sports cars then. Just take the co you can just take take the coquette, you know. That's true, yeah. The, I there guess are, so. There is a coquette spawn. But is it still faster then? Yeah. I would oh yeah. Maybe. Seems like it. I mean I I have a nine F, so it's surely faster. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess now oh, this is yeah. In the old strat, um, we would have been using the duped bike from uh, that we duped when before we started countryside segment, before we unlocked Trevor. Oh yeah, man. Okay. Should have maybe slowed down there. <laughs> you are. Yeah, you're not Franklin. You can't. You can't use the special ability to yeah, yeah. bail you out there. Unfortunately, this catches out a lot of runners. Like it catches out me. Uh, maybe not all the runners, but like. It catches up me sometimes when I'm playing as Michael and Trevor and I'm like in a car and I'm like trying to use the ability of Franklin and I can't and I get really surprised. I only had this happen yeah. when I was still learning the run. Like when you don't have enough practice with these drives, then you don't really have muscle memory for like, you know, what buttons to press in what situations and then you can be caught off guard. But I feel like with time this goes away. Nice ladder launch here. Hey yo, hey yo, bro! Shut up! What like was that? Did you drop that? And now we just have to beat Rocco eleven times. It's ten, Do actually. It it's Is ten, it? I think. It's ten. Yeah. All right, spray tan. Anyways, I'm at that's better. Much as was that was enough, and now I have a helicopter. Which I need to use to fly uh, those two beautiful people in the helicopter back to the movie studio. Uh, a quick lore update. Um, we basically we did the blitz play heist where we stole a bunch of bonds for Devon Weston, and as a thank you for that, he introduced us to Solomon Richards, who is a movie producer, and uh, we now stole those two guys for him. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so, in other words, if someone doesn't want to work with you and, and they are demanding a higher wage, just kidnap them. That's another <laughs> life wisdom that GTA 5 teaches you. You know, first just abandoning your friends and then this. I feel like there's some really valuable lessons to learn here. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Do it in a helicopter as well. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Your nearest one. Especially if you can't drive one, it's even funnier. Yeah. <laughs> GTA men saying LMO, imagine playing GTA 5 has something funny about it. You can shoot it to the tap movement. Wait, is that, is that the guy who used to make those GTA online videos? Oh yeah! I don't know. Ah, pretty epic. 
And a cool thing is in this mission that we actually use the helicopter we get in the mission to fly to the next one. Yep. Okay, and I'm, yeah, now we're doing a mission for Martin Madrasa, which is called Calle de Libre, which means free fall in Spanish. And uh, this mission is for Martin Madrasa, who we already met in marriage counseling. Okay, I am now going to do this again. To set up this warp again. So... Just asking hmm? about this strat. Um, yeah. Basically, you make a save, you load in without holding any of them. No. Or, or Not now. I mean, yeah. You do the mission replay. Yeah. Cancel out of it, and then whenever you want to go back to that point, you just make a save and load that save, and you're there. Yeah. Yes. And That's... it apparently doesn't even work like a save warp does because the world loads you in the correct place the first time. So it's not that you teleport after loading in, you just load in there. So it's weird, it's really weird. Can you start the mission, please? Thank you. This See? mission entry is really weird. Yeah, you just need to say please and thank you. Being a polite boy leads to nice results, don't you think? <laughs> I guess. Actually, you should know this as a bartender and waiter. Don't you like to 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 serve nice clients? I mean yeah, that's very true. Can I please have a gin tonic? And here's a twenty euro tip. I mean yeah, it's more about the tip I was about to say. <laughs> I don't care about them being nice, not the care about the tips that they give me. That's why I'm nice to people, because I want their money. <laughs> Average waiter. Yeah. Gave me my food, you're, you, you dirty service worker. And here's a tip. Ah, oh, thank you, man, you're so nice. Oh, thank you, man, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I actually um, gave a tip to the pizza delivery man yesterday because he was here in record time. Yeah, okay, well. I did that too recently when, like, I ordered some kebab and the guy was here, like, within. You ordered minutes. kebab? Yes. Isn't there like a kebab store like two meters from you? Um, actually now yes, but there didn't used to be for a long time. Like the nearest kebab place to me was like 20 minutes by bus and like 10 by bicycle. So yes, anyways, point is I ordered some kebab and the guy got here within like 12 minutes. And I just was like, dude, you, you deserve this, take like this 50 cents of tip. Which is a lot in Hungary, so. It's like 2,000 foreign. Yeah, to be clear, I despise tipping culture. I think you should only tip uh, when you are actually really happy with the service and not just in general. The only times I tip are when I'm astounded at how good something is or when I'm at the store and they need to give me back like two euro cents and I just say keep the change. So. Okay, actually Hostel, you yes. only tipping when you're very astounded of something is you literally tipping every time. Because every time you are somewhere you're like, oh my god, this is so good, oh my god, this is so great. Am I? Yes. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you are the easiest person ever to get excited about something. Yeah, I just get put in combat sense really quickly. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. It's Speaking actually... of the tipping culture, it's like it, yeah, go on. the way it works in America, where you're basically required. I'm not sure. Is it is required the correct word for the tipping? You aren't culture? required, but you should really do it. It's the live of the tips in America. It's like yeah, for, for socially required, not yeah, not by law. Yeah. Yeah. Although there are some places that automatically add the tip onto it. Yeah, and then you just remove it. And and if you can't, then you just sue them and you get money and they close down. It, in general, like, also just okay. buying groceries cool. in, in America, um, you have to, like, add up the tax in your head 
Yeah. Oh, that's really like, weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's for us Europeans. That's so weird. Okay, yeah. Like the yeah. price and the label isn't actually what you pay. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, over there they include the tax on the label. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Please. If 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 we go to a store and we see something for two ninety nine, then it costs two ninety nine for us. It's unreal, right? That would be so amazing. How dare this, these Europeans just actually that? do what they are oh, told? What? No, no they just have to add the the, the, the text up in their head. And the people that justify this bullshit are saying like, well, if you're a company, then then you can just look at the deductibles because then you know that you will get back that money at the end of the year. Blah 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 blah. And stupid American, like, it's oh it's, God, it's unreal. Oslo. <laughs> okay. For, for the record, not all Americans are stupid, but the people who justify that tax should not be uh, in prices are... And I will stand by that. I, I will die on this hill. People who, who advocate for... Let's see... Um, Car-focused infrastructure... Oh no... Not having tax in the prices... Thinking that tipping is, de uh, is a default... Um, also, we're on GDQ, remember, we're on GDQ. People that are against immigration... There's some people that I don't like. Also, also, really? Okay. Just, just a, a bit, <laughs> please. Please. This is like, I, I think the first or second time. Anger. This is like the first or second time GTA 5 is on GDQ. I don't want it to be the last. <laughs> um, I believe this is the first time. I Wasn't there a run at, at the GTA 3 event? Yes, there was. Was it? Yes. Alright, I don't know what I'm talking about. Carry on, everybody. No, it was yeah, just yeah, the first was... hour. And and I was yeah. on commentary for that too, and we got invited back, so... Yeah. But you didn't, you didn't go full hustle on that, did you? I didn't have time. <laughs> I've been here for one and three hours, so... You had time now? Yeah, I feel like uh, uh, I should leave before um, before my my more controversial takes come up. <laughs> <laughs> I am visibly scared. Also, what I just did is a hospital warp, by the way. So you you saw me randomly mission fail, right? Uh, that was basically I I blew up the car, which then I got a truck. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we these aren't the controversial takes. Yeah, trust me, they aren't. Hostel has got some other stuff up his sleeves. Uh, anyways, what I did is a uh, mission failed by destroying the, tr the the van too close to the observatory, and that then also killed Michael. So Michael died outside of the mission fail. So the mission fail was for was for um, exploding the van too close to the observatory, and then I died. Which then walks into the hospital in the next mission. Like, after the mission, I mean. Yeah. And in this mission... I explained that so bad, but... It's I hope you understood. a very complicated way to explain it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, if Basically, you're in a mission fail screen... Uh, that doesn't include you dying, but you also die in that screen. Then you get a hospital warp at the end of the mission. Yeah. And, just, and, uh, and you just get warped to the nearest hospital after... Yeah, I'm sure that they understood it. And if they didn't, well, then that just adds to the mystery. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing? How is he so fast? He's insane. Imagine not hearing the break boost explanation at the beginning and now being confused about break boosting. Yeah, well, you know, it's just skill. And if you can't go this fast, skill is true. Fuck, I picked up a tail. But yeah, like, I don't think that I have some really controversial takes. It's just more so that I'm petty. Like, I just have some really specific opinions about some really specific things. And you're very passionate about everything. Yes. Yes, that too. I almost got into a fist fight with someone about infrastructure recently. <laughs> what? <laughs> and nice. you seriously ask yourself why I have a folder with hostile moments? <laughs> okay, but like, I deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I, I, I have looked it up, I have no memory of this, but I hosted the GTA 5 run that was on last time. 
Yes, you did. I remember you. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I just do not. My, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> happens. I, happens. Uh, that was Rough. for GTA Three. I just don't remember it at all. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So I'm right now, I'm once again doing that strat where I. Uh, Load the save file, which I like marked earlier, and this is so I'm not cool. like I basically just save like half a minute by loading that save file and not being in a helicopter randomly. Jump out, no balls. Uh, actually, uh, can I save balls on GDQ? Hmm. That's hostile. You ask after you say it. <laughs> <laughs> You ask that after way, such a, oh. they cannot say you. They cannot say no. <laughs> uh. All right, this is one of the best missions that the game has to offer now. Minor turbulence. Where we fly a crop <laughs> duster into a cargo plane because that makes sense. Yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, it's not like um, the crop duster could never actually catch up to a plane like that, but you know. I swear to God, Hostel wants, like, in a few years, the, the Hostel Moments folder on my PC is going to be the biggest folder on my entire PC. What? How? How? When I was moving my files over to my new PC, I actually had to do uh, two USB drives because of the Hostel Moments. <laughs> yeah, I recently <laughs> bought a new 2 terabyte HD to just store the Hostel Moments. <laughs> I actually bought one. Yeah. I don't think I said anything that's not family friendly, to be fair. Like, did I say anything that you would not tell your child? I mean, walkable cities are important, right? Pet alone is offensive <laughs> to Americans. <laughs> I am good with children, I promise. Oh, I'm... Um, okay. <laughs> right. I, uh, yes, I... You know what? Fair, I did say that. Can you see the cam, even? <laughs> you guys can't see the cam, right? Hustle, Riggy. I can't see yeah. it in the Yeah, yeah, we can, we can. Oh, sad. I was going like crazy. <laughs> uh, also, quick lore update. Uh, I'm a man of turbulence, I'm flying, let's continue. Hustle. Oh yeah, I recently figured out that I can make a really funny sound by wiggling my face back and forth. No, 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 no. The strategy for this mission is... Go ahead, Nicky, go ahead. So, uh... You can rubber band the um, big plane forward a little by just going ahead of it. But you have to do it in a specific way. Watch Alex because he knows how to do it. And he's good at this game. Yeah. And um, basically, the the also something annoying about this, like this mission, has actually got like one of these things where you have to stay close to the ground. Whereas the other one just said that you shouldn't fly close to the ground, but there wasn't actually no restriction. Oh, yeah. But this mission has that restriction. Yeah, like here you actually have to fly close to the ground. Like, there's like this rule that if it beeps more than 10 times, you mission fail. Yes, I count the beeps. Can we donate to Mute Hustle? Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. What did I want to say? I was debating for such a long time whether I should put Hostel on commentary or not. Did I make a good decision by having him? I'm having a good time. Yeah, that's good. A hype train is closed. That's There's a hype train for shutting me up. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> if we reach hype train. I 
I'm joking, please don't. <laughs> what do I mean? I can't even hear you. Your Discord cut out. Did it? Yes. Yeah. I said that. I said, I said that if we reach hype train level three, we will. It cut out again, it's but I think it's got a mute hustle. Like, <laughs> uh, how do you mean it cut out? <laughs> like right? I just. Listen, the very important thing is, and you just need to listen to this, okay? So just, just listen now. You need... <laughs> no, and actually, don't forget... <laughs> if we reach Hype Train level 3, we will mute hustle. Was it cut out again? No. Good. Also, I'm joking. Yeah, it's more of a let's play than a speedrun. No, it, it is a speedrun. No, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have now done something very realistic, which is fly the crop duster into the cargo plane. Because this game is yep. great. And of course, neither of them explodes. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what would happen viable. if you tried this um, in real life. Like, would the kinetic energy just, you know, from the crop duster to the, the, the cargo plane? Like,. Would that just blow it up? Because, like, you know, if they are traveling at different speeds, or I mean, you know, like at similar speeds, then the actual speed difference wouldn't make that big of a of a dent, right? Like, maybe this is something that you can pull off, I don't know, but it looks not realistic. To be honest, I lost track of what you were saying, like, midway through. I so, think the, the crop duster would... The, the what happens to the wings might be accurate. I think the impact would cause more damage, though. I think yeah. the planes would go down. <laughs> yeah, I think the cargo plane would just kind of lose its middle, and it would just kind of, you know, fall apart from the middle down. Yeah. Would, uh, yeah. Okay, would... that that sentence was barely English. Sorry, it's getting late. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be the next Mr. Beast video. Rich wine crazy things from GTA Five. Did a Mr. Beast just like <laughs> throw down a train into a hole? Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, epic. He also then like just put a into... Lambo into a a like shredder or whatever. I'm writing Mr. Beast an email right now. Where's his his like business inquiries? Hello, this is nine one one. What emergency <laughs> service do you require? Shoutouts to uh. Outcast, Mr. Leon. Beast. Yeah. 11 ways to get in touch with YouTube or Mr. Beast. Why is there a WikiHow article in this? I want an email address. <laughs> Rank not today. There Wait, there's a phone number? Today. I'm calling Mr. Beast. I want to take down No. Hostile. Why are there illustrations for this? Dude. Uh. Hey, Sarge, is it fine if I send just a screenshot in general? You need to see this. Running GT5 sounds horrible. Look at this mission, this is awesome. Big gameplay. No, this, like, running the speed game is fun like 95% of the time. But then you have missions like these that are just boring. Oh, that's even better. Before I start streaming my attempts, I would always just listen to podcasts while running. Some That's people actually, do that. Yeah, yeah I, I think we could do it while streaming, which is, I think, like, not, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so, oh, so, so used to do that. Just listening to Joe Rogan while running. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh no, they had to die for the time save. Yes, I killed the dog, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so killing that dog there isn't just like sadism. Um, but if you just use the RPG to blow up this fence, then the dog will try to eat you. And bad news, the dog wins. Uh, especially when you have a phone call coming in and the mission pass screen. So if you don't kill the dog in time, the dog will kill you. It's just, you know, survival of the fittest. Yep. Yeah. Which is us, Top of course. Moment. Apex Predator. 
Yep. And now we have a really, really cool mission. It's called Polito Score Setup. Uh, exactly. Which is very cool because it features a very, very long drive in a very, very slow car. Yeah, very accurate. Like, we have like two very boring missions back to back. Uh, Mana Turbulence and Polito Score Setup. But the game is going to pick up some steam soon, so... Yeah. I mean, we are reaching like some of my favorite parts soonish. The, the end of uh, like the game becomes better and better the longer you go on in my opinion. Because like fresh meat is a great segment if it wasn't so RNG heavy. And afterwards the bureau raid part is amazing and third way is the highlight of the game, so yeah. Oh, I almost okay. Oh, air control, air control, there. let's go. Yeah, I definitely agree that the second half of the game is, like, just so amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, like, for, from a speedrunning sense, I don't like the beginning that much. I'm, I'm, I'm like a late game expert. Like, most of my world records in the segments were in the late game part. And in general, like, I'm usually always, like, a few minutes behind world records in my runs at the beginning, but then later I catch up. Alex, why do you have the phone up right now? Oh yeah, I have the phone up because it's a, it's a dialogue skip. And to make it because, pink. Uh, pink, okay. Uh, yeah, we, we, we should have done like a thing here. What, yeah, um, purple may, glow. Yeah, make it purple glow and pink. That's that's a really good combo. Do you mean pink though? Or theme, theme pink? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Very nice. Very um, nice. And put the ringtone on, on the screaming lady. I love to hear that. What screaming lady? Wow, that that sounded super weird. <laughs> it did, but only what? after you said that. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed. I remember in GTA 4 you had the option to actually buy ringtones, which was a thing in 2008. Like, yeah. you buy ringtones and... Yeah, I remember like, that there used to be like TV commercials. Text, are we talking something, about something, Apostle, something. Huh? Jan just insane in commentary here also in the chat. Anyways. I, um, I said it. I said it on chat because I wasn't sure if it's too risky for the stream bringing up the war facts. Uh, but anyways, no. <laughs> um, we have now picked up Lester. We've <laughs> met before. Oh, is this the, the angle you shoot this from, dude? Dude, what just back up, it? back up, back up. What do you mean back up? Where did I go? Left of the bush. What do you mean left of the bush? If you just take a wider angle, then you can shoot left of the bush. That's slow. Yeah, because clearly this was so fast. <laughs> if I had hit it. Yeah, don't joke about Riggy's age because it's, you know, true and it hurts when it's true. <laughs> hey, only want mission fail, yeah. No red and cops. Actually, um, can we do a quick survey? How old are people around here? What's the the GDQ age demographic? I am 19, turning 20 next month. Alex is 21, Ruggie is... Ruggie, how old are you? 29. 29. Very impressive. <laughs> okay. Too <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Hey, Church, how old are you? I literally turned 28 today. Epic. Right? Today? That's awesome. Happy birthday! Wait, right Thank wait you. today? Yeah, literally today. This is this is a birthday stream for me. And no oh. way. Hey, Can we please awesome. get some cheers in chat for Absolutely. our host, Church and Sarge? 29, 33, 40, 29, 23, 37, 34. I'm the same age as Rello. Oh, the explosion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Happy hey. birthday, church. Yeah. Hey, Ray, how old are you? Ah. 
Uh, yeah. Um, um, our tech guy is a uh, 37. I'm actually like I'm... the youngest here. No, I am the youngest here. Oh yeah, you, but uh, yeah. Yeah, but we don't, we don't count me, because uh, I will be just erased from this war to make this PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it's how they recut the Cosby show without Cosby. And now it's just the show. <laughs> Or is that just a Bojack Horseman joke? I can't tell. I have to imagine that's a joke. <laughs> yeah, I have to imagine that too. <laughs> However, I do have to believe that hostages believes the random jokes from a TV series. As a fact. I mean, if they are funny, then... So if things are funny, they are true? No! But it's... <laughs> but... It fills my heart with joy to believe things that make me happy. Is that really too 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 bad? I mean, if the things are wrong... Do you not want to be filled with happiness? Well, Would I you want just to rather be... live your life in misery? Is that why you speak on GTA 5? Oh my god, yes. it makes so much more sense now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ask any speedrunner. Do you want you to ask... live a life... Do you want to live a life of misery? Ask any speedrunner. Yes, yeah. I do. It's a song like this, right? Life of Misery. I don't know. I Miss but... the Misery by Hailstorm, yeah. I don't think that there's like no, a so. okay. demographic that has as much cognitive dissonance as speedrunners. Like, they do this thing for so many hours and days and sometimes even years as like the thing that they enjoy doing as a hobby. And if anyone asks about them, they say that they should not do it, and that they hate doing it, and screw this game, and it's awful, and that uh, and that they are angry, and they will come back tomorrow because of course they will. Yeah. Right. Uh, also, I'm doing a a strat here, which is a um a, a text manipulation. Basically, I got a timer that set after that one phone call, the first one, the Franklin phone call, and. Then I called the blimp at a specific time, and now I'm gonna put on my phone at a specific time, which will then make the text that spawns military hardware come in. There we go. I just got a threat idea. But I think it's about equal in time. Okay. What if you did like the new replay uh, bull crap? Um, like after Mr. Phillips? You know, when you're going to TPI, you set it up a Trevor's trailer, and then after TPI, you just go back for Nervous Run. Mission... no, that's not worth. We already have a different one at that point. You do? Yeah. Oh, oh, so oh, oh yeah, right, to... you, you do? Yeah, this is, yeah. this is red like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was the best subtitle ever there, Chop saying, like, woof. Woof? <laughs> there, there were subtitles. I mean, it makes sense that they were subtitled a playable character. Yeah, Chop is a playable character too. Yeah, but just GTA never play him. GTA 5 speedrun, that's unusual. What do you mean, that's unusual? It's the most normal thing in the world for us. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess most people see GTA 5 as an unusual speed game. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I spoke to someone for the first time in five years, and I told him that, like, this is my hobby now. And when I said that I've been doing this for, like, three years, I felt weird. But... <laughs> yeah. I've been speedrunning for almost four and a half years. And how do you feel? Don't worry. We, uh, no idea, man, honestly. It, it feels very, very weird. Don't you but sometimes I've, I've think about what your life would be if you just went down a different path? And I don't mean this in, like, a weird no. sentimental way, but, like... What if you just didn't start doing this? What if you just started a different hobby? Like, you know, maybe your life would only be slightly different. Or maybe it would be oh, very yeah, different. Exactly. Nothing would have changed for me. Because I started speedrunning after attending high school for the first time. And I just graduated. So, literally nothing would have changed for me. I would but still have finished high school. I would still be working in my silver so Nothing would have changed. If you didn't start speedrunning, you wouldn't have met me. You wouldn't have went to Sweden to meet 
all the other people, you wouldn't have ran in front of thousands of people like right now. Like, True. I would say that it would have kind of changed your life to not start speedrunning. You oh, wouldn't yeah, have surely. had to raise money for, 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 you know, some pretty good causes in charity marathons. Like, yeah. That's very true. It's, it's, it's interesting. But like, let's say if you instead picked up an instrument, maybe you would be rocking out now in, in a garage and be releasing your first album soon. Like, you know. One's life can always go in so many different directions and you can never know if you've done the right choice. Or made the right choice rather, and you never will because you don't know the alternative. So you just have to hope that you did everything right and live with no regrets. Because if you think about this stuff too much, you will go crazy. How did this get so incredibly deep now? Did it? Yes. This went like super deep. So quickly. We went from talking about American infrastructure to the deepest feelings of your heart in 15 minutes. <laughs> I mean, when I see horrible infrastructure like that, I feel like pouring my heart out. Existential crisis done quick. <laughs> <laughs> that is an underrated. No. I think oh, it's rated well. I I, I rated underrated. at least an 8 out of 10. That yeah, chat message yeah. is oh, better than most things so. we read today. It's at least as good as the Doof and Schmirtz uh, reference. Yeah. <laughs> the Kilometer. <laughs> the Kilometer. <laughs> yeah. My whole life is full of regrets, even just by one letter. Ah, <laughs> oh, so. So I don't even know what to say about it. But yeah, like I don't think about what my life could have been like too much, because like I, I don't think that speedrunning changed what my life would have been too much, because like I still would have done high school, I still would be working in my civil service, I still would be bartending, like none of that was impacted by speedrunning. But yeah, I mean, it has certainly given my life kind of a bit more fulfillment. Like, I, I don't think I would have much of a different hobby. I mean, like, see, you don't know that. Maybe, maybe you would have found something a lot more fulfilling. Like, yeah, you know, you're pretty fulfilled right now, but... You know? It's not something that you can accurately gauge because, you know, your life could have gone an infinite amount of different ways, right? Like, what if you just didn't speed around one day, you went to like, I don't know, an Indian restaurant, and you met someone there, and through that someone you would have found a new hobby. Or like, I don't know. Yeah, because I'm the guy who talks to random people about stuff, yeah, Hustle. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe yeah, we're just no, like... Not, not everyone is you, Hustle. Like, maybe I... you're just like, waiting in the queue at like, a restaurant, and you're like, huh, it's taking kind of long, right? Yeah. I might seem super extroverted on stream, but I'm actually super introverted. <laughs> My high school girlfriend dumped me because she found out I speedrun Red Faction on PS2. <laughs> 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 what a great game, though. I mean... I, only like five people who I know in real life know about me speedrunning, and no, none of them care about it. I tell a few I've, people. I have no connection between real life. Between my real life and my speedrunning life. Yeah, see, for me it's kind of dangerous because, um, or like, okay, I mean, I wouldn't call it dangerous, but like, there's definitely people who I don't want to know about this. But then again, by just, you know, me telling a couple of people who I do want to know. Then that's kind of opening me up to, you know, everyone quote unquote finding out. Even though, you know, it's not a secret, but like, I don't know, you don't want just random people who you speak to once a year to know that you're obsessed about a video game and sometimes help raise money for charities by playing it. Like, that's, that's a pretty weird conversation starter. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I get I'm, that. I'm like in a different boat. Like, I talk about it freely. I have some real-life friends who um, are actually like my <laughs> biggest 
<laughs> my biggest my biggest supporters from for my personal stream but like yeah it's um it, oh God, I most people mind. most people when you tell them hey, yeah i i i um i speed run now or i i do i do video game streams and they just say so wait people pay to watch you play video games yeah some people don't uh yeah. Some don't, people don't just don't understand the co the concept. And it of, makes perfect sense because yeah. mm -hmm. it sounds really freaking weird if you're not in the subculture, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I avoid the conversation as much as possible and hope people don't ask questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's that has been it's my go-to strat so far. I mean, I've I've never told anybody <clears> in real life that I speed one. Everybody who knows has found out themselves. Either through other, just through randomly stumbling upon me, or through the Discord thing, like the US Live thing on Discord, you know? The stream thing. Was it you who said that um, you had like a couple classmates who were like watching Dark Viper and they had like his merch? And then, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was and, and then, and then you were like, well, I actually speed John GTA 5 too. No, I, I never told them about it. I never told them that I speed one. I just noticed the Viper merch. But something else interesting happened, uh, when I had school like normal, or like, I, I would have had school like normal, but I was at home because I had COVID, I was in lockdown, I was streaming from home, but all my mates were in school, and I told them, hey, I, I can't go to school, so I figured, hey, I can surely stream, right, because I like, I'm, I'm physically fine, I'm just in lockdown, so I, I can stream, right, and like, I then streamed, and the guys literally watched my stream, like, in a break in class on, like, the monitor. Nice. That was, like, one of the weirdest moments in my life. Like, them watching me play at home while they were all in class watching me. That, what? Whoa! Whoa! What? Okay. <coughs> See? That's why you want to mix use neighborhoods, because then the no, people no. who don't want to drive don't have to no, drive. No, no. That person is not a driver because they hate driving and are incapable, but they need to get from A to B. Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. Goodbye, man. I just, I'm just gonna leave that, honestly. I went in, took a break, grand. It was a bit more complicated than that, though, was it? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe. But yeah, that was my, my like one of my weirdest speedrunning stories. Being at home in lockdown playing the game, streaming, and uh, they they randomly found actually yeah they they randomly found my Twitch channel and then watched me stream live to Twitch on my channel in the in in like school on like a monitor. I think I would feel so weird about that that I would just never go live again, ever in my life. Yeah, I I felt really weird about it, but like, I think it, I remember you telling me about it. In the end, it didn't this. matter, cause like I couldn't attend class. I was forced to stay at home. So like in the end, it didn't matter, right? I didn't like break any rules or anything. I think. Yeah, not to mention that you will never see these people again, and you don't care about these people anyway. So. I care about these people. They're my classmates, my best friends. Oh, used to be. Well, what do you mean used to be? I mean, they are not your classmates anymore, and you don't really keep in well, touch yeah. with them, do you? I do keep in touch with them, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I did a catering the other day with one. Oh, that's so nice. And I still, like, ride with them a lot, like some of them. Dude, Just, um, my previous um, uh, school, you know, like, Facebook group from, like... Um... Okay, so for context, I attended like a two year you don't have to be running here for Honda. I know. Okay. Um <laughs> I attended like a two year uh like uh animation and motion picture design course but I had to quit after the first one because I was really sick and I couldn't attend. But I'm still like in the Facebook group for it. Um and someone just sent like Cholero Chito Freddy Fosber and after oh, like no. Six months of Why did you bring this up? No. I just typed oh 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 oh. And I just got like four question mark emojis from different people. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Uh, why did you have to bring that up? 
I'm not even. Helicopter made of steel. Wow. Just yeah, helicopter made of steel. Well, yeah, it is made of steel. You've heard of helicopter made of steel? Have you? I mean, you've heard of men of steel? Have you heard of men like helicopter steel? The delivery on that joke was so bad. <laughs> yeah, I know it was horrible. Yeah, uh, so uh, just to add to the previous conversation, I have been out of school for thirteen years now. How do you feel um, about that? I don't. Wait, thirteen? So you 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 stopped at sixteen? Yeah. How come? I didn't go study. I just went work. Okay. Got at work and um. Yeah, like all the people I went to school with, I like, basically do not talk to um, any of them. <laughs> like, Actually, no, hustle. No yeah, that's something really interesting because I figured because like I I think that what you just did is one of the main issues in society nowadays. What? That people automatically assume you have to finish high school and you have to go to university and whatnot. I mean, and that just dropping out of high school isn't the norm or like isn't normal anymore well okay so here's my take on this i think getting a high school education is maybe not the most important thing but it's important in the sense that it shows that you can finish something if you actually have something better to do instead of finishing high school and that's rare but if you do then you should do that but you can learn anything you want after high school and that's actually how most courses work. You need to finish high school to actually attend a course like that. And it doesn't have to be university. Um, like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, there are some technical schools that you don't need a high school degree for. Uh, but, you know, like, why would you quit high school just to do that earlier? Like, not to mention that you can't even really use most of the equipment if you go, like, a welding or something, right? Like, if you quit at 16, then the best jobs you can work are like being a cashier at a supermarket and that's not... No, you can start what we call a Lehre in uh, in, uh, in Austria. I don't, I don't think that's a thing in most other countries, but you can just like in learn, the, have a program, right? yeah, have a program that teaches you how to be anything basically. There's these things for like waiters like I, or, or cooks, like I, I could have done that, but it also exists for like welders, for basically any of those like hand jobs, you know, woodcutters and painters and whatnot, like everything you can imagine, you can yeah. do this. Yeah, I think the big problem is that it's a societal thing. Like, that kind of stuff doesn't exist everywhere in the world. At least yeah. here, if you don't finish high school, you are going to be hard-pressed to do pretty much anything. Which I don't think is correct. Um, especially with how um, okay. I don't. I don't know that we want to get into this topic. I think Why? school systems aren't great. <laughs> um, I don't want to get too deep into this, but the education system isn't great. So I think there should be some way to, you know, drop out early and, you know, focus on what you want to do. Okay, but um, consider this: there's people who are awful at school. I was awful at school. I hated learning, and I was bad at it. But me too. finishing high school. Finishing high school is such a low barrier that no, anyone it's should not. be able to No, pass. no, no. No? In Austria, finishing high school is actually pretty difficult. Okay, but like... Many, you many to, fail. You went to high school that was also teaching you like other stuff, like it wasn't just a pure high school degree. Yeah, but the normal high schools are also very hard. Hmm. So I have friends who went to them. Is that, like, if high school is easy to pass, then they're not necessarily teaching stuff that is relevant for you to be there for that long like if if you have like a 90 percent pass rate but they're teaching you just like garbage then what's the point right like, that's I, really fair i and I, I i was above average in my class but i just didn't feel like high school like a lot of the things i was learning were relevant um, and in fact, like, 90% of the things I learned are things I will almost certainly never learn again. Yeah, same. But if I do need to know them, I have the internet. So there's yes. definitely better ways to utilize that time, I think. Uh, I just want to say that this shooter is really difficult. And uh, that apparently something about the subtitles uh, prevents you from doing this quickly. 
It's yeah. normal level to finish already. Yeah, apparently. I was like thinking it takes uh, way, way longer. Yeah. Yeah. Something was wrong about the subtitles, just like on the other mission previously. Yeah. Also, if you use yeah. Franklin for that shootout, Franklin's not wearing this big armor that Michael and Trevor are wearing, so he moves a lot quicker. But obviously, he has less um, health than they yeah. do. So. Also, like, I guess if uh, the audience wants us to focus more on the run, then you know, I guess we can try doing that. But let's be real: most this of this game, that and especially in the last two thirds, it's not interesting. You just, you know, it's a video game. You shoot people, you drive vehicles, and yeah, like that's all of GTA, but like there's really nothing notable about any of this. There's no cool strats. You just play casually but faster. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, like especially yeah. this section here, you know, minor turbulence, Politos got set up, Politos got the first part, derailed monkey business, surveying the score, bury the hatchet. This really is the kind of boring part of the game. Like two percent countryside. Split, play, split. Oh, wait, that's the exciting part. Fast-paced missions, tons of awesome drives and shootouts. And this is more of the, the boring middle part, you know? Yeah. We should also mention that this segment can be a bit more interesting, and you will see that later on if you stay not, not uh, on, on this channel. Um, it's not going to be on uh, this run, but there will be another run afterwards, actually. Speedrunning this specific segment, the Polito Score no, segment. No. This is Polito Score segment, Ricky. Wait, fresh it's segment. Not business. Oh shoot, yeah, you're right. This is, this is fresh meat segment. It's really late for us Euro boys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking a really weird line here. Can I make the jump? I can make yeah, the jump. Nice. Look at that first try. Ayo. But yeah, there will be a, a um, run of the Polito score segment that we just did previous to this mission, um, which contains a lot of you know slow-paced, boring missions, and we can uh, unnamed is going to showcase a glitch or a uh, thing that we can do to make the t um, make the segment a lot faster. So stay tuned yeah. for that. Also, yeah, also just to... a quick... Yeah, uh, yeah go, go ahead. I was just gonna say, a huge shout out to all of you who are staying up late for this. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Unless if I oh, was... Oh yeah, like... You yeah. know, I had to play CS, in which case I would have left already, but I wasn't. So. Like, I mean, That's a joke. I literally, no, I literally said... I, I literally said before that... Uh, like, my work tomorrow starts at 8.45 EU time. It's currently almost 11 p.m. So my work starts in nine and a half hours. I'm going to be playing for more than two hours still. Uh, I, I literally said when I heard about this event, hey, I'd rather completely like die the next day at work and be super tired than miss the chance to do this event. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd happily stay up late for this. Is what uh, I'm trying uh, to say. Uh, Alex just told me to... And I quote, keep my schedule open for September 10th because it will be, and I quote, the biggest thing in his speedrunning career. So he is not lying. He wants to do this a lot. Yeah, of course, man. I mean, there's only so many times you can do a run on, on, on GDQ while not actually flying somewhere. In the speed game that you have been running for four years uh, in front of a ton of people, you know? Okay, so where's everyone from in this chat? Because, you know, we've seen ages, but let's see... Let's see nationalities. I wanna see, like, what percentage of this is American. Because we are not really in the, you know, US time zone that's convenient to watch. But I guess we are I mean, now, actually. Right now uh, we are in the US time zone. Yeah, 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 we are now. He said the line! It is. <laughs> also, I did just want to, uh, to bring up, we do... Uh, except online runs for the mainline <laughs> events now. So, if there is anybody who wants to show a game off at GDQ but can't make it, there is still the opportunity. Oh yeah, I heard about that, yeah, true. It's a fairly scripted shootout. Every uh... Uh, we know where every uh, enemy spawns, basically. So, okay, what uh, do I read yeah. here?
Kazakh, Sweden, American, Finland, UK, Netherlands, Germany. What's PS? Uh. Hmm. Polynesia? Philippines? No way, that's a country. French Polynesia. What's PS? Denmark! Oh, Denmark, that's awesome. Can I oh, see any Kandari on the bros over here? What do we make? This is like one of the most uh, exciting things for me about streaming and about getting to know new people or the different countries people are from. Because, uh, you know, I'm from a like, mid sized city in Austria, so there's not many foreign people here. And it's always interesting to like meet people from all like different corners of the globe. In what I read here, US, Brazil, Pennsylvania. But Alex, you're being goofy. The globe doesn't have corners. It's the same. Spain, Italy, America, Colombia, uh, let Latvia. I think it's Latvia. Uh, the stream cut out. Did it? Oh. Yes. Uh. Oh yeah. Ages. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. Yeah. Okay. So we continue. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, um, we are back. Small little uh, break here. Because of uh, apparently some book. issues. I, I, I don't know what issues, but yeah, we are back now. So I think yeah. this was literally Twitch. Like, not you, not back, it's just Twitch. Hey, yeah, I know there's been a lot of um, big streams uh, recently, and Twitch servers haven't been uh, having the best time with it. Yeah, but this evening they sent out a new, a new, a new like stream live notification for people because now we have like 800 more people. So, welcome, new viewers. <laughs> hey, Alex, do you want to say hi to the new people? Yeah, of course. Say, uh, say it in German, just to confuse them. Uh, guten Tag. Yeah. Oh, as we as we tend to say in Austria, Servus. Servus. Good old Austrian. <laughs> okay, now we drop down to eight hundred. I don't know what you did, but stop doing it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> no more Austrian. More than more than more than like sixty percent of, of of the viewers just left when they heard German. No, I think it's just Twitch's, uh, like, crashing and then reopening for everybody. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just messing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro just said Guten Tag at 11 p.m. <laughs> oh, it's, it's 11 like, p.m., uh, damn. It is 11, it's 11 p.m. It's like Mutos was saying, 4 p.m., I have to wake up early. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just edited that part yesterday. You starting to laugh is just too too funny. Like it's like a multi-state laughter. You just like start snickering and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I also did like like. <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll play it. Wait. No, no, uh, please. Hey, Mitoska, if you're watching this, shout outs. Shout outs. Shout outs to everyone in the uh, GTA 5 speedrun community. Hey, oh, yeah, um, definitely. Hey, hey, hey George, um, can I shout out like seven people specifically? Yeah, you can shout out people. Okay, um, I want to shout out the people currently in the Poop VC uh, on, the, <laughs> on, <laughs> on the Discord server. Matty050, Rake, Unnamed Balux, Rello, Gokshi, Hana, and Stormraid. I know that they're all watching and now they've been called out. 
I will upload an imager link, um, just so that you can feast your eyes on this. <laughs> the yes. poop we see, the less said about it, the better. The poop what? we see it's... is for is, is for special occasions. And no, that's 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 not just limited to pooping. But it can include pooping. Yeah, church, there's an imager link if you if you want to put that in chat. Thanks. <laughs> Yes, they are holding a watch party currently of the GDQ stream. Yeah, big watch party. Yeah, the channel description at, at first was called GDQ watch party, and now it's called Hustle, why you do this, what the fuck? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> um. oh, it's great. Where are you swimming to, Alex? I've no idea. No. Um. Yeah. L let Let's do a little uh, <laughs> lore. Uh, let's do a little uh, lore um, up update, I guess. Um. We met these two guys who we're currently robbing this place with. Uh, Steve and Steve. Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is the one who built the Kilominator. <laughs> <laughs> Steve built the Kilominator. Steve, 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 don't do this. You'll try to take over the Tri-State area again. I know what. Let me, let me catch my breath. Steve and Dave, and they are corrupt agents um, from the government, basically. And now we are stealing some nerf gas. And yeah. We are in this interior now, we're rubbing the nerf, ga nerf gas uh, thing. It's like there's, there's some like behind the scenes shadow war between the IAA and the FI. And they are like doing all sorts of things to give each other more funding. It's, it's completely crazy what's happening in the story, kind of. Like the story goes really off the rails at some point. Like we did the whole Politiscot chapter just to be able to buy a helicopter to then rob this place for nerf gas. Nerf gas? Yeah, nerf gas. I went to a nerf arena recently. It was really cool. Oh, I missed. There's <laughs> a strategy that you can do because the scientist is actually bound to the door. So if the scientist goes down, the door opens weirdly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's so that can... super difficult because you have to yeah. shoot through the the glass. Yeah, it's like you a have very to... few frame window. I yeah, actually you have to like that... sneak and um, go out of the sneak mode and shoot him. No, very like, small window. I think that you're making it a lot harder for yourself. Because if I try it from a sneak to unsneak and sneak again, it's really hard. But if you just like run up and then like as you get to the thing, then you're going to sneak, then it's a lot easier. I'm always sneaking. Yeah, but don't. It's it, it's harder that way. He's stuck. It is. is it? Funny. You're just afraid. Just imagine like three guys with like <laughs> machine guns coming towards you at the monkey cages. Like, this is the last thing that you see in your life. Monkeys going insane and people with guns coming for you because they just stole some nerve gas that can take down an entire continent. Yeah, apparently, like the stuff we're stealing here is like super dangerous. Yeah, like eradicating the entire down. west coast. Yeah, and it's just like on our body now. So if I get hit in the wrong place, I die. No, that's actually a lie. It doesn't matter. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh yeah, right. I DM the Rick at the start of this. Hey, shots after every segment, yes or no? And now I'm glad that I did not do that. <laughs> that's interesting, Leon. That sounds possible. But yeah, in general, the GT5 story kind of goes off the rails a bit because we just end up robbing like very, very big banks, having massive shootouts, doing crazy things all the time. Government here, government there, doing stuff for that person, random billionaires getting involved. Us getting scammed on every corner, old enemies kidnapping our friends and whatnot. 
Like us, us just doing random things, like... It's, it's, it's absolutely crazy, the stuff that happens, where you could write like books on it. In fact, we have written books about it. We have like, yeah. written books about the speed hunt. Like, I mean, no, you gotta give it to GTA 5. Like, as much as the story is, some, is sometimes a bit goofy, it's always really entertaining. Yeah, something, um... They, they, they did make it the story entertaining, if not anything else, so... Yeah, like, you know, even the missions that have boring gameplay, at least the dialogue is always, like, really well written. Absolutely. There's, like, maybe three missions where I think dialogue is kind of awful. Those are? Um, Police, of course, off. setup. And... Is this the uh, setup? The hipster stuff? Yes. I think the, the, really? the yes, because Michael goes out of character. Michael would not know what a hipster is. He's a, he is a middle-aged baby boomer. No, 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 no. That's not true. The hipster dialogue is very Michael. You think so? Yes. I mean, uh, yeah. I feel like it doesn't fit him on this. I, I do, I do because, um... I feel like Michael is the sort of person who would, like, really say... Or, like, you know, not... Really? No. Well, I guess it's 2013, so a hipster is another definition than what it is today. But, um. 2013 hipster like... is like current snowflake or like soy boy or something. I don't know, something like that. No, 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 no. Hipster was back in the day way more publicly like known than those things are today. I feel like that Michael probably just picked this up somewhere like a news series on TV. Exactly. That's what I, that's what I always was like. He, yeah. he picked like up that word. It's, it's, some... it's very plausible. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and then what's the mission called? It's like there is little girl, but it's in the red segment. Uniting. Yes. That... There is little girl, but it's in the red segment. It's the same mission. You just go to a different place. Yeah, because we rob a boat in fucking reuniting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I got a bit carried away. Yeah, and then what's... Um, yeah, like, on actual bureau rate highest, the dialogue is also kind of atrocious. Not all of it, but the drives are really not good. Also, yeah, Michael literally lives in LA. It's like yes. one of the hipster capitals of the world. Yeah, also true. I find it really funny how in the first GTA 5 trailer they thought that um, showing the homeless are so important that they have two scenes with them. Like, yep, this is very early. I mean, back then it wasn't that important. Hasn't the homeless population always been a massive problem in California, but especially oh, no. in Los Angeles? No, it's very much a recent thing. Oh, you gotta trust! Take, take the bike, take the bike, take the bike! No, why? Because it's really fast. It's way faster oh. than a car. It, yes, oh, even no, with, no, 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 I, no, no, no. I got my 230 gold with a trust. Well, I have a 218, so... Okay, but that has the weird switch, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's... This that is 910? So, you drive to the trip club? Yes. I yeah. I think it would have been faster to take the trust, yeah? Yeah, yeah, no. way faster, because you can no, take no, a no, jump no. easier and you can go between traffic better. Like, it's way better no. than the Astro or whatever the hell this is. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Is that the Denerman? The Denerman. Alright, let's, let's the, 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 take the, the, the Alex's word for it. He's the only, out of, only one out of us that actually has a world record in this game, so... He doesn't. I have two. I have two! He does. What do you mean, Hustle? Hustle? That's two. very, very... I... I... You should have Disrespectful. Yes. Okay, sorry, I just thought that Unnamed took them all away, because he has a tendency to do that. No. Uh, still two left, but... Hey, yeah. Unnamed, if you're hearing this now, <laughs> take away all of Alex's world records so that... so that my word can be true. How about that? And then he has a reason to grind again, and, and his streams will be even more interesting. I should have gotten a third one yesterday, but I got audio bug, so... You will get it, Oh, is that sure. what happened yesterday? I wasn't even yeah. aware. Damn. So, th there's this thing in GT5 speedrunning, where the game's audio engine random... It, it hears you run. And it's very random. And it happened to me in World Record Pace yesterday, so... 
That wound is still very fresh. Oh, it's horrible. I will never get over this. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, uh... For some reason I get audio bugs a lot. It's really random. It's like the, the game's audio engine just decides to completely end it. Yeah, and usually that means game over. Yeah. Because you just cannot progress any further. You need Yeah yeah. A lot of a lot of this game uh basically means uh for to, to progress through missions you need dialogue to play in certain places. And um yeah, once the audio bug occurs, no dialogue plays so it can't progress. Exactly. You're basically um hard locked. Yeah. You have to restart the game. Exactly, and yeah, that depending loses more on than when a minute, you're lost, so yeah, but that that alone over. loses you time, and then it depends on when your last save was, which is, you know, it can yeah, be in, in some a lot of. It's just over. Ways. Yeah, I've gotten audio bug maybe like fifty times, and I've only continued one run, where I restarted because it was a hundred percent, and I didn't care. It's not ten hours speed run. Okay, by the way, a hundred percent is ten hours for us. And I just didn't care about that one minute and ten hours speedrun. I wouldn't have cared yesterday either, because I was four minutes ahead of WR. And losing one minute would have been fine. But there's a very rare case of audio bug where your game crashes. Like normally you can like make a safe and restart and you get it. But my game literally crashed, so that's even rarer. Oh yeah. Anyways. Um, I'm, I'm not doing surveying the score. Which is like the first mission in the big chain uh, leading up to the big score. And uh, yeah, we're basically just uh, scoping out the bank and yeah, hearing some interesting dialogue. Another one of those kind of boring mid-game missions. Is surveying like the last of the really boring missions? Mm, I suppose the big score itself. Don't even, also. don't even mind it. I just come with his own that. Stunt jump. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so, I'm so used to 100% at the point. I just did the stunt jump. Because <laughs> in the 100% route, we do the stunt jump here because it's the best routing. And I just completely zoned out and just did stunt jump. <laughs> and like midway during it, I was like, oh, I'm bad as well. Go with it. Because I, I basically only run 100% nowadays because I enjoy it more than any. So he decided to continue to play. What does that what mean? Is it? Ain't it obvious? Oh, uh, he didn't get an audio bug. We were just talking about getting audio bugs in general. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't That's happen uh, in this run, but yesterday yeah. in my run on my stream. So it's uh, it's always very sad when that happens. Cause like there's there's nothing you can do. It's like a game crash. I really prefer 100% in this game, like 100% in this game is just something so different, something so unique, it's so much more than any percent. I really yeah, enjoy isn't it. it crazy, it's just the base game, but you also pick up collectibles. It's not just collectibles, it's the side missions that's the main content. It's the races, the parachute jumps, the stunt jumps, stuff like that, the bridges, you know, it's just so mm. much of content. And the yeah. side missions are actually really well written in this, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like, the dialogue often is already very, very good during this game. But I think in the side missions, they just went completely, like, completely awesome. Completely, like, the things that they wouldn't do in the main mission, they did in the side missions. I mean, look at stuff like a Marianne or Dom. Like, those are two characters that are, by all accounts, a budget crazy. Yes. No other word for it. <laughs> yeah, li literally. Yeah. 
Oh, this gameplay wait. is so riveting. Yeah, See, is... riveting gameplay. We're just waiting for the security trucks. Yeah, if anywhere, this is where, where we should bring up some controversial topic to, to keep people engaged. Let me think. Um... Um, you're really, you are really using this platform, aren't you, Hustle? Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a ton of fun. does not belong on pizza. Correct. Pineapple belongs on pizza. Oh, come on. You can put anything you want in a pizza as long as you like it. Yes, actually, no. I agree. You, yes, Alex is totally right. You should not scrutinize people for what they want to eat because you should eat whatever makes you happy and is giving you the the nutritional needs that you have. So if people want to put pineapple on pizza, that's cool. If they want to put yogurt in soup, that's cool. If if they want to eat salami with a chocolate bar, that's cool. But don't ever put pineapple on my pizza because I will beat you up. Okay, that, there's actually a idea. poll now. <laughs> we made a poll apparently, like one of those Twitch polls. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? And I'm voting now. How do you? Yes. You can vote for either yes, no, or I don't care. Oh, you can However, vote again I don't with know channel what... points. Why would you... You can double down with channel points. Oh yeah. That's... Is this unlimited? Because I have 212k points I can use here. <laughs> just I will, I will put it all. Just put it all on, on I don't care and just ruin the results. <laughs> also, uh, speaking of food, I only had one meal today and it was an awful kebab at the mall. Oh god, kebab again. Um, the but yeah, like, there, <laughs> the, 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 there used to be an, like, a great kebab place, um, in, in the mall in my city, and then they closed down, and the new one opened up in its place, and it's awful, and that's the only thing I had today, so I'm getting kinda hungry, I'm not sure if I can survive another discussion about food. In my, like, immediate vicinity, so like a 15 minute walk, there's seven kebab stores. And they are all undercutting each other with price, so it's awesome for me. I get cheap Oh, that's kebab. great, yeah. <laughs> the Deutsche competitive is market, this is peak capitalism. Yeah, here it's the okay. opposite. Here they are seeing how high they can go, and if one of them gets away with it, the other wants to. How, how expensive is a normal kebab in your city, Alex? A little longer. 4 euros over 50. 4 euros. Oh, 50, okay. It's funny, because here is more expensive. How much for me? Really? Yeah. Um, 11 Swiss francs. Wait, how many euros is that? About the same. Uh, no, it's, it's, the course is currently, uh, more like 10 euros. For that. 10 euros? Yeah. Uh, Switzerland is a very um, expensive place. I, mean, I um, once went to Switzerland to play to, 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 to like some waterfalls that are called the Rhine Falls. And there's like a castle there. And that castle was selling tiramisu. And one tiramisu cost 50 euros. Okay, that's actually unreal. That's not 50. Not, not 15 yeah. or 50? 50. 50. 50. 50. There must be like some special um, high society thing then. No, no. I think it was it, a tourist it, trap. It, no, just, yeah, it is, definitely. It just said tiramisu on the, on the menu. We, oh. we went to get some drinks there, which is also overpriced, but we just needed them, you know? Hot day. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, consider that, yeah, even though Switzerland is expensive, Riggy also earns the, the price of like a used car monthly, so. Used cars are so expensive. That's we true. recently sold our convertible for 25 You sold the convertible? Yeah, we sold the convertible. No way. Yeah. Dude, Alex used to drive the coolest convertible. I no. actually got to take a ride in it. Yeah. Yeah, we had to stop. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, Um, yeah, just be happy that I didn't do it in a bush. Maybe, yeah, maybe maybe the tiramisu for 50 it was like an entire like kit of tiramisu. Bucket load. No, no, it was just 
Som <laughs> turistmissu. Skriv bucket. Turistmissu. Ja, yeah, it, it was some turistmissu. Imagine if you actually got like a bucket of tiramisu. I would be happy. But I, I once made a bucket pina colada with some friends of mine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Literally made a bucket pina colada and a bucket mojito. I think my girl's food experience was well. I went to like an Indian store here that sells like specialty items and they were selling like sriracha, which is like not specialty at all, but they were selling sriracha. So I bought like a bottle of sriracha and I, like as I was going home, I, I got kind of hungry, so I just bought like a hot dog at like a bakery. And like, as I was waiting for the bus, I'm like, you were just eating the sriracha. I'm like, hmm, do I do this? So someone just, just saw, me, like, multiple people at the bus have just saw me like no. have like a hot dog in my hands and take out like this comically large bottle of sriracha from my <laughs> pants and then just squirt it on the hot dog and just put back the sriracha inside of my pants and just eat the hot dog. And I just saw like a lady look at me and she made like the grimacing emoji <laughs> like <ugh. laughs> i zoned out for like 20 seconds and i don't know what's going on anymore <laughs> that was a weird thing to come back to <laughs> <laughs> perfect do you guys ever put yeah. mustard on pizza mustard no, no. Mustard on pizza is great. I started doing it in elementary school, and then uh, I did it in Sweden, and, and I almost got into a fist fight with Douglas now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. <laughs> Wait, I, I actually have, have a mustard pizza picture where Douglas now is looking like very disappointed. <laughs> also, we are back in Prolog now, by the way. Welcome to North Yang. This mission is basically the story finale of this game, because when... Trevor discovers what really happened in Prologue and whatnot, and they all have a shootout, and you get captured by the Chinese and whatnot. But yeah, let's talk about Master of Pizza. It's not the finale, it's the climax. That's a very big difference. There's still, like, you know, a winding down after this. Okay, yeah, it's, I just used the German translation, li literally, so. Yeah. Or, or, or rather, would you call this the midpoint? Because no, it's not at the middle. After. Uh, okay, it's but like, way after. Yeah, yeah, but like a midpoint doesn't have to be at the middle. It's just where so the story turns. You, know. you know, it's when no, the status like, quo changes. Because go like, I mean, yeah, that very much, but the status quo changes often. The status quo also changes on Mr. Phillips, for example. A lot. Amanda, Even more than now. It's over. Hmm. I guess. Or on... Uh, or on... Uh, Kaida Libre when you can't go to the city anymore. Like, the, it, it teaches a lot, but like, for, for a casual, this is like the last 10% of the game. Because, like, the, after this mission, the routing and stuff and missions is ex exactly the same for a casual, while Trevor Percent and Blitzplay mainly take a lot longer for a casual. Also, setting up another let buffered ledge grab here. This will sh mm -hmm. enable us to shoot, um, bypass the entire shootout uh, with just a uh, of a button. This just randomly failed for me recently. I had to actually shoot the Chinese. I was. I so saw lost. that. Yeah. Let's hope that it doesn't happen for you. <laughs> nice one, Ryan. Yeah. Very accurate. I mean, the midpoint of the story is clearly blitz play. So, it's like the also the kind of mood of the game changes a lot on blitz play. Cause like blitz play is like you're. And Mary were the highest are like two really really big high. Like yeah. it's Jules store is also quite big, but like definitely the middle point for me in the story is blitz play. And well the, the, the there's multiple turning points as we said. I mean certainly Mr. Phillips, certainly uh Kaiser Libre, certainly Bury the Hatchet. Blitz play to me doesn't feel like the middle because nothing happens in Blitz Play. Or like, you know, sure it does, like yeah you kill like a bunch of cops but like blitz play as big of a thing it is in the plot it doesn't change anything you still keep working for the fib you still do you uh, well yeah you do i guess yeah. yeah 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 you do and nothing changes about the michael trevor situation nothing changes about the franklin and the hood situation no, I, no actually i mean 
it's the hood yeah, situation is over. Like the the hood stuff is over. Cause only one more hood mission. That's Lamar down. And that's like f- four hours later, three hours later. And uh, the thing is, like, Blitzblade changes in that point that the missions become longer and more dramatic. Because, like, before Blitzplay and uh, and Meriwether Heist, you have, like, these kind of short missions, you know, bit of doing here, bit of doing that, you know, Minisa, Putzafari, his company. Those aren't, like, big set-piece missions. But afterwards, you get Polito score, you get uh, Minor Turbulence, which are big heists, Monkey Business, Derailed, this mission. Pac-Man, like those are all major big missions. I think that the pace of the game and stuff like that very much changes massively after Blitzblade compared mm-hmm. to before. Like, you also have to think that for a casual, Blitzplay isn't the midway point. Blitzplay is way after. Yeah. Because the early I mean, game is... Blitzplay, I, I would say Blitzplay is only the middle point of the run in the speedrun because of yeah, the yeah. time. But like yeah. in terms of lore, I would I would I would agree with you that like, nothing really happens. I mean, middle uh, point of the lore wise is like Three's company. Whoa, what switch? No, that's a bit. It's the best possible switch, by the way. Yeah. God RNG like, again. Like actually, like what's the middle point for casual? Because like. Fast the middle point of the run is blitz play or I fought the law or I in the sky, depending on the run. But like, what's the middle point of the story for a casual? Mm. Maybe um, Polito skull. No, no I no, think no. it's exile. It's gonna be earlier than blitz play. Earlier? Yeah. Because for a casual, hmm. the early parts take longer. Than the late parts, you know. It's no, like, that's I don't, play. I, I don't agree with that because um, Blitz plays only just after you've uh, gone back to Los Santos mm-hmm. uh, with Trevor. Basically, make all the three characters meet each other for the first time. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that's just that. That's still to be the beginning to me. Mm-hmm. I get it though, but like. We have to imagine that, especially Blitz play, takes a lot, a lot, a lot longer for a casual. Like if if a casual tried the best, they couldn't finish it with like b- below an hour, even with skipping cutscenes. So like the midway point moves a lot to actually. Oh wait, how does it move? I'm 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 done right now. Wait, if, if this part takes, because like, Trap essentially takes longer for a casual, right? Because Trap percent not that very well. And Blitzplay also takes a lot longer. While Countryside is similar, Burrowrate is similar, Third Way is similar, you know? There's not that much crazy things you can do in those. But Blitzplay is like completely different. Yeah. Should there be a break time? The next break is going to be in roughly 20 minutes. Alex. Yeah? When I get angry. <laughs> oh god, go ahead. A two and a half minute time save was found with cab warp. Oh, sorry, Gomo. What? No, it's in Epsilon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, what do you mean? Epsilon is the best category that this game has to offer. It is, actually. Yes, it will also be uh, on this... Uh, event today on this marathon. Yeah, it yeah. will close it's... out the event. Save the best for last. Yeah. But yeah, I guess we did. We did get a bit of our lower talk into the 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 marathon as well. You know, into the event. Sure did. I mean, it's not as much as you would normally hope for, but you know, I mean, there's only so much. I mean. A, a speedrun has never really been about the lore and gameplay. No. Like we do, you know? Absolutely not, yeah. Because, like, it's more important to explain what, like, a ledge buff is. So, for example, I'm doing wiggle boosting. You can see me go left and right all the time. That's to give myself speed boosts. Yeah. the truck boosts <laughs> itself, basically. It's like the um, handler that we used in scouting the port. That also yeah, exactly. benefited from wiggle boosting. It's the exact same mechanic. That you can use uh, for this truck also. 
Yeah, but like at, at, an issue that I always face when doing events or marathons like this is like what you talk about, right? You can go full on like lore, you can go full on gameplay, you can go full on other stuff like we did, for example. Like what you focus on, you know? Because even though this is a six hour speedrun, there's still only so much time we can talk about. Like there's still only so much things we can talk about. I think you need to focus on whatever the audience is engaging with. Clearly, people were receptive to us talking about random things, so we kept it up. But if people didn't care about that, then we would have started talking about the game. Mm -hmm. It's not a balance that you can strike without looking at the reactions. Or I don't think it is. Like, you know, with, with something as long as this, you can't even script the entire thing, or you can, but it's unreasonable. Like, you know, you will need to just kind of say whatever feels right. Um, no game audio? Yeah, we're... Um... Oh, uh, yeah, you can unmute it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's because there's quite a few, you know, drops of some unsavory words, uh, but the conversation is over. That much? Yeah, I think Lemon yeah, says start, five times. The start, uh, says. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, you know, other parts say it even more, but it's hard to, to just get those out. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, if somebody was asking what ending you go for in Um, I'm going to be doing ending C in this category, but in, in two any percent, you go for ending A. So, like, in different categories, you go for different endings. And I got a bug where all the cops despawned, so that just made the shootout very easy. Shootout? I mean, it, it is a shootout. Yeah, I guess so. Man. Am I seagulling this? No way, right? <laughs> Marathon seagold? Seagold uh, <laughs> is short for uh, community gold. It's the fastest that anyone has ever done this section. But yeah, uh, what I was saying is, yes, I'm doing... Uh, Ending C in this category, which is the third way ending. Uh, in, in other categories, you do ending B or ending A, which is kill Michael. I trust the cars will be here soon. Where's the cars? Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. What time did you get? 6.32. It's, it's not, not even the I mean, first. It's been changed, or the, the splitting, so... Has it? Oh yeah. How? It's it, it, it now goes to the beginning of to, to the beginning of fresh meat. To combat. Uh, uh, oh yeah, right. right, right. Just look. Yeah, fun little mechanic that the game never actually tells you about is that you can just skip phone conversations by pressing down arrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a thing that they imported from GTA 4. Yeah, it's interesting because, like, there are some fake phone calls in the game. And it actually depends on how fake they are, just, you know, based on the situation. Like, there's a fake phone call at the end of uh, Hang 10 where you can actually put it down with just right click, even though there's no phone UI. But here, this one you cannot put down. You need to actually skip the conversation. Or there's a fake phone call after you switch to Franklin, um, after you've done complications. He's talking to Lamar on the phone once again. There's phone UI, but you cannot put it down with right click. You need to actually skip the conversation. Yeah. It's weird. Basically, phone calls in this game in general are very weird. That's true. Yeah. Um. For the last few missions, Michael actually wasn't available because he got oh truck. Ah, well, because he got captured by the Chinese. The Chinese. We haven't talked about the Chinese in general yet, right? Uh, they're basically Trevor's enemies. Yeah. So some so, meth dealings from like a few hours ago. Yeah. Basically, and why well, we blew up the farm is because the Chinese decided to do business with the O'Neills instead of Trevor. Yeah. That's why um, he's now mad at them. Yeah. And so basically they captured him. Michael, but uh, yeah, now watch this. That's the little wall breach here. So see, you can go through walls as well in this game. Yeah, 
Yeah, have you continue? Uh, yeah. Uh, and, um, because they're all upset with each other, they've, uh, tracked, um, Trevor to North Yankton, where he, um, went to confront Michael about, uh, what happened in the prologue. And, um, there they captured Michael. Um, who, uh, they thought was, um, a friend of Trevor, even though they're kind of more like enemies right now. Yeah. And now, uh, Franklin, um, saved Michael. Yep. And, yeah. That's it, man, let's go! Is that done? Uh, suicide here, um, yeah, is kind of to warp Michael closer to you. Exactly. So now he's here again, instead of being like way back there. Kill these two guys, because else they will follow you. And shoot you. Which How come Sony is using... Oh, sorry. Um, how come you started using the C4 here? Because I remember that you were using the RPG for a long time, and I started using the RPG because of you, because it looked easier. <laughs> but now you're not doing it anymore. C4 is faster. Uh, and C4 is literally two clicks. So well, then you click in. Me. Apparently I did. I can't See? believe I crashed there. I Arma. can't believe... It was a very tight gap, yeah. 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 I can't believe it. Once again, abusing some heavy brake boosting here to get also up for speed. Oh, look at this truck also blocking me here. That's kind of. Oh, God. Alright. Still, like, quite a good mission despite the one crash. Very okay. good mission. You are gaming yep. out of your mind. <laughs> gaming. Game. And we now approach the next segment of the game, which is the Bureau Raid segment. But basically, uh, you, you remember those two corrupt government agents, uh, Steve and Dave? No, who are they? Yep. <laughs> we now have to uh, rob the. Bureau for them. Basically, we have to rob the government agency. We need to raid the bureau? God. Yes. What is the mission called? Literally, bureau raid. Also, look at this, Anji. Yeah. I'm once again doing a manipeer. To get the, this text here. The, bureau, the cleaning text. And then I'm once again doing a hangout warp to warp Michael's mission. And I've also gotten some quite good. Uh, Car NG here. This Masako is like literally the best car we can get here. I love the Masako, it just handles so well. And I'm also once again getting some texts here for later on. You need to get these texts at some point because they're always in the queue. Yeah. There's a queue of texts basically that you can get, and you always want to have the the one that you need closest to in the front of the queue. So, uh, all these drives that we did, like all the helicopter rides that we had earlier on, basically all um, allow us to get texts that are just stuck in the queue and would be stuck in front of the things that we need. So it's a big thing to get those. Nice climb. Yeah, this, this entire speedrun is basically centered around maximizing the so text you, you can get. We'll um, there have been a ton of reroutes over the course of the few years that uh, have improved our text. Tons of text no, finds. No, no, Essentially, no, the entire no, run is routed around no, text dungeon. It's so like, if you get a bad text, you lose 20 seconds and you can get multiple bad texts often, so... Yeah. Also, we're now, speaking of RNG, we're now cleaning, which is like RNG hell, basically. Yeah. Because we're now stalking a janitor, and uh, he's gonna come out of this parking garage. And uh, it's either gonna be the fourth or the fifth car. 
However, it's random which it is, so yeah, so that's RNG. And there will also be a bunch of red lights that you can get stuck done, behind. Yeah. This is the, the, the trailing mission that every GTA yeah, needs to have, right. basically. Uh, where you try and you have to tail someone and um, it just every GTA has one of these missions and they needed to make one for this and here it is. Something just flew into my nose while drinking. Was it water? Oh, it was a fly. Or... Wait, what, what, what are you drinking? Juice, like aspirin juice. Mm, but like, while I was drinking, something flew into my, my, my nose. Alright, so this is the third car That's that we're looking at right now. So, will we get good RNG? You can't and the exactly. next car should be a be red... I'm gonna ask Mr. What is that even? A red a red car, basically. Yeah, pick a door. What? Oh yeah, it's the pick up the pick. Yeah, I thought that's what you were asking. Um, no. Yeah, but the next car coming now. And yeah, the janitor is driving a Sanger. It's the Astro. It's the wrong one. Yep. Yep, it's the wrong one. It's the Astro. Is it Astro or Astro B? Good question. Is it Astro or Astro P? Good question. I think it's Astro. Ah. It makes sense that we can't pronounce this because we are Asteropian. <laughs> That's the one. There's no, the... like don't let him see you. You are Eastern European. We, we are Central European. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's or something? Going? I don't know. He's gonna get his severance package. <laughs> huh, Hungary is considered Europe Central Europe, but Central Europe doesn't that. exist on maps. Like, people don't really call it Central Europe, they just lump in Hungary with all the, the, you know... Good energy the, here, getting The rest light. of the East. Espanol? No. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or no, whatever Atlas, the hell that Espanol. is for a minute. Manos, that's all I know. Also, Abuelita. I just <laughs> oh, you also, ran the red, nice. Also... Tacos con todo. Um, <laughs> um, I get three red lights. Three, three green lights. Dude. For, fourth one, maybe? Oof. No, that's Ah, uh, no. Okay, that one. Come on. Oh, okay. he's but he's running. Yeah. No, it's from? green. We need cooperation. Dude. Is if this was fourth car, this would be really good, actually. Like yeah. It's not really good. I mean, fifth car was like the only time, Rose, because this is green as well. I got like basically all green lights except for like that one like five second wait He's pulling and the fifth car. The Imagine if this was fourth car. Was I'm diving in a specific way here to warp me out of the car? Don't go swimming there, it's not good. Slowly go down here and to the left. You say that you that then up that, here. that swimming is not good, and yet you have a, a swimming pool. Curious. I do. I have to get something real quick, hold on. Is it some swim shorts? He left, he's not answering. Hey Rick, what do you think he's getting? I'm sorry, what? Nothing. I had to grab some out to drink, I'm um, actually... Oh. Like, I need to drink some more. Mm. I... I thought this was gonna be a meme. <laughs> I'm sorry, what you said, George? I thought this was gonna be a meme. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize yeah, it was yeah. water. Yeah, yeah, me too. I thought this was bringing <laughs> something was funnier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just had to grab some more to drink from the, from, from the shelf. That's fair. <laughs> Hydration is important. Yes, yeah, yeah. everyone stay hydrated. That was easy. Guess you were right. I actually hey, found a mask at my hey, great grandmother's. Like a vegetable yeah. garden what do we need him that for? I owned when I was like nine years old, and it's such a goofy mask. A mask, a mask, a mask. And 
it's it, it's it's such a goofy mess that I decided that when I will run classic again, uh, if I am past an hour of resetting, I will just have to play with the mask on until I go offline. Because oh. <laughs> it's like a clown mask. <laughs> Very nice. Actually, oh. I got some bad dialogue here, but still this is a really, really good cleaning. I think the subtitles also cost you a bit of time there. Oh yeah, surely. I mean, subtitles cost you, like, time all over the run. Yeah, that's true. You drink four liters per day? Good boy. I drink like maybe three. Well, okay, I drank a lot less today, but... Okay, once <laughs> again, another safe warp here. To Two. warp us to Michael's house for the next mission, which is reuniting. Dude, my uncle drinks like four liters a day, but that's purely in a beer. <laughs> 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 Um, just to confirm, there's going to be a break after the Bureau Raid, right? Um, I was going to do before Bureau Raid, actually. Before Bureau? Okay. Or maybe after, I don't know. What, what I you would prefer? do it before, before the actual yeah, Bureau Raid. Before Bureau Raid. Yeah. Then it's like one hour left, no. basically. Yeah, we're doing before Bureau Raid. Yeah. yeah, this mission um, is kind of... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, on the break I will disappear because I only had one meal today and I slept four hours. And instead, uh, the famed Epsilon World Record holder, runner of many categories, mod of the leaderboards, Rake Dryer will just happen instead of me. So if you like this goofy commentary, bad news, he's not goofy, he's very professional. Yes. <laughs> you hyped up Rake so much, my god. <laughs> I like to present my friends as being more than what they are. Hey. Was this mean? I feel like this was mean. Whatever. Dalak skip strat here, been crashing into that thing. I guess if, the, if, if this mission was before Polito's score, then you could say that Michael heard the word hipster from Laszlo. <laughs> You're gonna make me look like a pouty hipster. Doesn't, like, Jimmy or Tracy or someone also a hipster during the story? Uh, I don't know. Isn't it Jimmy on yoga? Well, uh, I'm, I'm sure Jimmy has insulted some of the people that he plays video games with. By calling them a hipster. I mean, he usually calls them things that I cannot say on 3DQ. Well, he calls oh, yeah. them everything, yeah. basically. Might as well call them a hipster, also. Yeah. Um... Also, uh, there's a... Oh my god! Mm -hmm. uh, there's a dialogue skip strat here, where I shoot the taser once to interrupt those kids from talking. But apparently it doesn't work when you have subtitles on. Oh, rap. <laughs> Yeah, it, it actually doesn't work. <laughs> but how, how does having subtitles enable change so much about the game? Well, crazy, it yeah. most likely changes nothing really. All it changes is just um, the time between dialogue lines. And I guess the reason that the dialogue just ends here without subtitles is that it's just broken. The time between dialogue has to be either infinite or just so long that we never actually get to it. Like here, you know, since with subtitles it's different because they have to make it long enough that you can read the text. Uh, it must just not be broken here. The reason that you drove into Devon on uh, Eye in the Sky has to be similar, right? Okay. That was so good. That was perfect. Perf parking, look at it. Look at this, this is perfect. P -p perfect parking. If if I was a psychologist and someone arrived to me parking like this, I would tell them, don't come in, you're cured. You are just too cool. I don't want to ruin you. That was weird. And awesome. Okay, now a hill climb here, which can be difficult. Difficult? For Alex? That's very smooth. That's very, very smooth. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm calling it now. You're going to kill a dog on this tribe. That is war one. Let's hope not. I mean, for the small one, it doesn't matter, right? This is like one of the small ones. Yeah, of course Any it matters. Any dogs matter? No, no. You have to differentiate. No. No well, matter a big how dog big matters dog more than a small dog. Yes. Just because it's the sight of a hamster, it doesn't make it less of a dog. And there was no dog, so you killed no I heavily one. dislike small dogs. I'm not the biggest fan of them either, but it's still a dog. I dislike I, I, I dislike small dogs because I kind of hate what we did to them. But it's not because that they are small. Like I think that they are adorable. But I hate the fact that humans just ruin the breed to make them, you know, subjectively cuter. Like if we just took a species and we were like, you know what would be cool? Not this. And we just ruined them. Okay, after sharing another um, interesting opinion, we are now uh, on a deserted <laughs> island, but we have to switch back to Architect's plans. And Hostel is going to be just about one more minute before the next break. What other stuff do you want to share on your GDQ experience? And why do I even ask you that? This won't go well. Anyways, go ahead. Um, regular chocolate chip cookies are way better tasting than, 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 than double chocolate. That's way too much chocolate. Yeah. Um, the, the McDonald's Big That's... Mac has, has really went down in quality. Yes. Um, we call a quarter pounder with cheese a McRoyal here in Europe because we don't know what a, what, what, what a pound is. Shout out to John Travolta. We don't. Um, we don't do that, I think. Uh, Hustle, tell, yes. uh, tell, say uh, the car color that Alex should choose. Yes. You should choose Shafter Purple. That's <laughs> thing? Yes. It's all the way up. At the bottom. Yes, uh, choose Shafter purple and the white for the off color which you already have. White for what? For for nothing. Just keep Wait, the white. Color. Is it yeah. is it matte or what? Metallic. I think classic? it's a classic. Classic. Shafter purple. Okay. Shafter purple. Perfect. And uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And put on a roll cage, so that when Not you roll, um, you get caged. <laughs> what? Shaft of purple. Yeah. I thought it was so like So if you get shafted uh, now, it's gonna be my fault. <laughs> I thought it was more dark, but it's okay, like, and we're gonna like on galaxy. break now. Goodbye. Because after this cutscene, I have to do something very quick. So uh, yeah, doing. To break on this cutscene just at the end of Architect's plans and uh, before the start of Bureau Raid. I hope this wasn't too sudden, but I wasn't actually sure when the go and break, but I remember that hey, I have to do some quite fast paced stuff after this cutscene, so yeah. Um, no worries. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to take our final uh, you know, hydration break of the run so everybody can get up, get water, and stuff. Uh, thank you so much, Hassel, for uh, joining us. And, uh, oh, always a pleasure. We'll, uh, we'll see you in just a few minutes here. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hot Picks. Uh, we are celebrating 10 years of GTA 5, and uh, we are going to uh, finish off the rest of our Any% percent, uh, Classic No uh, On Mission. I will hand it right back over. All right, on yeah. Zero. Yeah, On Mission Zero, yeah, but doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, we are already five hours into Any% percent Classic, and uh, yeah, we just, finished we just finished Architect's plans, and we are now on Bureau Raid. Uh, which is one of the most exciting missions in this game. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to do the countdown. So, 3, 2, 1, go. And we are back, skipping the cutscene and now choosing the, the highest plans, which doesn't matter for the run, but, you know, just going to click through it. And uh, well, it we does. have had a slight... It does make a difference, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it does make a difference, but you just click through it, you know? Fair. Also, as you could hear right there, we have a small little change in commentary. Hostel has disappeared while Rake has appeared. Hello, everyone. I will be here for the next, uh, for the remainder of this run and for the next upcoming run because uh, I'm helping out unnamed with uh, Polito score commentary. Welcome, yeah. Rake. Thank you. 
As for everyone else who doesn't welcome me, uh, well, sorry, you're going to be stuck with me for a bit. <laughs> You'll be so, fine. Yeah, uh, as you could see there, I switched before the mission pass screen to Franklin. Uh, I got two texts. Um, and yeah, now I'm just starting the mission, which has one of the coolest threats in the entire run, in my opinion. I just, which you will see soon. You really uh, think that four... like little bit of dialogue skip is the coolest strat? No, I mean the yom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just jerking I your mean, chain. The, there was a small strat here where you have the phone up to skip some dialogue when getting into the factory. But yeah, now uh, mid drive here, break boost here. And we get up to some insane speed here to hopefully do a little... Okay, I'm getting super blocked. Yeah, hopefully avoid some traffic too. Yeah, I super blocked here, I can't do anything. That's a shame. I can still do a bit of jumping. Agent yeah. Stevie. Normally I would have wanted to fly like super super far. But I got yeah. blocked by like a truck and two other cars, so I couldn't really do much here. Hey, better than my average jump. There will be a better yeah. one uh, at big score anyway. We've still got Lamar down and Big Score Jumps coming up. That's Oh yeah, Lamar down is in this category. Shows. Yeah, yeah. Alright, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Why are you so miserable? Must be an age thing. Great. Now there's something. My break boosts here. And uh, yeah, this is one of the weirdest missions in this game because we are basically like... It's like this building here, also nice little bob. Yeah. It's like a government organization, and we can just like use the facility to rob another Are government fire, organization. Right? Kind of weird. Like, enough, as I've said plenty of times, the, the story goes kind of weird. Art. You know, there's just so many things, so many strains, so many enemies, government, and heists, you and everything. And yeah, we just want to go fast. So that's why I'm setting up a hospital bob here. By exploding the helicopter, and then after the mission failed screen, exploding myself. And this will warp me to the nearest hospital after this mission. Which saves me some time. Providing you don't fail again. Gonna... Yeah, exactly. Providing I don't fail again. It's so like dying on the mission, for example. Also, again, now we have to use this awfully slow helicopter to get up to parachuting altitude. We see. Yes. Kind of a weird uh, section. Huh? What? Alex said, we'll see, not Riggy. <laughs> I, th I, th I thought you oh, I was well. called out, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Almost. <laughs> not the end of the world. I didn't quite understand yeah. what you said, and I thought I thought you said, where is he? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, why are you? Who are you? I'm at home. Oh, Poggers. <laughs> Me too. And so I'm home too. Hey, since so we're all home, we should just hang out together. <laughs> yeah, at, at home our home. Yeah. It's home party for my birthday. <laughs> that was a party. Oh yeah, good time. <laughs> yeah, that was a good time. I turned 21 like a bit more than a week ago and we had like a big party oh, in I, DC with drinks I and everything. Oh, Have Hustle yeah. finished that video yet? He's still no, working on it, I think. He'll be out it. next week, uh, if I remember right. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, me too. Hustle, Hustle making yeah. manual subtitles for a 50 minute video. <laughs> That's just his brand of crazy. That's so, so much work. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't uh, given up on it. Like, I would have given up so quickly. No shit. Okay, speaking of giving up, it's hacking time. <laughs> yeah, if you mess this up, the run's dead, basically. Okay. That was an easy one. Now I just gotta do a bit of clicking here. There we go. That was the hacking. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Yeah, now we're basically. And I'm switching to. Hmm? Nothing. Dumb joke. Okay, um. So switching to Franklin, and now I'm gonna be abusing the auto aim feature of the controller. Which I've only done in like one other mission, which was Fresh, fresh Meat. And as you can see, uh, the controller is kind of broken in this game because you can use the auto aim. 
Usually it's not quicker to use it, but uh, in this section there's so much like glass everywhere, so much blockage that it's just nice reload, man. <laughs> that it's just Backpack like worth doing fail. the. Yeah. Oh, okay, I have a pistol. Weird, weird. Yeah. So for this part, they threw up smoke, but uh, what Alex is going to do here is just lob some grenades to uh, take out all the enemies since they all spawn in a uh, kind of small area. Yeah. Then finish one guy off with auto aim because he didn't die to the grenade launcher. Okay, apparently he's just somewhere. So I'm going to use this time wisely to. Oh, there he is. I'm going to use this time wisely to grab myself some ammo. Oh, and if I can reach existed. it, also a health pack. I can't reach it, okay. There's a, armor, there's a health pack spawn over there and an armor spawn, and an armor spawn over there. But yeah, you don't really need them in this category. In a different one, it's very important though. Okay, now this shootout section is very interesting, because it's kind of... Door, hello? Door, okay. oh, fuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's 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 very close quarters. You know, not much space and just enemies that you have to get through basically. Opening. Shall we go? No random fail moment here. No Gustavo action. Who is Gustavo? is Gustavo? Bit more free aim here. Always jumping, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, well, you were saying. <laughs> Always jumping while being indoors to go faster. <laughs> did that? Did that make you go faster, faster right there? Uh, you know what? Yes. <laughs> it would have been funny way. if you like ragdolled into the mission. Oh yeah. Uh, it's into the cutscene thing. Oh yeah, that can happen in an Epsilon program. I'm sorry, that was an awful, awful self-plug. But yeah, um... You can ragdoll into yellow dots. I've done that before here. Yeah. While you ragdoll, you can't have dialogue, so... Anyway, most of the rest of the work for this next part is pretty simple. The only hard part is taking out a helicopter, which you can do pretty easily by shooting the pilot, whether it be uh, using the assault rifle and powering his Michael, or you can also hit a sniper shot on it, which I've heard is uh, pretty easy if you learn the lineup. Who needs a lineup so when you have raw firepower? True. And it's so fast, like, you, uh, you have to wait out the dialogue before you can even go to the next part. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the vehicle I'm about to drive here, the M, is actually a very good example of uh, the driving mechanics in this game, such as brake boosting, mid driving, curb boosting, and so on. Because normally uh, ambulances are supposed to go slowly, right? Or, like rather slowly because of their weight and stuff. But uh, not here. What are you saying, like? Well, I was going to say, uh, the nice thing about this ambulance drive is uh, a good portion of it you spend uh, driving the same route as you do on chops, so, uh, which is also a place where you drive a uh, supposedly slow vehicle very fast. Oh yeah, true. What's the thing again? Oh, I almost more. crashed into it again. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, if you go too fast and uh, spook that van, you'll get four stars. Yeah, and mission fail. I don't think you... No, you don't mission fail. I mean, you just get speed because so you just explode yourself. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. That happened in my Hunter PB. Okay. Oh, wow. For some reason. Yeah, I've had okay, that one once or twice. Fun fact here. <coughs> the cars actually move out of your way when you have the lights on. So, something they don't usually do in the US, but it's very common in the US. I think... You're supposed to get out of the way in the U.S. too. Well, in, in Europe you, you get like license? fined a lot when you don't. Hey. 
Yeah, I don't know what happens if you uh, don't do it in the U.S. I would never try. Hey, don't worry, I'm not gonna get, like, angry or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and this concludes the Bureau Raid, which is like the second to last big heist of the game. Yeah, one segment to go. Yeah, one segment to go. The... Uh, no cars, okay. Absolutely no cars or anything. What's this car though? It's, it's a fast one, it's like a... What is this? Fugitive? Uh, felon. No. It'll do, you're hardly driving anywhere. Yeah, like here it's just like you just need like a car, but you know if you if you get nothing, that's unlucky. Yeah, although yeah, I wouldn't take a tractor. Just... Yeah, because this driver is just so slow. I mean, so so so, so short. Uh, speaking of short, we are about to approach the shortest mission in this game, like actual mission, not just like a heist setup. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say second shortest if you uh, include masks. And third with boiler suits. Um, All right. One, two, two, two quick kills here, taken out Rocco and his assistant, who we've already met on Mr. Mr. Richards, for example. And we're done. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to do the second to last mission in the Mr. Uh, Mr. Richards chain. Oh, I love this strat um, right Yeah, here. we're going to do a quick little exactly. out of balance. Awesome. Do you want me to explain awesome. why? Yeah, go ahead. So the reason is uh, the next mission marker we want to enter, it's very close to where we spawn. And as a result, the game doesn't want to spawn it until we sufficiently outdistance it. So how we outdistance it as quickly as we can is we go out of bounds because that gets us so far below the uh, mission marker that we're out of the range where it can't spawn. It spawns, we uh, and because of how the game's engine works, we reappear on the surface, which puts us right next to the marker. Exactly. The phone... <laughs> I, apparently at some point during the run I changed the... Uh, the... Uh, ringtone. Oh, the ringtone, so yeah. By the sound. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Yeah, that'll jump scare you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're now in legal trouble, which uh, is a very sad mission because we're about to lose one of our uh, one like very well-known character. I don't know if I call her well-known, right? Uh, Trevor will be devastated for sure. Oh yeah. She's no Patricia, but yeah. Oh yeah, right. I mean, Trevor has. Uh, we have interactions with basically every female character, right? I mean... Every person, then, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, then, even, I mean, like, even his first, like, one of his first sentences to Amanda is... ...commenting oh. on her, um... Right, yeah. yeah. ...enhancement I surgery, yeah. I mean, like, Shura has literally weird comments with, like, literally every female character. Ollie, Bisha, Amanda... Um... Molly. Molly. Who else? Who else is there? Debra. Debra. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I guess uh, he does technically meet Debra, but uh, that's cut Debra, yeah. What's the Franklin's aunt? Denise. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Does he actually? Oh, yeah, I guess he meets Denise yeah. and. Uh, it's a seven dollars. Right? A seven dollars. Oh, that too, yeah. <laughs> okay, also, once again, I'm taking a very specific route here to maximize the rubber bending without abandoning Molly back there. Uh, Muscap, you just, uh, he, he automatically jumps, I think. But yeah, you can, you can jump. Just, just get, get the necessary height. And yeah, dive out here to trigger the thing earlier. Oh, I heard have been early, yeah. You do, have to be early, early, uh, you do have to be also careful where uh, your car goes, because if it goes between Molly and that door Alex just went through, uh, you can potentially soft lock. Yeah. Another fun fact here, uh, there's a, a vending machine right behind where Michael is right now. And if you try and get a drink from it, uh, you just mission fail. Really? Yeah, you didn't know about that? I think it was... Uh... Oh. Wow. Well, the more you know. Okay, and uh, yeah. What should I say? That's uh, a sad way to go out for Molly. Where's the runner from? I'm from Austria. No, Ricky, don't even troll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Australia. Use your rush. 
Anyway, rest in peace, Molly. Uh, she may or may not be missed. But Trevor definitely should be missed. Trevor's like, Molly, who? <laughs> anyway. So we just have to spend this time losing cops. We're going to use it to uh, get to the next mission. Uh, the wrap yeah. up. Which lines up surprisingly well, because like, you lose the cop just as you would dive out to the, go to the mission. Uh, Osk, that's uh, Maud, yeah. Maud also is very weird. Oh, we never got, like, only... uh... hmm? Yeah, she hardly ever shows up, and like... I don't yeah. think Trevor has any, like... Uh trying to think of a good way to say this that's uh, family friendly. Might as well be blunt. Trevor never gives off the vibe that he has sexual intentions with Molly. I mean, not Molly. Shit. Uh, Maud. Maud. Thank Maud, you. Maud, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think Trevor is, like, would have want to have sexual interactions with all the other females in this um well, yeah, let's say that Trevor is a very, uh, yeah. unkind person when it I comes to interactions like that. I mean, the first time you meet him, like, after the prologue, yeah. he, is yeah. having, <laughs> he is having sexual intercourse. Doodle, doodle, doodle. <laughs> Also, yeah, this is wrap up. The next mission, uh, which is one of my favorite ones when being like when I was still a casual, I always really enjoyed this mission. It's got like a very like standoff Western kind of vibe because it's basically Dave and Steve, FIB, IAA, Meriwether showing up, Trevor, Michael, everyone, just one gigantic shootout. Everything goes completely out the window. People just start shooting each other crazy. And Alex might die here if he's not careful. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, you're careful. Dangerous. Yeah. That was really dangerous. Also, there's a soft look that can happen randomly, but David just doesn't want. Yo, see if it happens here. I'm fine. This is nice. Fun fact: these guys all die to one shot. If you hit, I have to if reload you. Hit here. My goodness. <laughs> They don't die in one shot and you spend a whole clip trying to get them. Five guys that die in one shot, a 30 round. <laughs> <laughs> the well... ability of spray and pay. Spray and pray. Wow, how did I miss that up? But yeah, this is over rather quickly. I had to pray off that one. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much the mission already done. We are now making our way to the ending. Stealing this car. Only one more very satisfying takeout. And uh, thankfully that guy didn't shoot my tires. Yep, got the helicopter. And then now it's just a chill drive to the end. Big boost. Oh, okay. I saw that car in the side of my eye. You did well to avoid it. Good to wrap up. I left this mission. Yes, you can skip uh, my punch style punch here too. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Yeah, we'll see a more uh, violent version of that later on, though. I switched to the wrong character. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, not the end of the world. Uh, Franklin is going to be at a random place now, right? Okay, <laughs> we are at the beat. And all like it matters, you can just save warp to uh, the next mission. Yeah. I have to run it's a bit okay. further because I have to explode the car. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Can I get an angle shot here, maybe? No. Nope. But it was way off, okay. There we go. Uh, you have to blow up the car before safe warping because only then it warps to the mission. So yeah, one more safe warp to get to Franklin's house. 
And yeah, then we'll be off for Lamar Down, which is another one of those missions where you have to drive a very, very long distance. Uh, once again, basically once across the entire map. And uh, yeah, however, we are Franklin, so we can of course use uh, his special ability and the driving mechanics to get up to huge speed. And uh, yeah, starting the mission. Yeah, and, got uh, another yump incoming as well. Exactly, got another yump incoming. You're sure hoping you don't die on it. <laughs> I can just save up back, you know, just load the save. It's, is, is it starting to rain? Did I see it correctly? It is. Uh oh. That's, That's gonna make it interesting. Rain is yeah. very rare in this game, but it still happens like maybe once every two runs. I would say. Depending on the category. I'm gonna sound but, absolutely uh, bonkers for saying this, but I never get it in an any percent run. But it usually rains on me like once during a uh, hundred percent. No idea why. No! <laughs> hey, at least it didn't explode. Not yet. I think you're fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I uh, can someone count it up how many, like, points that was? Like, 360, 720? <laughs> That's a lot, yeah. <laughs> like, 10,572? Dang, I didn't realize we took a play, uh, break to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yeah, that yeah. was a Tony. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. If you make a best of the round, you have to put like uh, these like points in from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yeah, the points going <laughs> like up. Like the you know? overlay, yeah. Yeah, the overlay. <laughs> that would be a cool thing, yeah. But hey, at least I didn't explode my beautiful shyster purple buffalo. I'm sorry, shyster? Is, is, isn't it shyster? I don't know what you mean uh, by shyster. Shafter. Okay, I thought it was shyster. I thought shyster is the company. What? Shyster is, is, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a car brand. Car company. Game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shyster just um, sounds like a uh, mispronunciation of Shyster. <laughs> well, Shyster is like it's I think really it's based a, on that. It's I think it's a term in uh, Yiddish hmm. for like someone no, it's, who it's, like it's, it's not actually. A, I mean, isn't that how you pronounce it? Or is it Schister? Fusel? Like, 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 no, Scheister, yeah, yeah. No, Scheister is like an actual expression. Like someone who's um, a liar is a, is a, can be a Scheister. Really? Like, no. this is an actual expression in English. Wait, I thought you said Yiddish. Gold? Well, um, that's what it's based on, I believe. I have never heard believe, that in English yeah. before. Me neither. That's actually really interesting. So it's like uh, in in GTA 4, there's this uh, lawyer firm that Nico um, has a uh, appointment with at one point. Oh, and, the appointment! Um, <laughs> it's called um, Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister, and it's basically um, Ligner is like sounds like um, Lugner, which is German for liar, and Scheister is uh, like also someone who's like a, a a, a, someone who betrays you and stuff. It's a slur, ain't no way, really. Uh oh. Wow. I did not know about that. Well, guess I'm cancelled. It was nice knowing you all. <laughs> <laughs> How come it's Rigi, uh, Reg, me, and Hostel and commentary, and everyone except for Hostel? What? Ends up dropping. Oh, yeah, whatever. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, actually, there's one of my least favorite parts of the entire run coming up. Uh, this drive through the tunnels here. Because there's a random chance of a train spawning in front of you. Uh, yeah, okay, I got a good train spawn. It's like, this train could also have spawned later, blocking me on the bridge, which could lose me up to like 50 seconds, which is horrible. It's like, this, this, this is like the last big part of RNG in the run. So it would have been horrible if it blocked me like here, for example. So yeah, this is one of my least favorite parts of because I seem to get the bad RNG here a lot. <laughs> on lots of my runs. That's why I kind of like running on Mission Zero lately. Because it skips the mission completely. On Mission Zero once again being that skip that... Uh, where you gain checkpoints on a side mission and then transfer them to the main mission. That skips some main missions. Yeah, you will see it uh, just after this run. Exactly, on the next run. In this event. Like... You always have to explain the, the stuff a couple of times, I think, because there's people tuning in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah that's true. It's a, it's a six-hour speedrun, after all. I think we only 
explained brake boosting and mid driving and stuff at the very beginning. So I'm sure that like a good portion of people who are watching right this have no idea what I'm doing here. And speaking of that, we can uh, once again announce for the people that don't haven't heard it yet uh, that next week, when the actual uh, anniversary date is, um, the GTA Five speedrun community will have a speedrun race, which everyone is welcome to take part in. Uh, to take part in the race, all you have to do is uh, join the Discord and um, there you will find more uh, information about this upcoming race. Uh, we're all taking part in it, all of us yes. uh, that are on commentary. Hossel, who was uh, here earlier too, he was also going to take part. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, if you want, there will be a um, voice call where you can... Uh, talk to the other runners. Um, yeah, it should be a, a really cool thing. It will also be restreamed to uh, the GTA Marathon channel, which is uh, going to showcase yeah a lot of the different runners, and that should be really cool. Yeah, I'm, I've been very glad to, to talk for that entire part because I have to focus on the driving here. Because these these mid like, like these brake boosts in the rain are super difficult to hit. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's still raining. But that was an awesome drive. It was really good for rain, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Like the, the rain makes this expon exponentially harder. That's true. Anyway, Alex here is going to now uh, switch to Trevor and then Michael. Because uh, we need Michael for this next mission. The reason we don't switch straight to Michael oh, is because... Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, good thing you remember that. <laughs> I really forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, so there are two reasons we've switched to Trevor first. Firstly, Patricia Call, which prevents us from soft locking in a couple of missions. The second reason is if we switched straight to Michael right now, he would have a fixed switch that is on average further away from uh, the mission than if we were to switch to Trevor, which kind of breaks that fixed switch, giving Michael a random switch, and then switching to Michael. Did I do a decent job of explaining that? What are these texts? Chisel. Which route is this? Uh, I'm going to pick ending C, uh, the third way ending. Death wish. How does one qualify? Do you have to stream it? Uh, there's no qualifying or anything like that. Uh, you are encouraged to stream it, just for like everyone, I guess. Hey. But you don't have to. See my face, amigo? Actually, I, I meant to ask this earlier and I forgot. You mentioned that you do different endings based on the category. Is there a specific yes. reason for that? Uh, yes. Uh, in any percent, we do ending A, which is kill Trevor, because it's just the quickest. Because uh, you can mission skip it very quickly. It only has one checkpoint, basically. Yeah, exactly. And uh, in cap categories, we do the kill Michael ending. Because in those it's the quickest, so those are purely pace based. But in this category we pick ending C because we just have the rule set. Because yeah. like basically everyone agrees that this is the canon ending, this is the best ending, this is the ending we want to show to the world. So if you're going to do a classic run, you might as well show this off. Yeah. Kind of the way of thinking about it. Yeah, like, it was decided, basically, at the beginning of the existence of the speedrunning community, it was decided to have this rule set to force runners to do uh, the third way ending in these categories. But yeah, it's like the, it's because it's deemed the lore ending, like, this is the canon yeah. ending, yeah. basically. Yeah, exactly. Well, can I just say it? This looks gorgeous right now. The sunset with that driving looks, here, actually, yeah. with, the, with the rain and the yeah. puddles and stuff, this actually looks like you have to imagine. I'm playing this setting to maximize my FPS because uh, I thought I don't think we've mentioned this yet, but the more FPS you have in this game, the better. FPS basically make the game go quicker. And uh, That's not entirely true uh, because you have the limit of uh, 160 well, yeah, well, yeah. well until then in. the be the more frames the better yeah uh, mainly because uh the primary reasons being uh things like curb boosts and brake boosts uh those things powered by the physics engine 
uh, those are tied to frame rate. So if you have a higher frame rate, you'll get more speed from those. Exactly. Might as well take a quick tangent to show you or to explain here that uh, Alex plays so C4s and kind of uses his camera to manipulate when all these enemies would spawn in to try and kill them as fast as he could. Every enemy spawn is basically tied to uh, the explosion of a grenade, which only goes that off if you look at it. That was so clean. Oh, yeah. That was a six shooter. I'm jealous yeah. of how that was you are so right clean. I am in yeah. normal right now, actually. <laughs> So what yeah, was I saying before that shootout? Very difficult shootout strats. We were talking about... Oh, yeah, I frame rate, say... right. Yeah, frame rate, yeah, go ahead. Uh, my one other thing was uh, also ladder launches when uh, those are used. They You go higher the more frame rate you have, which yeah. in some cases is very nice to have. And also certain strats like cutscene skips, for example, are only possible on certain locked frame rates, so we often lock our FPS. Uh, the right number on the top of... in the, the, the What? The, the number in the top of right screen. of my screen, exactly. The number in the top right corner of my screen is my FPS count. So just for info, um, I just I also want to say that, as I said, we are running the game on lowest possible settings, and I think it's insane how well this game looks, despite being on the lowest possible settings to maximize the FPS. It still looks gorgeous for being a ten-year-old game on lowest possible settings. That is true. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Blitzplane. I oh, know this is not Blitzplane. <laughs> this is, I keep on, I keep on confusing them so often. Uh, this is Big Score Intro now. I uh, picked the subtle version of the Big Score, and I random cop chase. Okay. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> okay. okay. And yeah, I'm now making my way to the gauntlet that I stored about what? Like three, three hours, hours ago. Yeah, a bit more than three hours ago, on uh, Hood Safari. Welcome back, buddy. Yep, welcome back, our beautiful gauntlet. Which I will now take to the Los Santos Customs to upgrade, for specific upgrades. Maybe you want to kind of explain what's going on right here, Rake, with the dupe? Yeah, I'll try and uh, do my best. So basically, part of the uh, setup requirement is we have to deliver three gauntlets. Now normally Lester emails you uh, and tells you the locations of three like prime gauntlets to take, but Instead, what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, we already got one earlier in the run. We're going to go ahead and pre-upgrade it, and then we're going to, uh, by making use of various glitches, we are going to deliver the same gauntlet no. three times. Uh, Alex, there was trying to do a cutscene skip, yeah, but, uh, failed it. Yeah. Uh, brakes, engine, and uh, rock crawler tires. Yeah. So yeah, um, basically, we are going to make three gauntlets, or maybe even four, if I get a rare kind of glitch, uh, out of uh, one. By abusing the... Please don't give me the text. Thank you. Scared I was spamming us. like crazy. Oof. Yeah, you don't... Uh, it's, it's very important to keep the phone up here so because you need the text from Lester to that tells you that you need to get gauntlets at a very specific point this whole skip is so incredibly um, hard to do if you don't know what you're doing um, like you need to time everything to uh, a, a really good I mean, you it's not that precise, perfect. but uh, if you mess up bad enough, yeah, the, the uh, results are catastrophic. Yeah. So yeah, basically what I did now is I placed one gauntlet, like normal, and uh, I used the ledge buffer to get back into the garage. I'm loading a safe, and this will magically spawn another gauntlet in the garage, which I can set down, and then another third gauntlet in the outside. Getting the phone call. Yeah, by so I guess essentially we're delivering the exact same gauntlet twice and then also just creating a new one out of thin air. Yeah, exactly. Alex is also going to try and uh, quick cab here in order to uh, reliably get a vehicle that he can use to drive to the next mission because traffic spawns here are kind of poo poo. 
rich farm remembers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is like I, I would say this is like the biggest threat we have in GT5 speedrunning, our biggest discovery, the biggest way that we break the game. Um, by oh, that's a bold statement. I mean, yeah, it's the biggest single threat, the Gauntlet Dupe. Depends on how you define single threat. Yeah, you might have I mean, a point. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm being pedantic. For the longest time, though, this was the biggest threat. I mean, if you just, I mean, in this category, like, you're not counting on Mission Zero or DMO. Oh, I see. But yeah, this is kind of where we started to really break the game in the speedrunning history of this. It was the For first time when people really... Enough. Sorry. Gauntlet Dupe is old, man. Yeah, but how old? Like, is it 2017, 16, something like that? Is it older? No, how old is it? It's raining again. Bro. <laughs> uh, I think like 2018. Oh. Yeah, it's fairly old. But I think yeah. that's not much older than stuff like Sable or Pink. Oh, Sable or Pink is older, surely. Older than Gauntlet Dupe? Yeah. Huh. Because Sable was 2017 with Torx. Wait, really? Yeah, that video is still up, I think. Wow. I always assumed Save Warping was like early 2019 or something. No, no. Save Warping is ancient. Wow. Goes to show how, how little I know about this game's history. Or at least the parts I haven't lived. But yeah. Uh, that's the gauntlet you've done. Basically, one gauntlet turns to three. And yeah, it's the, it's the first time that people really like came together and really brainstormed a lot. Really like, looked into the code, looked into everything that could happen. And yeah, found this awesome strat. Which enables us to now start the big score, which uh, is a very kind of split mission because the first six minutes and fifty seconds are like yeah, ultimate bottom, and then the end of the mission is legendary, like peak peak top, gameplay, peak win. everything, you know. And it's really funny because Omo for this mission skips all of the boring stuff and only the boring stuff. <laughs> yeah, literally. Look at this. We got Omo being another bad form mission zero. Like, Omo Mission Zero has various different names at this point. Omo, OM Zero, Omo uh, Mission Zero, Checkpoint Transfer, The Cletus cle Strat, hey, bud. The Hey Bud thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then some pe like really pedantic people would call it like Mission State 15. Or something like that. I don't remember the number. No need to pay. Uh, we target practice mission state 15 manipulation. With checkpoint transfer. You checkpoint transfer. Oh, it's uh, like that uh, one miscellaneous uh, San Andreas category. Uh, mass memory. No, mass manipulate. Mass duplication via memory manipulation with cheat engine. Oh, yeah, that thing. Oh, yeah. that mouthful of a category name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, GTA is full <laughs> of such silly things. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't believe that this is like slowly ending already. For me, it's just beginning. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah I'm gonna go to sleep after here. this, after this uh, round, though. Yeah, same. <laughs> like, I'm starting work in exactly eight hours. You've still got like some more time to do here. I have five hours until my alarm goes. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Well, shout out for you two for trooping it out. Yeah. It is I have really awesome else. to have y'all here to uh, showcase the game and talk about it, so really do appreciate it. You know Thanks. You yeah. Thank you. And thank you for organizing. It's awesome. Yep. We've now entered, we have now entered the Union Depository. Uh, now we've just got some boring walking to do, then some mini games, and then we can finally have fun again. I don't know if I'd call the, uh, that a mini game. I mean, the, the traffic light stuff is surely a minigame, right? Is it really like a game though, without like simple and kind of crap it is? I would, I would call it a minigame, yes, actually. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just a really bad one, I guess. Like, it could have been so much better.
This elevator... This, this elevator doesn't actually move, by the way. You just have the sound and the door opens. The whole world moves around it. Yeah. Nah, not even that, though, right? Nothing moves. Not even the characters? No, nothing moves. The whole thing is stationary. It's like the um, the airplane in Minor Turbulence, when you're actually in it, uh, it doesn't move, it's just stationary. Like, if you look outside, it's it's not moving. Yeah, and then it teleports away. All that distance away. Yeah. All that time loss, it's so it does, depressing. Yeah. Oh well, but they have you that won't have in, to worry about uh, they, that for a they, bit. It's not a, like a new thing, they also have that in San Andreas, uh, which is, was quite apparent when they released um, the de Definitive Edition. <laughs> when you <laughs> jump out of the back of the airplane and you can just tell because the draw distance was a lot larger and there was no fog, that <laughs> the plane was just stationary. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah the, the Definitive Edition general is, you know... Got some interesting stuff. There's a reason some of us call it the defective edition. Yeah, so you don't actually have to uh, follow Trevor here. You can just sit here and do nothing. You could do a stunt jump. You could, yeah. You can also spin your wheels in uh, one of the random spots in the spark and uh, mission fail by getting five stars. You did what? Okay. You can mission fail here by getting five stars by just kind of messing around inside this uh, underground area. Like spinning your wheels and stuff. Have you never seen that clip? No. Okay, we huh. I thought it was pretty, uh, well, no. When the window up, it's getting super hot. Hey, shit, man. Heavy super hot at one in the morning. Super hot, I love that game. And actually, all the Americans are confused now. Because of what I just did to my window. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Because I heard these things don't exist in the jazz that you can just like roll up your window. I mean, we have blinds, which sort of sometimes work like that. But the window itself? No. What? Hey, keep straight here right over this. I'm switched. There it is. There you go. Now, Alex, maybe you have time to give a little, uh, another demonstration for, uh, Sarge. Let's have a look at I, this. I saw it. I'm just so, I've never seen a window like that. <laughs> yeah, the European windows are very fun. I, uh... No, this, this is just a blind, actually. Hold on. That's the blind. Oh, That's okay. The window yeah. coming in now. It can go like this. There you go. That's what makes sense. It can go like this. Or it can go like... <laughs> this. Okay, How would the other not make sense? I didn't pay attention to any of this, like, but it didn't fail. Now it's so easy this uh, is. Not like this, basically, like, what do you call it? Kipped. Oh. I have no idea what you call that. No. But yeah, my first ever night in Germany, it uh, took me like 10 minutes to figure out how to open that window. <laughs> I mean, I had no idea they existed. I wasn't ready for it. At least I figured it out and didn't break it. Oh, you didn't stay That's... at the hotel in Sweden, so... Correct. I was just gonna ask it's how the, long it even have them. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I went to Germany before I went to Sweden. <laughs> I hated that so much, Ricky. I hated it so much. I know, yeah. Why? Yeah, at least it's one of the few places that has a, uh... has air conditioning, right? Hello, where's the guy at? Okay. So yeah, that's the another dialogue skip going. right there. You just kill Michael. <laughs> yeah. Nice dialogue skip here to kill Michael. Okay, now we do the escape with the gauntlets that we tuned. There's like a weird dialogue that I can play here where one guy says that uh, thankfully we upgraded the suspension while we didn't actually upgrade the suspension. I mean, but you did. No, we don't. No. Oh, right, you upgrade the brakes and engine. Brakes, engine, and rock cold tires, no suspension. Right. Looks to show how I forget stuff so easily. Uh, 
I mean, you don't play this mission often, do you? I, I haven't gotten to it far. in a while. Yeah, and all my any percent runs don't get this far either. <laughs> Plus, I don't really memorize the names of what I upgrade, I just know where they are on the list. Okay, that's dangerous though. It's kind of like going by feel. I've just got that good uh, instinct. Going by feel on a dupe where, the, where, where single miss click and kill the run is kind of dangerous, isn't it? Oh, single miss click. Come on, I, I've got uh, improvisation skills. I'd be fine if I messed up. Except for that one time I chose the wrong approach on Mirror Raid. Hey, I wouldn't be. I mean, uh, that, that's understandable though, because it's the only one we just go down. Yeah, I think it was late for oh. me too, so I was sleep. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 so close. Hopefully, Hopefully that doesn't soft lock. lock. I mean, it's, it's not a soft you lock, can you can just, still uh... go in there. You can? I thought it was impossible. Yeah. No, it's not. What's the trick? <laughs> just try. Just drive? Really? Yeah, just force it. Huh. Now I kind of hope you soft lock so I can see it. Does that mean? No, no yes. I mean, yes, it is mean, yeah. We don't want that. I mean, the time is already lost. Yeah? I've been waiting for that thing to happen to me, though, because, like... Okay, so you want to do that makes it so okay. Monkers. No, no, I, I don't mean the, the soft talk, I mean hitting the thing on the side. Oh. It's honestly one of the... I, I just don't understand the mission design of this, why it had to be like that. Like, why did they make you go so slow before actually getting into that truck? Why does the game force slow you down so much? My best guess is that the other car goes in first and the rubber banding doesn't mess up. Yeah, that sounds right. You, you still go slow even after the other car is in. Uh, I have it. Rockstar's bad at their jobs. Yeah, oh, yeah it's soft lock, okay. It's gonna be a bit. It's not a soft lock. Well, I'm used to calling it a soft lock, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Nah. Sure, the, yeah. the soft lock. Yeah, I think it's not happening. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll have to skip uh, it. Yeah. Just go ahead and mission skip. It's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna try it once more because I have this one fail anyways, and this doesn't work. I'm gonna mission skip it. Because we are gonna hate anyways. you <laughs> so what? much. Storm and Unnamed are going to hate you for uh, stretching out the uh, length of this run by uh, trying again. Oh, yeah. They want to go to bed too. Okay, uh, just... apparently spam the ability on and off as you drive up. Okay. Thanks, M Toms. Maybe that. Yeah. That's a good idea. Shoutouts to M Toms for that suggestion. Also, going to be running uh, all stunt jumps later, later today. today. Yeah. That should be fun. A couple hours yep. or an hour or two away. This is really embarrassing, but I'm kind of the one who designed the schedule for uh, this event today, and I still have trouble remembering what order uh, all the uh, runs are in. <laughs> like, you'd think I'd know that pretty dang well. But nope. Oh yeah, that helicopter can explode sometimes. Oh yeah. True, yeah, I've had that happen to me yeah, recently, I, mean, I was so confused by it. Does someone, does someone really want to explain what's even going on right now? Because I don't think that's too well known. I don't know why it happens, but for some reason, truck broke him. That's all I gotta say. It's fucking... Yeah, uh... it's gonna mission fail. Oh! No. Oh, oh! So close! No. Oh. Oh, no, skip it or try again. Just I'll just skip, skip it. it. You, you basically no. got it there. I was literally inside. I was literally. I mean, that's what happened the first time as well. You were literally inside and it just failed. Yeah. Honestly, right. they should have just made that whole part into a cutscene. Yeah, it's so badly programmed. 
So yeah, because of the mission fail, it can happen that the truck, when it spawns, spawns into like an old version of itself or something before that one despawns, and that completely messes up the trailer, it like deforms it, and yeah, as you can see, it was just not possible to get back in. Yeah. And yeah, what I just abused is the one of the most divisive features in this game. If you are Englishman, um, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, it's I am clipping Mrs. this Gibbs. and sharing it with Ben later. <laughs> it's the Mrs. Gibbs feature, where if you fail a mission three times, you can skip or a checkpoint. If you fail a, a checkpoint three times, you can skip it. And I did that because of the bug. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Mission Skips for letting twelve-year-old me finish this game. By the way. <laughs> You played this game before being 18? Oh, sorry, I wasn't no. 12. I think I was 14. I really don't know how long it took me to figure out that mission skips were a thing. Dude, you're just so good at the game, you never fail. Look at this man. Oh, huge. Oh, wow, that is almost perfect. Oh, never mind, that is perfect. That is perfect. What the f. What? Eight. No. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> right. oh dear! To big squad. <laughs> what in the world Get was that? Oh yeah, you bail out of the car to skip dialogue. By the way, <laughs> that's what we're talking about now. <laughs> Not the big jump and whatever the second thing. Clean, yeah, man, Pedro. That's what I'm talking about. Final save warp to the final yeah. mission. Yep. Right before the final yump. Well, yeah, that was, it's not a huge by the way, jump, that but was, it's still pretty cool. That was the legendary big score yump. <laughs> yes, Storm. Good one. XT. <laughs> Never mind. It's okay, we'll splice it later. Yeah. Bounce off the pole into the yard. You can find a setup for that. Yeah, literally up here. Fun fact: uh, the chimney on the house you jumped over. You can actually get your car stuck inside it. I've literally done it once, and I might have an old, awful screenshot left, but I haven't seen anyone recreate it ever. And that was like three years ago. Okay. Wow. I jumped over a car. I was preparing to fly everywhere. Yeah, it's very easy to crash into something and just die on this drive. Yeah. Anyway, Alex is going to park in a very specific spot here so he can warp out of the car and not have to go through the animation of turning off the engine and stuff. Panic, bro. Yep. What the fuck did you so, obviously you skip the animation, but you also have the benefit of when you get back into the car after starting the mission, the engine will still be running. So, it's old, it's even more time safe. Yep. That drive was pretty good. I can't remember, do you still go for the uh, ledge buffer trick here? No. Oh, really? I never really went... I never really went for that. Oh no. Oh, I see. Not the yeah, end of the, the world. The game doesn't want to have audio anymore either. Oh no. I, I don't have engine sounds and I don't have uh, crash sounds. Oh, okay, it's not audio bug. Oh, I'm bouncing. Shouldn't be audio bug. Two days in a row, man. I'll be. An Awful. audio bug in the final mission is, is. depressing. Not good. Although actually not that bad since he did just make a save. Yep. Well, yeah, true. I'm in an electric car now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the future. Is that is that one of the upgrades that you did when you made it purple? Yeah, I made it electric. <laughs> <laughs> Put a bunch of Tesla batteries into it. Hopefully it won't explode. Oh my god! 
Oh, that <laughs> person got deleted. Wrong place at the yeah. wrong time, buddy. <laughs> Annihilated. They will never recover from this. Look, man. Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? Anyway, now for the last, like, proper shootout of the game. And it's a pretty big one. I mean, Velocinate, you played in like 2015, right? That's a long time ago. Uh, welcome. Yeah, that's like so what happened to your beautiful speed game. We ruined it. Although, I guess you'll see the real extent later on. This is still pretty tame. Oh, yeah, like, this category is tame, exactly, compared to Omotion Zero, DM, and stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna start calling this for uh, the uh, any percent classic without Omo. I'm just gonna start calling it any percent tame. Any percent vanilla. Any percent basic. Oh. Anyway, it's upcoming still, this, is this uh, is awesome. Upcoming is a very fun dialogue skip. Basically, there's some uh, dialogue we want to skip here, and we're gonna do it by setting ourselves on fire. Just skips a couple lines. It allows us to switch straight to Michael. There are other times when you can uh, set yourself on fire to dialogue skip, but uh, they don't come up very often. The only other case I can think of off the top of my head is in uh, a different category where we use taxis. Eye in the sky. Eye in the sky. I right, the sky. yeah, I forgot about that. I, you see, the last time I ran any percent classic, uh, people weren't doing that yet, so yeah, I forgot. I didn't this run. I might have been like away from my PC when that happened yeah. then. When do you set yourself on fire in Eye in the Sky? At the entry? At the, at, at the, the very start, beginning, yeah. yeah. Okay. I did not know that. These shots are like so difficult, these two. Oh yeah, so hard. I think I it's did just them, like, once them, without man. power. Yeah, that, that part is awful. Sometimes I'll lose like 20-30 seconds there. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> wrong gun. Wrong weapon. I only really want to explode that. those two cars with a grenade launcher, but whatever. Yeah, from here on, it's just oh. mowing down everyone with a minigun. Uh, I- oh, never mind. I, I forgot about that last wave of spawns. Yeah. People often forget about that one. And now on to the part that I uh, affectionately call the last assassination mission. <laughs> yeah, more or less, yeah. These endings are kind of like assassination missions. You just get rid of all your enemies. Yeah. Uh, starting off here with uh, Stretch, who, if you remember, set us up on long stretch and then also tried to take Safari, a bar on lower Lord. down. I think those are the only three, well. right? Yeah. Yeah, funny how little he comes up in the game. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's only really in two missions, is he? In this one and in Lamar. Yeah, pretty much. No, I mean, no. In this one and in... Uh... Long Stretch. Hood of... Long Stretch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's not in Hood Safari. Yeah, it's confusing all the mission names. I mean, Hood no Safari worries. is his... Uh, he, he, he sets up the deal that goes wrong. He is narratively involved, but like his character model yeah. isn't there. No, yeah. yeah, that's true. Then, of course, here we have Steve Haynes, who wanted to take out uh, Michael. No, Trevor. And it's just... Oh, Trevor. Steve Haynes yeah. wants Trevor dead. Yeah. And uh, it's just in general a... Uh... Meanie. A meanie, exactly. <laughs> one of the main antagonists. One big government guy who also... Gave runs a TV show, I think. And... Yeah, he runs a TV show as well. Last little strat, he ran into the barber with the, f the cops and then switched to Franklin. Who is on his way to get rid of uh, Wei Cheng. Who is uh, the leader of the Chinese gang? Who has been. Uh, who he kidnapped, kidnapped Michael? Michael. Okay, exactly. Yeah. They, they kidnapped Michael and buried the hatchet, and uh, they also tried to take over Trevor Smith business, you know, did some contract stuff there. And yeah. One shot should do it. it Another didn't. to get. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That. Oh, are these two alive? Oh. It's funny how uh, bullet spongy enemies become by the end once you hit them in the head. Oh yeah? 
And yeah, now back to Trevor. Uh, making our way to this villa over there for the main antagonist of the game, Devin Weston, who wanted to uh, get rid of the movie that Michael made, get rid of Mr. Richard, he want he scammed us on the cars that we stole for him, and I fought guy deep inside and Pac-Man. And yeah, in general, he's just a very he nice guy. He's also rich. Yeah. Main antagonist, rich Basically, billionaire. Yeah. He also owns Meribeda, as is, as is the part of it, so he's literally like an owner of an army, more or less. Mercenary he owns group. enough to uh, get them to protect him. I mean, that's not too tough. Just yeah, that's true. They, they don't cost too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're just cannon fodder. <laughs> I mean, look, look at them now, yeah. Yeah, and now he's in the track of our car. And yeah, uh, yeah this is the last half of the game. And, uh... Yeah, so that uh, the ending, like, so that the portion from after this ending thing isn't too long, I guess I'm just gonna start saying my uh, final words now, because I'm gonna need a while anyway. So much stuff that I wanna say. Uh, first of all, I wanna really thank the team of GDQ for uh, setting this whole thing up and for organizing in general. Also, you, Rake, for the for the scheduling and the organizing. Ain't no problem, man. I'm happy to do it. Yep. Also, I'm doing like one more dialogue skip here, but this part is really just holding W and drop. So, it's just, like yeah. this ending here is really kind of boring. Uh, yeah. Well, there's a <laughs> tiny jump at the end. There's a tiny jump at the end, but yeah, it's at this point you pretty much already know how it's gonna end, how like what's gonna happen. Yeah. Unless you choke. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you choke, yeah. As I said, I want to thank uh, PDQ, uh, especially Church with uh, all the organi organization. And uh, also, I want to thank everybody who watched this or who's going to watch it in after this run, because there's still plenty of content coming up. Uh, my part is over though, because I'm going to sleep after this, because I have to be at the work. And uh, yeah, as I said, uh, Hello, thank you everyone for watching this and uh, continuing to watch it. And uh, I definitely want to thank at the end the GT5 speedrunning community for 10 years of uh, just threat finding and everyone who, contrib who contributed to it, doesn't matter in which way, who just like, you know, made this game what it is today, all the awesome threats I've done, all the small optimizations, small or big, everyone who has been part of the community, who uploaded their runs, who submitted, who helped find threats and everything like that. Thank you so much for being part of this 10 year journey and uh yeah time they and end are... as soon as we're done pushing the uh, car by the way exactly to get ready on that timing ends now gg exactly. gg's gg's well done gg's gg's that was a great run yes oh, what a one what a one yeah <laughs> <laughs> still below six hours with i mean of... what yeah. If if we think about it, what went wrong? Only really uh, the death the big in score, yeah. big score, or like I mean, the mission could, fail. Oh, the mission fail, yeah. Yeah, I continuously lost time because of subtitles. Yeah, that too. I guess yeah. That loses so much time at the auto save as well. So yeah, GGs. Thank you everyone GG. for watching. And uh, yeah, before I give my final words, do you guys want to say something, uh, Rake and uh, Riggy? Yeah. Um, well, thanks for having me on, uh, Alex. It was a lot of fun. Uh, oh yeah, sure. And yeah, uh, hope to see a lot of people uh, that are watching in the race next Sunday. Oh yeah, very important. Sorry to cut you off, Rick. Uh, no worries. Next Sunday, <laughs> next Sunday is going to be the big. Uh, well, this is actually going to be the day where the game turns. It's going to be the big celebration with an any percent classic non mission zero race hosted on the Discord server for GTA 5 speedrunning. So if you're interested in watching the broadcasting of it or participating, uh, go ahead and join the Discord. Um, yeah, we're hosting a big race, tons of people competing, uh, awesome restreaming on, on the GTA Marathon channel. Yeah. Yeah, even Thanks. if you don't know the run like at all, come join anyway if you're interested. Oh yeah. Like you don't have to be competitive. Yeah. Uh, I guess for my final words are, or not final words, my last words for this section before we go take a break. 
is stay tuned yeah. because I will be back with Unnamed, one of the greatest speedrun or most talented speedrunners in the community, because we will be showing off a glitch called Omo and what you can get done with it. It's a very exactly. interesting, rich bug with so many exploits. And I hope oh, yeah. you stay around to watch it. We've got some very interesting stuff coming up after this on the on the uh, rest of this marathon event. Um, yeah. I just gotta quickly go through my head if I've said everything I want to say. Uh, I thank GDQ, I thank Drake, I thank, I thank the community in general. Uh, yeah, once again, I want to say uh, thank you for having us. The, the race, very important. I'm really looking forward to it. There's also going to be some more celebration, a couple of celebratory videos. There's going to be a, a, a world record progression video more that's going to be set up. Um, yeah, I just quickly want to mention at the end, just for my own kind of sake, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this or not, but I would really like, I'd be really happy if you could check out my Twitch channel, because I also stream my runs a lot, and I'm currently grinding to become Twitch. It's like a huge thing for me that, that, that I've always wanted to kind of do. So yeah, my name is below my camera. Check it out, please. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think while I'm talking here, but there's anything else I want to say. You know, this is like a one in, once in a lifetime opportunity, more or less, uh, to do a run in front of so many people who are passionate about running uh, on, I guess, the biggest stage in speedrunning on GDQ, you know? My god, you ran at ESA last summer. Well, yeah, that's true. But there's a difference between uh, doing a 30 minute run and a six hour run. Yeah, fair point. Yeah, like a six hour run is just, you know, something different. like. I, I just have to sort my thoughts, I guess. It's, 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 it's such a long and insane thing. So yeah, um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Yeah, I, I can't show enough gratitude for everyone who organized this and especially the speedrunners and the strat finders and the people who did anything for the speedrun. It's like, I wouldn't be here without those people. It's nobody would be here without the people who first started doing it. And uh, the people in his like throughout the history of the speed game, so, yeah, um, yeah, that's I, 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 I think that's it. We've been yeah. wait, doing this for way too long, anyways. So, yeah, I I, I want to give a big shout out to you and uh, everybody who's uh, done commentary on this. Y'all did great. Uh, this was such an awesome run. Uh, thank you so much for coming out for staying up late. Uh, we do. Uh, we are going to go to a quick break, though, so we can get uh, the rest of the EU people, because I know there's a few more EU runners. We're going to take a quick break here while we get it set up for some more runs, and uh, let's hopefully get everybody to bed uh, at a reasonable yes. time, or as long yes. as we can get to one. We'll see oh, you yeah. all in just a few minutes, everyone. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Picks. We are celebrating... 10 years of GTA 5. It came out 10 years ago next week. And uh, we are on to our second run of the day, which is going to be the Polito score segment with uh, On Mission Zero. Uh, I will hand it over and let everybody introduce themselves. Sure. Hi, I'm Unnamed. Uh, one of the top runners of this game. I'm going to be running this segment. It's, it's around like 26 minutes, not long, but it showcases the glitch that was not used in the previous run. Because it's just not allowed through the rules we made. Yeah, and I guess I uh, didn't introduce myself when I was here before. I am Rake Giles, a uh, not a quite a top runner, but I am fairly experienced, and I do have my uh, niche in this uh, community. <laughs> yeah, first share in the community, definitely. Yeah, but you're gonna be that, but you're gonna be later though. Yeah, I will be running a little later, but we can get into that when yeah. uh, the time comes. Yeah, I think we can basically begin soon. Uh, the yeah. time will start after I skip the cutscene, so when I load as Trevor. So, I guess I will jump in and start. Okay, and... Start! And we are starting with a pretty boring mission because it's a uh, minor turbulence, which is like 7 minutes of flying, fortunately. And to make things worse, sadly, we're basically going to be playing exactly the same as uh, in Alex's Any% percent Classic run. Yeah, so there's not really much to this mission except for taking really straight flight buffs. Yeah. But you I can take the... a 
few dirt brake balls. They are in basically invisible, but they give speed. Yeah, the one tangible difference we do make here is we will be uh, dialing a phone number so we can uh, use the phone in-game phone's uh, kind of history feature to call it faster when we need to for the on missions here are set up. Us uh, Omo speedrunners have a few phone numbers memorized. I probably yeah. know more GTA phone numbers than I do real life <laughs> phone numbers at this point. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> also, not a nice little strat of just warping, but it was most likely shown. Minor yeah. time safe. Yeah, we're just gonna call a nice friend. Yeah, just a quote unquote friend. <laughs> if you know what Game I mean. window is zoomed. I think I did the cropping properly though. Well, it will surely get sorted out. Yeah, I think I think it's no, it it looks fine on my end. I think. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's watchable in the meantime. So yeah, we're just going to be flying ahead of the cargo jet a little bit to uh, try and rubber band it to get it as close to uh, where we need it to be as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's, it's manipulating it to get it to good, like rubber banding and entering it on the first frame possible, basically. Yeah, so I guess uh, during this downtime, I guess we can start introducing what On Mission Zero is. I think that's a oh, yeah. uh, good starting point. Definitely. Yeah, so basically in every single GTA game, because the main gameplay is focused around missions, there has to be a sort of way of the game can keep track of whether you're on a mission or not, because ideally, from the developer's perspective, you don't want to be able to play two missions at once because, you know, that doesn't make sense, right? And additionally, with some of the uh, older, or with basically every game, if you run two mission scripts at the same time, it can have very unpredictable results, which may cause your game to crash or uh, have other strange and unwanted behavior. So, the developers have to keep track of whether you're on a mission through something called a mission, an on mission variable. We say on mission zero means that bit, if we assume it's like a, a single bit, we say it's on zero or off. So the game thinks you're not on a mission, while if you're on mission one, that means you are on a mission. So what on mission zero is basically kind of a category of glitches throughout the GTA game series where the glitch essentially revolves around tricking the game into believing you are not on a mission when you actually do have at least some remnants of a mission script running. In this case, yeah. the reason we uh, we set up an on mission zero glitch is because of the uh, GTA 5's infamous checkpoint system. <laughs> yeah, because in comparison to other GTAs where you would, you, you would use the glitch to like dupe and insta pass missions, uh, in GTA 5 we can transfer the like, checkpoint you are on currently, which allows to partially or fully skip missions. And this segment is probably one of the best to showcase it because it's used a lot and it saves around like, 7 minutes six to seven minutes and that's in a 30 minute category roughly yeah yeah so basically here's how it's gonna go we're gonna finish minor turbulence we're gonna start uh one of trevor's side missions uh target practice but we're gonna get it into an on Z mission zero state we're gonna quickly farm che five checkpoints because it is super fast on this mission and then we're gonna transfer them over to the next mission Polito score setup and since Polito score setup is only five checkpoints as soon as we enter and fail uh, the Polito score setup mission and ch uh, transfer those checkpoints, we will instantly pass the mission. Skipping all of that boring waiting, driving to Polito Bay, uh, having to get the shoot out the alarm, and then driving back. All of it is gone. And then we'll do it again, for, and then we'll just skip another five checkpoints for Predator, the mission following it. We do military hardware like normal. And then we skip three checkpoints on the uh, final mission of this segment, the Polito score. 
So it's kind of a fairly good overview of uh, what our mission zero is and how we're going to use it. Yeah, we are basically removing a bonding mission and speeding up a bit the other two. Mm -hmm. Mostly just removing the bonding fire, I guess. Yeah. Basically, the kind of rule for on mission zero I think of is if it's long and tedious, it's probably faster to do with on mission zero. So, win win in my book. It's faster and it's slightly less boring. <laughs> Yeah, I just pick up one of the numbers I'm gonna use later, and, pro and we'll explain why it's useful. And it's like said, you can save it by using the star, which is pretty neat in this game. Yeah, great feature. So gonna hover on 911 to stop the dialogue from playing. It prevents a small cutscene that loses a second. Thought it lost lost more than a second, but it's yeah, yeah it's I, not I really that much. I think it loses a second if you just get it, but loses more if you get it like just before the cargo plane is about to be shot down. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, call it around here. Yeah. Yeah, I having guess... like this menu or dialogue plane prevents the cutscene from being triggered. Uh, let's see. I guess uh, we can also use this time to talk about how you get on Mission Zero in uh, GTA oh, yeah. 5 specifically. So basically, Here's the deal. It only works with side missions. Yeah, you can only do with side missions. Yeah, main missions can't really be on mission zero at all, I think. And how we do it is basically how side missions work is that they kind of have an intro sequence. So a kind of buffer zone be, uh, before you like fully start the mission. If you can die during that buffer zone, the game puts you on on mission zero. There are many ways to do it. Uh, today, unnamed will be basically uh, bypassing a check where a kind of safety precaution the game puts in check on Cletus. Uh, normally on most of these missions, once you get into this buffer zone, the game takes away uh, your ability to uh, use weapons such as explosives, and it also uh, makes you invincible. But what Unnamed is going to do is, no. the is basically the frame before he uh, gets into this buffer zone, he's going to try yeah, to get into the Yeah, we need to give Trevor a bit of time. Oh yeah, relax. this can happen sometimes. I yeah, that's what happens if you try to go for the box push. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really risky play. Yeah, take too long if you uh, mission fail because the plane crashes. But that's a pretty long time, considering I was lying for so long. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, and yeah. instead of flying to the mission, I'm going for the for Trevor's drive because we need to drive a bit. Well, the main thing being with... Uh, this yeah, getting to the specifically, side uh, Yeah, you gotta be like a distance away from it when uh, the mission passes or else it won't spawn in. Oh yeah, that too. Uh, if I would just instantly go there, the mission wouldn't spawn. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what Unnamed is gonna end up doing here is he's going to basically try and e enter direct remote the frame right no, before... No, I'm gonna do the, the, do the sa safer strats. I yeah, know. I know the safer strat. That's what I'm trying to explain. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to try and enter director mode on, like, the frame before. What happens is it tries to enter director mode. It fails. Spits you back out. Uh, and, and it removes and you get into the, the buffer zone. It removes invincibility and allows you to use weapons. You can just blow yourself up and get on mission zero. And we need to fail and exit the, at least one time to, like, preload the missions so it works. You cannot just do it instantly. Yeah. There is a uh, faster setup here that uh, basically it's bypasses like the need to get into the mission for the first time. Although I think I've spoken with Undamed about it. He hasn't been able to get consistently. I have, it's, for whatever reason. It works for me. It's just that, you know, I don't want to get random soft luck during the marathon. So I'm just going to the safer way. Yeah. When uh, the new method fails, it fails pretty bad. Like, you can. I don't think you can hard lock your game, but you can soft lock. There is a very low chance for a hard lock where you like get a fail dev effect, but no fail, no fail screen. Oh, interesting. Can you at least go into the pause menu if that happens? No, the game is like locked. Oh wow! Also, this is how we farm checkpoints, by the way, by just doing the mission kind of normally. Yeah. The nice thing about Cletus, uh, Cletus's first mission is that. Uh, it's, when it's you really get a checkpoint, easy to just, you can just to fail it. You can you, you just mission fail and then uh. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be calling Ursula right now. 
Yeah, yeah. The free dial number. It's a lot of happening at once to like keep up. Did uh, Ursula spawn in? It, she did. I don't I see her dot. Yeah, she's there. Oh, dead. there it is. Okay, weird. Yeah, she's there. So anyway, we use that to break the mission script, so that way... uh, There's no fail... Mission pass or fail screen, basically. That's yeah. how the booty call works. And now I'm de delaying the dialogue from playing with Trevor's power so the mission doesn't end. Because otherwise bad stuff would happen if I enter the mission. The game would basically just fade into loading screen. Yeah, and then uh, you're stuck like that. Gotta restart your yeah, game. Yeah, it, it would be... It, it doesn't know what to do, basically. If I didn't call the booty call, I would have to do like a pretty old triple mission fail, which is pretty weird. Yeah, but yeah that's basically a whole mission done. Just like that. Yeah, one over down, two to go. And took only less than three minutes. That should do. I'll get the equipment. Yeah, if you start getting taxis involved, you can do it even faster. Yeah. I'm gonna pull up the phone here. So I can jump a bit earlier after the mission pass. I don't know why that, what it is, but it just allows you to jump a bit earlier. Hmm, never knew that was a thing. Oh, nice RNG! Wow! Free car, because we need that to drive to uh, back to Cleveland. Yeah, this is like the only random... ...randomness part of this segment, getting a car when you, here, because we're driving to Cletus again. Yeah. Normally, I have to as, call a cab here. As I'm gonna be doing a... One of the text manipulations, because I skipped basically getting any texts earlier. I'm basically ab abusing a design of this text system to get the text that I want to get, which is needed to basically progress in this segment. I'm gonna wait a bit. It should work, like, no? Yeah, there we go. That's the text I wanted. And another neat thing is, once the Cletus was done, like, once, I don't have to enter him again, so I can just... Do something like that, fail again, and no need to enter. And For fail. reference, that trick is very hard, by the way. Yeah, this is pretty precise. As soon as we found a new setup for it, I was like, thank goodness I never have to do this precise setup again. I mean, I, I think on this specifically it's pretty free, but on, on the next one it's, it's not. Which, in my opinion, makes no sense. Oh yeah, I, I guess I also didn't explain why the screen fades to black. Basically, I'm throwing the C4 at Cletus, and then I'm switching to online to to make the game load a bit faster. You can for a moment see that there is a, like an error that I cannot join online because I'm not online. Oh. Anyway, for this mission, we're going to use a uh, different method to uh, break the uh, Cletus script. Instead of calling a booty call like uh, Ursula, what we're going to do is Oh, huh? I got the flying coyote. Oh, well, good thing it happened on uh, this mission of all, all of them. Yeah, that's a really rare bug. It, basically, one of the coyotes fly and it falls and it counts as like, using the wrong weapon because the, it dies. Yeah, I think the taxi yeah. should still arrive. Its spotting might be messed up, though, since yeah. camera angles. Yeah, oh, there it's, it goes. it's there. Okay. Yeah, we're basically going to use the uh, taxi side mission to uh, break it this time and then use that taxi to... Uh, drive over to Predator. Yeah, I need to like delay the dark as soon as it starts playing. Because I need to like enable taxi side mission before Cletus starts talking again. Yeah. This is I got a job going right. and so I have to enter the, uh, sorry. Yeah, you need to exit the taxi before like the cab fare spawns. Because that'll put you back on, to on Mission Zero, basically. Yeah, also I'm, I have to delay the dialogue now with the switch key, which is slightly uncomfortable, but... after a Honestly, bit of practice, after years of doing it, you really get used yeah, to it. Yeah, you get used to it. We also use it earlier in the run, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm actually getting pretty lucky with no invincibility. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, because sometimes when you trigger the mission af during the... The skip setup, you can be invincible, but we also have a work around that. Yeah, maybe we'll get to show it off later. Yeah, and that's another skip. That's how much that was saving like two, like one and a half minutes. 
something like that. I remember for a while it was like so little we weren't doing it in 100% until I uh, found a way to reroute around things. But that took a long time. Yeah, I think it's like one and a half around. It was like good, good attempt. This is gonna be like one instead because I got the mission fail. That was basically random. I mean, that was like what, 20 seconds gone roughly? Yeah, something around 20. Yeah, so this is one of the cases where uh, it's only a partial skip. It's not always an insta pass. Yeah, we can only get f like fifth checkpoint from Cletus. Uh, and that's it. Some missions have more checkpoints, some missions have less. Mm -hmm. Like, and if you skip a mission above the the checkpoint it has, you, you will soft lock the game, basically. The yeah. game doesn't know what to do. So, for example, I think Friends Reunited has... Does Friends Reunited have four checkpoints? Yeah, it has four checkpoints. That's okay. why we cannot skip it. Right. Well, and it's also slow for other reasons, but we don't need to get into that. So, yeah. So, Friends Reunited... Anyway, Friends United has four checkpoints. Let's say we try and do... Uh, Five checkpoints on Cletus. If then, uh, if we get those five checkpoints and then try to uh, enter Friends Reunited, the game just fades to black, no matter what. Yeah, it will just be stuck in infinite loading. Okay, military hardware. Yeah, this one cannot be uh, insta passed because it has zero checkpoints. I think it might have one, but it's just no point in doing any setups. I thought the oh, only no, exactly. uh, high setup that had checkpoints was uh, uh, one of the big score obvious ones. Which one is it called? It's like sidetracked. Oh yeah, I think it's sidetracked. Okay, no cars. Although you can also mission skip driller. Maybe that one has a checkpoint as well. Yeah, for the most part they don't. I think. Oh Jesus! Yeah, this mission can be really messy sometimes with the traffic being spooked. Also, yeah. I'm gonna be leaving a few guys alive because it triggers a really weird like interaction later. And yeah, using the downtime, I'm gonna call another number. This is the one other booty call we have at our uh, disposal. Yeah. yeah, there are two booty call numbers in this game, and when you like connect one and use it, it gets put on like 25 to 35 minutes, like IRL minutes cooldown. So we have to use a different number for a next and last on Mission Zero setup. Okay, he's chasing. That's what I want. Mission Replay has three checkpoints for military. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And the one on break was on this whole drive. Though, like, why is Mission Replay different from uh, this? I mean, th is that is Little Girl has nine checkpoints, for example. Oh yeah, they can have a lot, but I mean, like, it would be different. It would be weird if it had a different number of checkpoints in the replay versus the main script, right? Because I was pretty sure military hardware, when you really do it, uh, doesn't have any checkpoints, unless I'm straight up wrong. Would it, be the uh, first time. It might have one, but I'm not sure. So, yeah. Anyway, here's where that uh, leaving the remaining guards comes in. We're using them for a free ride because sometimes nice spot tire. Uh, cars don't spawn in this parking lot. I mean, this I think at least one always. Oh well, they can also be slow, I guess. But... Yeah, but if you don't have anyone chasing you, Trevor, we need to hotwire it. But for some reason, if you leave some enemies remaining, he won't do it. So oh, he just the combat stance, I guess. Yeah, maybe. maybe he just gets into the car and turns it out like like he has a key. Which yeah. is pretty neat. Anyway, on to the final mission and the final OMO of this category. Yeah. The worst one for me. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, Whatever. Would, would have been cool if you went ahead and uh, showed off the uh, new OMO strat. I don't have the car. Oh, no. oh yeah, you do. <clears throat> I mean, the car that would work it with. Oh, you mean with the phone? No, 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 no. I mean, like, the uh, pause menu one. Like, uh, the mission replay glitch one. The oh. one that you hate. <laughs> I don't hate it, it's just... It, it, well, it the one you find issues. inconsistent. Huh, but I don't, it was weak that it didn't work, to be honest, because the, the setup was basically the same that worked in offline. All right. Yeah, you let's do you, it's again. not my run. Right. Let's try again. 
Yeah, hard to line it up with. Yeah, it, no difference, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no difference for me. Great game. Happens. But yeah, on uh, this mission, you can either... Where with this uh, part of the run, you can either skip one or three checkpoints. I'm not sure which one do you prefer. I always do three, because I'm, I'm pretty consistent with the sniping. Yeah, that makes sense. I started uh, doing one in uh, taxis to uh, make use of uh, taxi fast travel. Not sure whether I'm uh, a huge fan of it or not. But yeah, if you're really fast... Maybe, snipes, maybe it's so. a good idea to, to fast travel. Yeah, I think... Uh, Taxi fast travel is also faster on, uh, what's it called? Uh, Polito score setup. I've started doing that, and I think I, uh, would have golded if it weren't for, uh, some mistake I had in that run. So yeah, one more booty call, and now just gonna run over to the mission one more time. Yeah, one last skip that skips basically the whole driving part of Paleto score, which is pretty neat. Yeah, a good portion of the boring part. Yeah, and 3 out of 3, no invincibility. Sheesh! Impressive! That's pretty lucky. Yeah, Paleto score, yeah, most next, realistic uh, mission. This next 30 minutes is, or minutes, seconds, is basically an auto scroller. Yeah. Waiting for the scene to play out. Yeah, the only way to speed it up is just punching the guy, but it was probably shown by Alex. You can skip a bit of dialogue. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he didn't show it. Just like that. It skips the... like, hit the... crewmate talking, which triggers the cutscene early. Yeah. And instead of going to the vault, we can just shoot to trigger the shootout instantly. 1c4. Shoot down the helicopter. Okay. Detonate 2c4 to kill Trevor. Yeah, because the armor increases the HP and 1c4 is just not enough. Yeah, it's kind of goofy. Thank you. But, you can just survive a c4 explosion. Yeah, but you take damage from both c4s that explode. One in your hand and one on the ground. Alternatively, some runners will uh, use the explosion of a car to uh, kill them. Yeah, I don't like it too, too much. I used to not like I, it, I, but... I prefer, uh, to, prefer to see force. That's completely fair. Although I've actually kind of grown fond of uh, the car explosion setup lately. I started doing what uh, me AMV does. Uh, we're just setting up the same way as them, and uh, works pretty well for me. Do we know what the invisibility caused by? I I think my theory is that it's based on like the mission script. How it's lo yeah, being loaded. The launcher in. script specifically, I think. Like there's probably something Oh that part, yeah, I'm actually not sure. Yeah, you, you, you can most of the just, just yeah, blow up those two cars and you're good. Cup cars. And then once you what I'm doing. Kill, I, like, I was uh, usually doing something else, but I'm just using the minigun here now. Yeah, I I prefer the minigun here too as well, as opposed to using nade launcher and stuff. This feels so much oh. slow, or this is so much better. So yeah, you just kill a number of uh, military members there, and wait for this little kind of cutscene to play out. Switch to Franklin, and boring drive. Yeah, boring bulldozer drive. <sighs> At least I can shoot some people. Target practice, eh? Yeah. I guess we're gonna be a bit over the estimate, but... Ah, no big deal. Like, what can I do about that mission failing on Predator? But yeah, failing that one setup was probably a skill issue. Choice issue? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this one setup, to be honest. Maybe I was a bit too much on the left. That direct, that way of uh, going around Director Moto Mo has always been awful and toxic. Like, especially during taxis yeah. with its inconsistencies. Yeah, taxis um, is terrible. I am glad to be rid of that setup. Like, ever since I remember Twisted putting out the uh, the original videos of the jump setup for it, I was like, oh god, this is awful. But I knew runners were going to do it anyway. I mean, jump setup worked. Not gonna lie. Then the buggy came around. The buggy is great. Yeah, bu buggy will stay forever. I always hated jump setup, and even like any of the on-foot setups with it. 
they all felt inconsistent. And even Bucky was kind of difficult at times. Hey, will the tank hit me? What are the odds? Like one in thousand? <laughs> you laugh, but uh, it actually happened. I think when I first played this game casually, I think it happened to me at least once, if not multiple Drown times. Strat? Oh man! Yeah, oh, that brings back so memories. Back when the the Pareto setup was like five minutes and it was a good time. <laughs> yeah. Drown setup with no uh, Ursula. <laughs> Yeah, good times, good times. Okay, last suto, probably one of the hardest sutos. I think Drown Strat, well, for the longest time it was still done on console, but with uh, current new strats, I don't think it's going to be done ever again by anyone. Unless it's a joke. Oh, the Michael didn't get stuck anywhere, nice. So I can kind of go full speed. Yeah, this sort is all about like managing a bit of stops so you don't outrun your Mike and Trevor. Because that can happen, but they sometimes can get stuck, which is annoying. How do you tell if they're stuck? I never found a good way of checking. Uh, I listen to the dialogues. Oh. If it's hard to hear them. If it's hard to hear them, they are stuck somewhere. That is smart. Yeah, also I got a really quick train. Oh yeah, that's lucky. I've been having trouble manipulating the uh, train to spawn faster. Okay. It's yeah, gonna be mission time pass, on the mission pass screen. Yeah. And... Time. GG's. GG. 27.07 on my, t on my end. I, that looked like a really good run to me. I mean, yeah, except that mission fail on... The one mission the, the fail box. in the one missed like, DMO mode. It, like, it, it, it's it hardly anything. It came down to... Two randomness and skill issue. Because the box push on the minor tarp, the mission fail on Predator. Yeah. That was not really my fault. And I guess on the last, like the sec on the last setup, it was. That was it. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole segment done in 27 minutes, which is pretty unoptimal time. Could, could go a lot faster. Yeah. My, like, world record is flat 25 with like. Insane time save, still possible. So there is a potential. So yeah, I could be two minutes faster, but yeah, my my world record does like the the faster strat, and it's just, it does like two faster strats actually. Because we didn't talk about the cab warp that you can do on Predator. Oh gosh, maybe we can mention cab warp during Excel Epsilon. Oh yeah, yeah. That's probably a good yeah. idea. To speaking of that, up. I guess we should go ahead and uh, yeah, see get, what we probably want to set say. up, set up a new next round coming up. Uh, I guess thanks for joining, watching this short round, but at least to showcase the the one of the biggest glitches we kind of have in GTA Five that was the found over two glitch, years yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah, this is like probably after the DM menu, one of the biggest glitches. Oh yeah, after the GTA DM 5. menu, the biggest for sure. Yeah, what's what's coming up there? I think it's Trevor percent with the DM. Yeah, so you'll be you'll be getting to see yeah. the biggest glitch soon. Yeah, you Very will see one of the stuff biggest, from, uh, twisted another camera. biggest glitch. One yeah, of the biggest glitch we have. And being run by taxi twisted challenge. Camera, like... Okay, do we do one taxi challenge? <laughs> oh no, do we have time for one? Oh, I we uh, I know we are a little behind schedule. Uh, okay, and then no, uh, maybe someone else will do a taxi challenge. <laughs> Copium. <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay. I guess we'll hand it off to y'all. Yeah, thanks for having me. And check out my Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Huge grind coming up. Yeah, yeah looking uh, forward to that. Absolutely. Make sure, yeah, if you enjoy any of the runners today, make, or commentators, because uh, they're all runners, make sure you check them out over on Twitch. Give them all a follow. It'd be awesome. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for being on, for showcasing this. I know it's a short run, but uh, you did great. Uh, we do have Trevor's. No, I can't talk, apparently. Trevor Percent with Director Mode coming up. We're going to take a quick break while we get that set up, and then we'll be right Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. Today, we are celebrating 10 years of GTA V. Uh, we have our third run of the day, GTA V. I don't know why I just repeated the game name. Uh, Trevor Percent with Director Mode. I'll hand it over, let everybody introduce themselves. All right, yeah, I'm Twisted. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a 12% with Director Mode. 
if you were here earlier, you saw Alex played a whole game without OMO or anything like that. Uh, director mode's like a very broken glitch that's going to allow a lot of useful uh, skips, at least for Trevor Sant, we're not doing the whole game. Yeah, Trevor Sant just goes up to the end of the first heist, so that would be after robbing the tool store. So only about 50 minutes. You, Storm? Yeah, uh, my name's Storm Raid. Um, not as long in the community as Twisted is, but I do have my own share of experience with uh, director mode, and I'll be on commentary today. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, whenever y'all are ready, you can uh, give a countdown. Uh... All right. So even though we're doing the whole thing with director mode, we can't actually start that glitch until after the second mission, where we steal the cars. Like we have to get to a free mode state, so we have to go about through nine minutes of the intro scene. All right, time starts. So yeah, prologue's basically the first mission. What's it? It's basically a flashback mission. Can't really do anything special here. It's very linear. Exactly. GTA 5 is kind of notorious for taking quite a while for us to get into free mode, and the entire glitch basically revolves around having the director mode feature, which you may know from the game itself, uh, in free mode, and then actually being able to use it in missions. And 12% alone, that should be like around 7 minutes of time save, maybe from the WR. Um, a bit more depending on gameplay, and yeah, we've got to play through Prologue, the flashback mission, and Franklin and Lamar first, basically introducing us to all the characters because uh, before the game uh, throws us into free roam. We will then uh, perform the glitch and be able to continue with all the other missions leading up to the first heist. Yeah, director mode is usually very well compartmentalized from the rest of the game, but. There's like a exploit that happened before they patched it in 2016. Basically, when you quit DM, you're in like a a, a two second black screen, and if you die during that, you go back to the casting trailer. Yeah, like you go back to the casting trailer, but you're still in free mode. Like even though it's very useful. Uh, the rest of the community pretty much stays away from it because, you know, you're just skipping so much normal gameplay and it's a lot of tedious menuing. But there's still a lot of interesting stuff you can do with it. Yeah, people like putting it off as simply just a cheat menu because, I don't know if you've seen the direct mod menu before, but it is basically, it has very similarities to, this, to a cheat menu. You can apply invincibility and teleport around. Um, but there's a lot of tech behind it and I think it's very interesting. Making our way through the first shootout here. And yeah, as Twisted mentioned, um, the when this was found roughly a year ago, a bit more, the community pretty much immediately dismissed it due to you know the nature of the glitch, and it was pretty much immediately agreed on that this shouldn't really be part of the main runs. Uh, so it was segmented from the rest. Uh, there's like a director mode tab. Trail percent itself is not on there, but it's part of the director mode any percent classic and death wish runs. Um, so we never really added segments to it because the I mean, there's not many people running it anyway, so why bother really with uh, missed runs? Now we all agreed that it would be okay, f or most people agreed that it would be okay for the true any percent category, which you're pretty much exploring the mission skip feature. Like, Rockstar basically thought everybody needed their handheld if the going got tough. So if you fail three times, you can skip that checkpoint. And in mission skips, you just do that the entire run. Before director mode, you you die like five or six hundred times throughout the run to mission skip. And with DM, there was a very powerful usage. You could just teleport away instantly. There's a black screen, so it speeds up every mission fail by like three seconds. It saved an hour off that category, but obviously it's very unpopular, there's only like th three runs on the board. 
yeah, we, we managed to cut down the um, length of any percent in GTA 5 to only 2 hours and 16 minutes, which is ridiculous. There's been a lot of strat development there, mainly pushed by Twisted, because there's, as I said, not many people running it. Just gonna do the prologue skip now. You've all seen in Alex's stream before. Like, the first two missions are identical to what Alex showed us at this point, like, seven hours ago. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got like a, a minute 30 of cuts in here, so whatever you want to explain, you can do right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we can just start roughly by explaining. I mean, there's not really too much to it. It's probably better to explain the settings and the menu options when we actually have the menu so we can visualize it. But basically, there are, um, there's one major use in this category for teleports, which uh, for the speedrun, which are teleports. Um, there are 27, I believe, preset teleport locations, which are spread across the map. Yeah. Uh, and two arbitrary user locations, which you can use uh, when you're, you know, on foot. You can just press tab and then set it at your current location. So the use of the speed run is quite obvious. If you are at a certain point which you need to return to later, you can just use this the, the user location and then you know go back then instead of having to drive there. Or if a preset teleport location is actually closer than our initial position from the uh, given from the mission, then we can just use that to just cut down a lot of driving basically. And that's going to be the main use of this. Like we also have invincibility, but that's not too useful in the speed run anyway. It's just like a small assist. Yeah. Basically, this is a patch from 2015. Like they patched it in 1.41. But to actually get access to teleport to waypoint on newer patches, they they broke it that same patch to where you can't even start missions with the mark the mode active. So we're, we're basically stuck with this. Like a teleport to waypoint by setting it on the map with a purple waypoint would have been absolutely useful. Yeah, that would have been insane. There was thought of running 100% with uh, the 1.3 hour, I believe it is, with the teleport to waypoint uh, enabled uh, because you could just immediately teleport to the collectibles. But at the end it was it was a bit inconsistent, I believe there were some uh, game crashes and, and, and stuff related to that, but in the end people uh, decided to vote against being able to switch your patch uh, mid-run, so that kind of fell apart. Yeah, this drive like Alex, but I'm doing it way slower because I'm bad. Uh, you're just rubber banding Lamar. Like, normally he's ahead of you casually, but we can just stay as far ahead of him as possible throughout this race. Like, barely not outdistancing him, so we can get through this faster. Just usual rubber banding. And the dr and every car on here is pretty much 100% a scripted spawn. Like, he's already flashed on on the map, you can lose him pretty easy. They were really at the edge there, and obviously we're gonna make use of all the glitches, or physic glitches, I guess you... Uh probably all know of after Alex's run, like curb boosting, brake boosting, usage of Franklin's power, which actually is uh, disabled once we get into director mode. Can't use uh, special abilities, which is uh, gonna hinder us actually in a section or two, but obviously the overall time saves from DM are gonna accumulate and make it definitely worth it. Yeah, like we're gonna be basically tied with normal Trevor Sant until about chop, or after chop's over. Like, that's when we really start saving time from all the teleports. To offset the initial cost. Yeah, we just gotta wait out the stars to expire for about 35 seconds. All you gotta do is just not get caught. Yeah, knowing where the dealership is, which is our eventual location, we can obviously just drive close to there already. Um, while evading the cops. So they didn't... That, so that we just finish this mission up very quickly and then be able to, to get into DM. Which is what we're here for, after all. <laughs> yeah. That was just a dialogue stall. Basically, anytime that wheels up, nobody can really talk. 
and then you can just keep them muted for a little bit. So we skip one long line just by stalling the first one. Um, it's the major. Hello, this is 911. What emergency service require? Ah, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't run this game regularly. I did do a couple practice runs, but. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up? Can a low come up in your. Yeah, I mean, that's not what we're here for anyway, so. We can jump this mission. Now we're actually in free roam, so now we can get this glitch working. Alright, for that we're gonna drive to uh, a ladder, which is gonna be our way of using... Oh, well, our way of dying. Um, as Twisted explained earlier, you need to basically... Basically, you just die while loading back into, uh, into mission set 15 from uh, director mode. So we're gonna let it launch up in the air, then uh, open director mode, exit out, cap our FPS low so the loading back takes longer, and then die while loading back in uh, from the fall damage. And after that, we should hopefully uh, spawn back at the trailer. Yeah, like the lower FPS makes it to where all the all the stuff the script's doing just takes longer in real time. So I mean, this can still be done on console. It's just Really difficult. I'm just, I'm just gonna do something silly here. <laughs> That's cool, homie. That works. Yeah, there are all kinds of shenanigans you can do with this and outfit changes. One that you'd obviously not usually see in a speedrun, but. Why not for the memes? And yeah, now we have the uh, direct mode menu in free roam, and we're gonna be making use of that hey, what's up, Simi, huh? My dear pretty much immediately. So good to see you. So good. Let's go to Vespucci. Yeah, Franklin changes profession to deep sea welding. <laughs> A lot better in repositions. Right. Yeah, so now after Lamar actually gets into the car, we're going to teleport to Del Paro Pier, which is basically just, if you want to just simplify it, it's just really looking at where you need to go next and checking the closest available teleport. There's almost always one. Um, and in the meantime, we're going to set some settings there in the settings tab. Most of these are just making our lives a bit easier. The most important one, I suppose, is uh, the vehicle density, so we can remove any traffic from the roads, which means you know, just nothing blocking us, nothing getting in our way. Uh, invincibility is pretty useful too, although that is just a bit buggy, so like after cutscenes and after missions, it just likes to disappear. You have to reapply it. Um, as I said, not the most useful one anyway. Also, I guess kind of important for the run is that we have a couple of weapons that can be unlocked at this point just in our weapon wheel without having to buy them. So you can use of the micro SMG or the AK or whatever you prefer in the shooter instead of having to rely on the pistol. Man, your pussy the only thing that's smooth up in this shit. Man, what exactly did I do? Be pushing Lamar to the garage. This is a routine lick, dog. Chill. Do them Vagos look routine? This is shady ass apples. Those are some terrible pushes. Like, you have to punch him or else he just keeps on talking for about 40 years. Yeah, I just interrupt the dialogue and that enables us to trigger the yellow dot. I'm just making use of the micro SMG to do with this pretty quickly. You can already see the, the pace difference compared to Alex's run. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay, well, Mark might... Yeah, that was bad. Got him. Yeah, no. That's good. Nice. Yeah, bit yeah, of a late why. pickup. Yeah, the throw grenade is probably like fat finger or something. First, I'm hoping the car actually spawns here. Sometimes it's uh, the car I showed up with, the bullet doesn't spawn. And then we have to take something off the road if that's the case. So I kind of left traffic density on for now because I think that might influence it, but... Okay, I yeah, think... Yeah, good chance. 
There it is. Nice. And yeah, uh, the user location that Twister just teleported to was obviously one we set in the garage cutscene before entering reposition. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that. Yeah, just gonna use the bullet now to drive to the next mission pulling favors. And we're gonna once again set our user location here because the next mission after this one is actually, you know, started from Franklin's uh, safe house. Yeah, I just did something dumb there. I didn't think it would despawn the car like that. Hey, look, let's oh, wow. make this quick. I got shit to do. Okay, that works. You need to slow it down. Nice. Tanisha was right. Let's change it to. Right, shit, where we going? Trucks at the Davis Sheriff Impact. Oh, yeah, okay, I see what happened. Oh, okay. How did I get dragged into this? Yeah, usually I'm in the car when I try something like that, but. <laughs> shit, Franklin Clinton. Shit, your ass must be high or something. I told you, I don't do that shit no more. And because this mission is basically just um, driving the tow truck to, you know, the car that needs to be towed and then driving back to it, we're just going to be setting a user location here at the tow lot so that we then can, you know, skip the drive back. And we're going to once again use a teleport, this time Alice Downtown, to teleport us, in this case, actually really close to the uh, car we need to to get back to the to the lot. And of course, the, the Christmas memes. Let's go back for some the dialogue here, and there we go. Damn it, Franklin. We okay, was not close enough. Okay, you gotta drive like a million miles away to reattach it. No, oh, no way. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that mission we did is like the only mission in the game that's a side mission. And they're all the optional, except for that one. Yeah, like for some reason this needs to be completed for the full game. Uh, so it's also part of the segment, naturally. Yeah. Now to this mission, where the time save compared to uh, the actual 12% run is actually, well, non-existent because we can't do uh, the D-skip. What about that later? So first of all, we're gonna set up the Lamar warp here. You got the wheel, homie. Yeah, like, this would be really slow if we had to drive normally because we don't have power. Yeah, like, if you watched Alex's run, you might remember um how insane this van is at uh, break boosting when it comes to combining it with uh, franklin's special ability and because we don't have that in this run um yeah this drive would have been problematic without uh, luckily we have the storm drone teleport which uh, doesn't even save that much time it's only barely closer but you know, it ends up i think just a few seconds and a good thing about no traffic is you can actually go for like really risky brake boosts and stuff and there won't be a car in your way yeah exactly makes driving this easier especially without power yeah, like that's usually the saving grace on this like even though you are on pretty insane speed in the normal run you do have franklin's power to kind of adjust and well we don't have that but we also don't have traffic so nothing really to dodge yep. there we are. franklin's properly dressed for this <laughs> right. And yeah, um, the D skip was beautifully explained by Hustle in the in, in Alex's run, so we're not gonna go to, over that again. But basically, just the lack of power really prevents us from getting this van up to speed, and we can't really manipulate the dialogue as well either. So we're just gonna do the old strat of following D here. Um, it's a bit of a shame, but you know. yeah, like Lamar there was just telling us to use it, and we can't. <laughs> Clearly, he's out of the loop on this. Yeah. There's no distress. Uh, that was a bad yeah. one. On many missions, the traffic is actually hard scripted, so um, we don't really like. Even though we set the vehicle density to none, uh, there will still be cars on the road at various points. Just nothing we can really do about it. And yeah, same. By the way, we have a vehicle 
uh, density, but also pedestrian, so we can also remove pets. Uh, which is not as important, because another feature of the director mode is to disable your wanted level, so running over pets doesn't really do anything except slow you down. So, not a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah, this is really the exact same like in uh, any other run. Yeah, we can't really get him to skip ahead or anything like that, so just gotta kind of follow his line. Yeah, especially while being on foot or in general while uh, playing with or, you know, having NPCs with us on the missions, uh, the teleports sometimes get... Uh, no, not usable at times because, well, if we were to, to, to teleport away here, we'd obviously lose a D and chop. And the game does not like that. So we just have to stick to um, what all of you are used to. It's a bit of normal gameplay to enjoy. Do you have grenades when we shouldn't? I don't think that's gonna get the dog or anything. Oh yeah, true. That's a cool strat. Uh, if you remember from Alex's one, we do shoot the dog here, uh, so Chop doesn't run over to him. It's like a cool technical strat where you can uh, throw grenades to kill the dog. It's very precise. I have never managed to get it, personally. Yeah, just some nice Chop pushes. Everybody gives me problems because I did this in first person. Yeah, I've never seen anyone else do it, but well, if it works, then might as well. Get back on that fat motherfucker. Yeah, there's the dog. Yeah. I wasn't lined up there properly for a fast skip like that. It's like the door's open on the other side, but before that it isn't. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, another reason why on this mission you don't really save time and in fact lose time is because, um, well, the, the, you, you can't finish the mission, it's dialogue dependent, so you actually, we'll just drive to the point where we'll eventually drop off the, uh, or drop off Lamar actually, drop off the at the same place, we also uh, drive to the, in, in the normal speedrun, but we really can't do anything, there's no ad ad advantage really from, from having DM here. What we do do is we teleport to a location close to it, in this case it was UL1, and we're gonna try and set up the perfect dialogue skip where D wouldn't say anything ideally and we just immediately skip to the end of the mission which saves like, uh, depending on the other dialogue, 3-5 to five seconds I guess, at best. Yeah, absolutely no way to skip that dialogue. Okay, I missed a skip. You have all, all sorts of time to line that up and it's just... A little too precise in terms. Yeah, it's a hard one. Alright, and this is what I mentioned before. Often after missions, the invincibility and the vehicle density just gets, I don't know, I guess there's just some cleanup happening or something, or the mission pass screen, the ending mission script spawns the cars in again. So you have to actually set the vehicle density to low and then back to none for it to properly work. Um, advantage, you can do the risky dive out here because you're invincible, so no real risk of dying. Yeah, again, we can only go to a relatively close teleport. They're not very dense in the city. Yeah, the location's chosen by rocks. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense if you look at it just story-wise, but it's not really evenly spread out. There are just some at the same points, and then there are some who are just really spread out. Can't really do anything about it. And it's okay, it's in, I guess. Yeah, and for some of them, if you're in a vehicle, you end up at like a wildly different place. It has to put you uh, a road. Yeah, there are like two or three uh, Mount Gordos, one Kofus, one. I think that's it. We just like, get like put at a totally different place. Like, even if you're in a boat, it puts you on a road. It's like a mini sub. <laughs> That's just because you have a massive gaper, bitch. Fucking homo, you're dead. Dead! And on this, we can't actually crouch for a, a good stealth walk. So we have to just uh, walk. And I'm yeah, kind of worried that he would automatically sprint here and alert them. <laughs> it's a classic one, yeah. 
yeah, I think what what happens is that the the dialogue preview I think is what's on control. So even though the game tells you to enter a stealth mode, what really happens when you press control is just you uh, end up previewing that. Or the animation I think it is, and then we're obviously gonna be teleporting back to Yolto, which is if you recall where we started the mission and set the user location to skip a long and tedious drive, and we're just gonna beat up Simeon. I got one push, ain't too bad. Yeah, and obviously, once again, because we knew for the next mission we'd end up at Father Son, we set the user location while we were as Franklin. It's easy to miss those, um, kind of subtle, because you only have to press tab. Just gonna reset the location there in front, so we actually end up being properly warped back at the end of the mission. Because, well, one. obviously, in the end, we're gonna need to drive back to Michael's. Here we're gonna actually make use of the what's mainly used in, in mission skips to just teleport away uh, to mission fail because the checkpoint actually sets Michael and Franklin both in the car. So instead of having to run there and, and wait for Michael, I uh, wait for Franklin, we can just walk them in there immediately with a very quick mission fail. And then we're gonna teleport to Golf, which is very close to where we actually wanna end up being for the heavy scripted part of this mission. Yeah. Let's turn getting Franklin early. This once again is very similar because, uh, as I explained before, you're now tied to the boat. Um, so if you were to try and teleport away or anything, you just lose the boat and mission fail. There's nothing you, you can really do about it. Uh, so you just have to go through the circles. Basically identical to, to the um, mission in non -DM. Yeah. But we can get a micro SMG here to make a couple of these easier. Yeah. Just gotta kind of go slow to keep this boat from outdistancing the endpoint. Like we don't want it going too fast. Just balancing our speed here a bit okay. to make sure we, you know, still go at a reasonably fast pace, but don't just completely overshoot it and have to drive uh, while back. Kid, watch out for the boom. Fuck. Hold on. Yeah, just quickly looking. Did I miss any setting? Yeah, you can change time of day and weather as well with this, which is well, weather is not really useful except when it for some reason rains and you can set it back to sunny because rain in this game makes driving a lot harder. And time of day may be sometimes useful, for example, 100% where you need uh, time of day to be at a certain uh, a certain number to actually progress or start a mission. But apart from that, yeah. Yeah, like the difference between 100% mission skips with and without DM is pretty huge because of that. There's so many problems with time of day, so many problems with you're just in the middle of nowhere without a taxi, no way to move around. Yeah, and just also the the me effect, like how routing changed with the uh, director more just through the inbuilt things, but also just if you're in the middle of nowhere, you can just teleport to the airport and have a good chance for a free cap, for example. Uh, there are just many things. The 100% mission skip routing is one of the best with DM. A uh, very enjoyable category. Can recommend checking that out in Send Route. Hello again, teleporting back to where we started this mission. It's Franklin, right? Yo, so like, since we're both on a. Some quick dialogue. Yeah, and here once again we have a better way of doing things uh, than the ledge buffer because we just teleport far away to you know be out of range for the mission and then teleport back after getting the Jimmy text. We need very much uh, faster. And another mission where we just drive someplace, do some stuff, and then you know go back to Michael's house. Really bit the theme of this category if you want to. 
Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. How you catch him? It wasn't hard. They were in my house, in my own bed. So gonna do the hill climb. Man, this dude got some explaining to do. There are some limitations, of course, in uh, because we can't still use taxis. Like we still follow the classic rule set here, um, so we can't use taxis. Taxis obviously would make this a lot better because right now we can only set the uh, arbitrary user locations to where we actually are in the run. With taxis, we could taxi to a location. For example, in the taxis run, you actually taxi to this mission, uh, to this place before you start the mission. Then in the mission itself, you can just teleport there instead of having to drive there and do the annoying hill climb. Um, but this is the more pure category, I guess, and... Oh. Well, it's a yeah, bit definitely. different, I guess. Yeah. Alright, and now we can skip any camera manipulations and trying to avoid the goon spawning in or anything. We just teleport back. Yeah. Yeah, we got friend request here. Friend request is really awkward is this with this kind of route. Who's asking? Who's asking? It's like teleports are faster, but we still gotta find something on the road. Yeah, we once again rely on random vehicles. Um, there's actually a garage feature in direct mode, but because we just really lack the resources, we can't really make use of it. Basically, if we had enough money, we could buy a garage, buy a vehicle. In the full game run, we do buy a garage and a party on Trevor later, and then we can just spawn it in whenever we want. But because we really don't have the money for it, uh, we can't do that yet. So we do rely on a random spawn, ideally a bike, just a fast car, anything. Gonna see what we get. That looks like a daemon. Okay, that's not good. Thanks for spawning out of nowhere, out of thin air. Oh, wow. We gotta help for like a sports car or something. Okay, that, that'll that work. The thrust is like the average, just not great bike. Yeah, we can make it work. But it's... Okay. Also has a truck where you just kinda like lean forward when you're wheeling. But I didn't get it. I'm getting enough speed for that. Yeah, the thrust is a bit more sturdy when it comes to these uh, wheelies. But yeah, we're gonna just quickly, because this is actually very close to where we need to be heading during the mission front request, we're just gonna quickly drive to the. Uh, I don't know what this store is called, but the clothing store. We're actually gonna be buying clothes from for Michael in the mission. We're just gonna set our user location there. And now go to Ellis downtown to drive closer to Leicester, which is still a bit of a drive because, once again, not really well spread out. So, Leicester's house being like more of the uh, southeastern part of the map, there's nothing really close in terms of teleports. Yeah, like pretty awkward, but teleports are still quicker than the normal way. Yeah. Yeah, this bike really doesn't like going over curbs sometimes, you can get just killed by, like, a 10 yeah. centimeter curb. Yeah, various clips have been uh, shared in this community over time with this bike in particular, because it's just so common as well. Makes for some great content. I'm just gonna quickly hop onto it again and then go to the Suburban store, that's the name, right? Yeah, Suburban. I feel like that's an example that just puts you on our road. Ah, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, because actually, the way, yeah, or the, the, the place this. where he set the location is just not feasible for a car, I guess, so it just puts you on the road. Well, that's as as you're and uh, another thing, I guess, a bit big thing about this uh, when it comes to, you know, optimizing menuing is pre selecting. Like you saw there, he actually pre selected uh, Richard's Majestic Studio there. Uh, which is where we want to head next and which is quite deep into the list so you know you actually have to scroll for quite a bit and we ideally want to do that at a place where we don't do anything else so we uh, don't have to actually scroll and wait equal time loss so once again here we pre-select ul2 which is still uh michael's place yeah and that menu you can't just hold hold down any buttons you have to mash yeah True. another another quality of life failure kind of big on the conference tour already Another thing we can... Oh, fucking 
We can just <laughs> mess with dialogue if we have time. Usually yeah, it's just... Right out. Oh, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, usually it's just a boring walk, you can't really say anything. Yeah, it's unfortunate you can't really skip anything of those, but... Fortunately, you can skip you the uh, second part where you walk out drive, and then would have to drive back to... Uh, um, Michael's place, software? which is well, well the biggest time the saves, I guess. I'm pretty bad with those pop-ups. Scanning. That works. Built of slowly driving out. Uh, I need to write some we just I'm teleport itch. immediately back to Michael's. But there is a well, it's not a soft lock. It's just a bug where you can't bring up your phone. I believe it's when you just don't exit quick enough. Don't really know for sure. I think that's just a placebo. Uh, yeah, worked pretty well for me. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, but it still saves a bunch of time. We actually found earlier that mission failing uh, enables you to do it, and you can jump here, so you won't get it. I think. Yeah, that's how it was. Yeah, unfortunately, no way to skip this long cutscene either. Big save and mission skips though, where you can set your wanted level to high and then, well. Yeah, something silly you can just mess with this cutscene. Oh, yeah. There's still an internal timer going on, but... Like, you'll never see this in a regular run. Yeah, there's some very interesting stuff you can do with uh, director mode. In particular, some more meme stuff, I guess, like this. But also, well, as we're showing off right now, a lot of very interesting strats. Um, we cut down the full game runs, like any percent classic, and, and Omo and no Omo to like by like an hour, I guess. Um, mission skips, actually, also an hour, hundred percent, a bit more. There's just a lot of stuff you can do with it, which is why the community immediately agreed that this should be separated from the boards, which. Well, makes sense, I suppose. Yeah. Like, I enjoy it, but it's probably something you want separated from the rest. At around this point in my presentation, there was many... Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dodge you. Motherfucker! Hello? Oh! Security. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, 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 no. Whoa! And there we go. And another thing, you shouldn't be able to jump in your safe house, but this bug kind of lets you do that. Yeah, kind of weird, especially because if you do it twice, like we do in 100% for the random events, it won't work. It's a bit weird, I guess. But all these small things. And here also, instead of having to actually run all the way, we can just teleport and, you know, and back at our front door. A bike ride along the Spucci beach? Okay, Dad. It's the second time we see Jimmy. He's usually pretty useless, and in this mission, he's extra useless. Yeah. He can't even win the race. <laughs> yeah, although, granted, we are being a bit uh, well, unfair, I guess, in this race. I'm going hey, great some... listening to this crap. What the hell was that? I usually wait for the yellow line there, because if you teleport without this it being there, it might not detect that he's in the car and just mission fail for abandoning. I don't know why it took like 10 seconds for that. Yeah, that was weird, I've never seen that before. Yeah, just another weird directing mode thing, I suppose. And yeah, um, it's going to be once again teleporting to to the pier. But we will start our race with uh, Jimmy and, well, this actually has one of the coolest strats, I suppose, in this. Uh, I guess it's not one of the coolest, but it is fairly unique the way we get a boat here later. Uh, for now, just gonna go for the race with Jimmy, which luckily uh, we can, well, we can't fully out ab abandon him, I guess, but we cannot distance him to the almost finish of the race, which is near Dolper up here. Yeah. And this is a good example, by the way, for the uh, being set differently on uh, foot and worse on car. Like, if you were on foot, you'd be placed actually on top of the pier. Whereas, if you're in a car, you get placed, like you've seen three times already now, underneath. Yeah. I'm not really good with the BMX jumping. I'm on keyboard. That kind of doesn't help either, but this is such a short ride, you really don't need it. Yeah, we cut it down a lot by the 
the teleport. Alright, and now we're actually gonna abuse the fact that you're gonna spawn underneath it because instead of doing some camera manipulation to get the bow to spawn in faster, we're just gonna make use of the conveniently placed jet skis here. Just gotta be careful to have vehicle density on high for this, otherwise they won't be there. Yeah. There's another one you can do where you just kinda do a launch glitch to get in the air, but it's not very consistent. We would just paraglide over here, but. or just glide with the parachute, but that almost never works. <laughs> yeah, it does look a lot cooler, but uh, consistency. Oh, yeah. Oh Showing off my skill level there. <laughs> Got like two clips to hit him with SMG. Average, yeah. Yeah, once again, the SMG really, uh, we, we, we benefit from it. The SMG is just a lot easier to, to hit them. The pistol can be a lot more annoying. I'm just gonna drive to the shore here. That's sweet. Yeah, you don't want to do anything weird during those kind of cutscenes because it just soft locks because they don't finish. Yeah, director mode's very powerful, and it allows you to do stuff when the game intends you to not do stuff, so it's best to just keep your hands off and be a bit patient, otherwise bad things happen. Yeah. You're just gonna do... Off. Sorry. Turn off the cars again. You can talk. Yeah, um, similar to what Alex did in his run, the um, hangout warp um, and having to actually change your suit, but instead of having to save warp to uh, to Michael's, we just use the teleport again. Makes it a lot faster because instead of having to actually load in 30 seconds, just press one button, two seconds, you're there. It's pretty cool. There we are. What the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything. It's also, I suppose, very convenient uh, from the game that the mid part of this run just really focuses around Michael's house. Like, you just have three or four missions where you just start and or finish there. Just go there various times so you can really set the user locations around this place. And now the final missions are often centered around Lester's factory. You start there, you just sort of twist and place the, uh, the user location. After case, we're gonna go back to that place. Uh, carbine rifles is gonna, you're just gonna have to drive back to it. Um, just a lot of places where we're just gonna be saving a bunch of time from just the teleports. Especially because driving as Michael can be. A bit annoying, as you can see here. Yeah. I mean, a lot of cars in the game are pretty slow, worry, but okay, usually you can you take control of that. I, I kind of gonna get. I kind of really recover that. Sir, thank you. Glasses are live. Yeah, the handling can be a bit annoying uh, with the tailgater. Shoot away. Hey, beautiful. Yeah, also you just saw him once again place a uh, user location at Michael's car, so instead of having to walk back, we can just teleport back. Pretty neat, just walking back in. And, well, repeat the exact same thing for, for the next spot. I gotta be careful, because during the practice run today, it's like I teleported back to him there. And got in the car so fast that it didn't advance the next part. I had to get out of the car and then get back in. This game's like full of stuff like that. You don't meet like Rockstar's exact specifications, you get punished. Yeah. And I kind of just fell off the ledge there with like the little camera drag from first person. I wasn't even lined up properly either. Yeah, it's also a classic, it happens to me very, very often. A real classic is like getting up there and then the camera just drags you and you fall off the building. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that is a bit more painful than the small drop to the lower part of the roof. Yeah. Yeah, two quick teleports and we actually finished this Let's go back part of the mission. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So what did you like, if I didn't wait for it to say get back in your car, it would have kind of bugged out and didn't work. 
Interesting. I've never seen that before, I don't, but... Okay. So how... Not approach, obviously. Yeah, if anything, you, you I, if I learned anything, then that you never stop learning uh, new stuff about DM. Just yeah, this game is in such a broken state at this point. All right, and carbine manip, which actually was not shown off in uh, Alex on, I believe. Um, principle is basically the same, like on the uh, predator and. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. I, was, I was doing this on my phone timer because I didn't open up loud split. I kind of just messed that up. Yeah, it, it is a precise timing. It's a, it, it's definitely harder than the military hardware or cleaning one. Um, it's because you have to not only hit the timer for the text to come in in time, but also for to not get the Franklin call. Um, not an easy one. Many runs die to that, and we also get unlucky with RNG here. Uh, we do need the carbine rifles text. By the way, we do carbine rifles, I guess, a very cool way. Alex mentioned it, I'm pretty sure. You know how RNG heavy this is. Yeah, it's a cop spawns, it's a very, very weird mission. Common run killer. And, um, well, we are invincible, we are not being able to get wanted, and we have a teleport, and we're just gonna use these three to do exactly what Twisted shows here now. And these guys in the back seat, they kind of just freak out and sometimes they warp with you and just fall out of the air. Yeah, that's actually really funny. Like, as soon as you get in, they just, I think, get out. And I guess if you go in, or if you All teleport right. quick enough, uh, they just fall out of the air for some reason. It looks really goofy. And Joel Storehouse here really benefits from teleports, like, Oh yeah. We're basically going to do the same thing Alex did, like, keep looking at him, but just warp directly to the end. Yeah, like, at first we have the teleport we still uh, retain from casing, where we just exactly are here, and can just immediately get to the, get to the jewel store. Inside is the same, but, well, instead of having to drive and look back and just pray we don't get run over by someone or get uh, killed in the cross or whatever, we just, there's one teleport, the storm drain teleport we used on chop already, which is precisely next to the, uh, the the place where we actually meet up with, with Michael for the, for the final drive, I guess. Uh, so we're just going to be teleported there and keep looking at them. It works really well, as you can see here. Oh, sweet. Oh, we still gotta go to this sequence regularly, or as regular as it gets. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm here. Just no real way to dodge that again, because I've, I, I, I've never actually tested it, but I suppose you just mission fail for abandoning the crew. Yeah. It's like the old strats, you can like... Just driving too fast, you outdistance him. Yeah. And yeah, for the final bit as well, it's just too short of a drive to really use DM. Like a lot of time, the time's just frozen to something normal. We can just change it to midnight if we want to. Oh, it almost fell over. Let's stop at the bikes in the truck. F, let's do this. Didn't get the center of gravity right on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Although, granted, uh, not having any vehicles on this final drive uh, is really beneficial too, because vehicles can be very painful. Like you can get trolled by random industrial. Garbage trucks and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Just having a nice clean road here. Basically oh, means man. no complications usually. There are poles, but yeah, you know, with no traffic, you usually dodge they them really well. That you finish up trope, so. Like, no one would ever really beat that line. Yeah. Without perfect racing lines. 
and that's time. Oh, it's 48, 22, pretty, pretty damn decent. I think WR yeah. is like unofficially like a 47, 45 or something from your any percent death wish DM run. I don't care if you got money now. Yeah. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not yeah. then. Also, yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. What was that? Oh, if you had something to say, go ahead. I didn't want to cut you off. I guess we're done with Trevor Sant, even though we don't get to see Trevor. Just old naming conventions. <laughs> uh, do you have anything else either of you want to say? Uh, I, I want to say thank you both so much. This was uh, an awesome showcase of uh, Director Mode. Oh, yeah, this was, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, it was a, it was a pleasure having you. You all uh, put on a great uh, display. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, with that said, uh, we do have more runs coming up. So we are going to take a quick break while we get ready for uh, all stunt jumps. And uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. We are celebrating 10 years of GTA 5. We have all stunt jumps as the uh, next run we are going to watch. I will hand it over and let the runner introduce themselves. Yo, what's up? I'm uh, mtoms127, and uh, yeah, as you said, I'm going to be running all stunt jumps, which is exactly what it sounds like. There's 50 stunt jumps in the game. I'm going to go through them all. So if you're sick of uh, watching really complicated glitches that you don't understand, because I don't understand them and I actually run the game, then uh, this is a good category for you because it's pretty much just got the regular uh, driving glitches. So I'll just get straight into it, I guess, and load this save to start the run. So timing will start when this loading screen is done and the cutscene begins. So for this run, we don't start at the very beginning of the game. Right, time starts. Uh, we start from this uh, first mission, basically. The first mission after prologue. And it's basically because the prologue would just be repeatedly mission failing over and over again in order to get to this part of the first mission so we can fail over and over again again. So we skip it because it's just five minutes of mindless gameplay. Damn. Uh, so we've got a couple of mission fails here to get started, and then then the actual gameplay starts. And after that, I think it's probably the best category in the game, but I'm very biased because this is pretty much the only category I run and the only category that I'm any good at. But um, we do almost all the jumps while we're on this first mission because we get this car right here, the 9F. Um, and while you're on this mission, this 9F is practically indestructible. You will never get the wheels like locked up by wrecking into stuff, basically. I think it's buffed while it's on the first mission because they're expecting you to not know how to drive because you're playing the game for the first time, something like that, I'm guessing. But, uh, yeah, so we're just going to go through all these jumps. The first one's coming up, and it is actually probably the hardest jump in the entire game. So if I'm going to fail any of the jumps, it's going to be this one right here. It's at the top of this parking garage. Uh, like the other GTA games, when you go off a stunt jump, it puts you into a slow motion cinematic camera. But unlike a lot of the other GTA games, we can skip the slow-mo and it later skip the cinematic camera altogether once I get a gun. But right now I don't have a gun, so I have to you look at Lamar to, to skip it. A little far right here, but I should be fine, yes. Alright. That was the most stressful part of the run for me, I think, is getting that first jump. Because it loses a lot of time if you don't get it, because you have to drive all the way up that parking garage. Alright, so right here we get some cops coming in, so I'm going to take a gun from one of them. Bang, backhanded him, nice. So now I've got a gun, and now all I need to do is aim the gun as I go off a stunt jump, and it automatically skips the cinematic camera. It makes it a lot nicer. You get a normal view of the car in air. But yeah, we're going to do uh, about 15 or 20 jumps, and then death warp back to that parking lot where I stole the gun. 
Um, because we're on a mission when we die, it just puts us back to the last checkpoint, and it's really convenient that that checkpoint is in pretty much the dead center of the city, where most of the stunt jumps are centered around, so it's really good for routing. Uh, we just, whenever we get far away from any other stunt jumps, we can die and go back to the middle of the city and continue from where we left off. First few stunt jumps aren't too bad uh, after that first jump. I've got the cops looking for me. They'll probably see me again right here. Nope, actually they didn't, so I'll probably lose them early. Doesn't really matter. They don't give me too much of a problem. You're capped to only having two stars while you're on this first mission, so you can never get anything like a helicopter or any of that mess. And I think they also can't shoot out your tires. At least I've never had it happen, so I assume that's the case. Cause otherwise it would probably happen at some point. I actually never knew that this mission was hard locked to two stars, so that's actually pretty cool. Oh, I failed that. I was showboating too with the 360 and I hit a sign. I was probably going to hit that sign anyways if I hadn't done the 360, but that's disappointing because that jump is very easy to do. So It's very hard to get through a run without failing a single jump though, so I'll, I'll take it. If that's the only fail, I'll be happy. The first part of this run is a lot of driving up parking garages, but we're almost done with that. There's one more after this. All right, take it very easy here. Uh, you'll notice a lot of the landing zones. I'll explain. Okay, so every jump has a takeoff zone and a landing zone. So you have to obviously take off from the takeoff zone to start the stunt jump. And then you want to land with all four wheels on the ground in the landing zone for it to count as completed. If you hit something on the way, you'll usually fail. Or if you land on any part of your car that's not the wheel. Uh, sometimes you can hit stuff and not fail, though, and I don't know what the rationale behind it is, because it seems to be almost random. Like, you can hit something with the bottom of your car, as long as it's not a wheel, and then land in the landing zone. It'll sometimes still give you credit, and sometimes it won't. Uh, so it's a little bit picky, but usually the game's pretty lenient with what you do, and it's pretty predictable, but I'm surprised every now and then. But a lot of the landing zones you'll notice are in the road, where cars are often there. So there's a bit of RNG with traffic uh, just being where you want to land, and there's not really much you can do about it, because most of the landing zones are kind of blind from your takeoff, so you can't see and plan to avoid traffic. You just have to do your best. But we're past a couple of the bad jumps for that. The two parking garage jumps are bad for landing zone. Ouch. These jumps here, this is called the dock section or the port section, and there's a bunch of jumps centered around here, and they're all a little bit tricky because the ramps are inside of these truck trailers that are exactly a car width wide. So you have to be, I can't believe I've hit both of them so far. <laughs> you have to be really, uh, really careful getting on them or you will crash into the side as I've demonstrated. I'm doing this so you guys know how hard it is, not because I'm bad at the game. And uh, the, I don't know if there's any reason why all of, oh, like, there's like 10 stunt jumps centered in this one little tiny area of the map. I always assumed that they gave the job of picking where the stunt jumps were to like an intern, and then he uh, got to the end and realized he had only put out like 30 stunt jumps. He's like, oh, let's just dump the other 20 down here, but I'm glad he did it because it makes the run a lot shorter and it also... I'm gonna fail this as well. Ah, I almost saved it. That's the hardest jump right there for me. It's my opinion, but other people disagree. It has a really small landing zone. Um, and the other good thing about this area is there's no traffic, so all these jumps, when I'm failing them, is just a skill issue. There's no real luck involved. Ouch, that's going to hurt my speed. Okay, I should still be fine on speed here. Alright, that's perfect. That roof jump is really hard. This, the landing zone is annoying, and there's these AC units on the jump that you can hit. This jump's a little scary because you go over the water, but it's easy other than that. Um, the good thing 
with all you can see i've really done a lot of damage to the car and i've been putting a lot of abuse on it but it's still driving perfect because as i said earlier this car is basically indestructible uh, when i started running this category uh, the route didn't involve doing all the jumps on this mission we would just finish the mission and start doing the jumps with franklin's buffalo which is like made out of paper mache or something because it like the first thing you hit the tire locks up so when we would get to this part of the run, we would grab a Panto from this parking lot on my left, which is like a smart car. It's this little tiny car I'm looking at. Um, and it's also, for some reason, like indestructible. You can't really damage it to the point where it drives funny. Uh, but it's slow. But it's nice because it's so narrow and so small, you can fit into these tiny trailer jumps very easily with it. Uh, but that was the route for a long time, and it was kind of like a joke, because we all knew it's like an inferior car and it's slow, but it was like so much easier to do the jumps, and everyone was failing jumps back then, the run wasn't very optimized, so everyone used it. We used to, uh, we would submit our runs to the leaderboard, and we would say in the comments what color of Panto we got, since that's the only like random thing about it. And people would ask if the Panto color actually mattered, but it does not. So that's the end of the port section back there. Well, this one's sort of, I guess, still in the industrial area over the river here. That's a little slow there. I want to land on the top of that hill so I don't bounce up in the air like that. But the landing zone ends almost immediately at the top of the hill as well, so it's really risky. Um, so next few jumps are at the airport, and then I'll do my first death warp to get back to the city. Let's see if I can get this brake boost. Uh, I didn't get any speed from it. You can get a ton of speed there, but unfortunately I didn't really get any of it. These next two jumps are kind of weird because the ramps take you off almost vertical and you can't sh aim your gun while you're vertical. You have to like angle the car down and then aim your gun. Okay, wow. If I'd landed on any of that debris there or those like signs, sawhorses, whatever they are, I would have failed, but that was a really nice jump because I was right next to the ramp to get back down. This jump's usually a little easier because there's not as much stuff to hit. It's just an empty parking lot. Alright. Gonna cap my FPS. This is a kind of a placebo strat, I think, but this next jump can sometimes fail for no reason because you clip this fence as you go off, and for some reason capping your FPS seems to uh, make it not happen as much, but I don't think it's ever been confirmed, it's just a placebo, but I believe in it. So we die, and get a gun again, because now we've lost our gun, so we need it back. So this time, open hand, but we didn't go with the backhand this time. Still kills the cop, though, from a slap, like, he never gets up. <laughs> This jumps pure RNG if you get like traffic down here where you're landing, but it almost never happens with the traffic density in this game. It's not too big of an issue, but sometimes you can hit a car immediately and fail to jump. Are going to go far enough? Yes. So that landing zone's a little bit weird because you have to jump really far to get there, and then there's an underpass to go under. So this part of the run, I call it the downtown segment, because we did the port segment already. So now all these jumps happen in and around the city itself. Um, they're a little bit easier, but I'm saying that I'll probably fail one or two of them still. <laughs> Once again, I've got the cops on me. This time I don't actually care to lose them because I'll need to get the cops back on me for a uh, strat later on. Hopefully. Although it doesn't actually save or lose much time, it just makes the run more consistent. So it's, I'm just going to try to keep these cops. Sometimes I'll lose them and I'll get the wanted level back later, but I'll see if one of these can spot me. This right here is the easiest stunt jump in the game. Whee. Hey, there's no family here. Usually there's a family having a picnic here that I have to avoid running over. But... Very strange. I don't like change. They're probably inside watching GDQ right now. <laughs> Maybe. 
there's always a family and there's a dog running around. And uh, one of my friends that runs this category as well, Illuminati, he will uh, very often run over the dog if he's having a bad run to take out his anger. He told me I should uh, ask the chat to do that as like a kill the animals type thing, but instead of saving time, it loses time and you kill the dog. So it's just like bad sportsmanship for no reason. <laughs> This jump's kind of tricky because there's people in the way, and I failed because of traffic. That's one of the most common jumps to fail from traffic, but it's not a big deal because you're still right here. And the next time you go, the people are out of the way, so... Works pretty well. Really? There's no... Okay. How did those... Okay, finally. <laughs> That's a police station right there I just shot with, with my gun, and the police were not interested for a moment. So this time I'll try to keep these cops uh, so I can lose my wanted level quicker later in this segment. Right there I land in the grass to avoid the traffic. Come on, car, get out of the way. That was weird. I'm on controller, so to activate Franklin's ability I have to hit the honk button and the look behind button at the same time. It's the left and right stick, so there I honked and then looked behind because I hit him at slightly different times. Sorry, buddy. This jump here's got a little bit of randomness to it, because this debris can hit you in midair. If the debris hits you in midair, it can cause you to fail. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Again, I don't actually know what makes you fail or succeed in this category. Got a lot of speed here. No, I don't. I lied. This is one of the longer drives between jumps, but this jump here isn't close to anything, really. But it's close enough to not bother going here in a taxi later in the run. Kind of close to the golf course. Dang it. I'm also probably going to lose my wanted level. I didn't realize there were any cops around here. Usually I'll see a cop on my way. Plus, I only have one star. I need to see a cop so I can get two stars, or this strat won't actually have any effect, but... Okay, that's definitely not going to work. I rushed it that time. <laughs> see there? I landed on some rocks, and it didn't fail me until I actually landed further down on the hill. I have no idea why. So if I had bounced off those rocks and landed on my tires in the landing zone, it would have worked. This time, yeah. I'm going to do this the old slow way of getting a run up. That's really interesting, like, the ways it decides to either succeed or fail you. <laughs> Alright. This jump is, uh, giving me a lot of problems now. <laughs> I hit a lamppost that time. That's one of the things you're not allowed to hit. Alright, there we go. We're on the grass, no cars in sight, everything worked out. Alright, so what I was talking about earlier, getting a wanted level, I wanted to have a wanted level here and have the cops searching for me, but it didn't work out because I'm going to get a wanted level when I go on the golf course. Automatically two stars here. Um, but this, getting this wanted level here, if you already have a wanted level, doesn't restart the timer for the cops uh, to like stop looking for you. So if you're already about to lose the cops, you'll lose them immediately when you leave the golf course. It's kind of weird, but because I didn't have cops. I don't know why that didn't break. Because I didn't have cops, um, it will still take me the full amount of time. It takes about a minute as long as I stay away from them. This fence is really hard to break, but normally we have enough speed to do it with Franklin's ability and everything, so I was surprised that didn't work. This next jump can be tricky, but depending on how damaged your vehicle is, it can sometimes, because uh, it's not a proper ramp, it will sometimes fling your car forwards and you can't land on your wheels, but it wasn't a problem here. If the front end of your car is really messed up, you'll go off at a funny angle, and because you have so little time to correct, it basically makes it impossible to complete the jump. Uh, your best bet is like stealing a car from somebody doing it and then getting back in this car. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, so I've lost the cops now, so didn't actually lose any time from not doing the, uh, the cop golf strat I wanted to, but if I had still been being pursued by the cops here, which, okay, now I am because I hit a lady. Um, if I still have the cops after the next two jumps, which might not be a problem now because it's going to take me a minute to go back and get that jump, um, I would have to wait to lose them to advance to the next part of the mission. So that this jump here is another one that's just kind of RNG because I have to land on the road, really, and there's just sometimes going to be cars there, like that truck. All right, no cops on the map, even though they're looking for me, which is weird. I'm going to steer clear of this police station up here on the left and go on the road over here. This jump and ooh, cop just saw me on the highway. I'm gonna have to drive around and hide from them for a minute. It looks like because I only have one more jump left before the mission's supposed to end. Here's another parking garage. Technically, all oh, that's just a one-story one. That's the last one of the run. All right, so now I just have to stay away from the cops until I can go to this car dealership here. So if you're familiar with the regular speed run, you have to kind of wait in this alley anyway, so I'll just do that. There we go. I had no idea how long this is going to take, so I was just going to wait. Play it safe. All right. So now we finally go and finish this mission. It's going to be... Oh, I didn't shoot the gun. I should have shot the gun to only have one bullet here, so I'm going to lose like three or four seconds from reloading. It's going to be annoying. Okay, so we have to fail this three times, and for some reason, Franklin decides he needs to reload after that first shot. But if you only have one bullet, he doesn't need to reload. So I should have shot the other six bullets out of this gun. Uh, but I forgot. It's kind of a new thing. Usually we'd get a shotgun from the cops, so we could just use it instead of having to do this. Skip that, and this is the end of the mission. Quick cab to get a cab, and then the rest of these jumps are kind of really far apart, so I have to get them in taxi cabs so we can get around the map quickly. Usually I get the simian call in it. Alright. So, where do you want to so this is kind of a funny part of the run where I will continually call a cab, have it go out to the middle of nowhere, steal it from the guy, and then call another one, and they just keep sending me cabs. Uh, and just, I imagine it's destroying their business, but they do it anyways. Is this far enough? No, it is not. <laughs> That's just lazy. I was afraid I was going to go too far and hit the tree, so I let off at the last second and I didn't go far enough. No, I need more of a running start than that. Usually I don't fail quite uh, quite this many jumps, but usually you can expect to fail three or four. I failed again. This is what I was afraid of doing the first time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, pause. No, it is a fail. So there, if I'd landed on my tires, they would have said, yep, that's a uh, successful jump, even though I hit that pole head on. Like, there's no way to predict that. I don't know what makes that acceptable, but hitting that lamppost earlier was not okay. All right. This isn't even a hard jump. Why did I fail it twice? <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. Now we call the next cab. So the cab will take about 10 seconds to spawn after I hang up on the guy, and then it always spawn the direction you're not looking. So I want it to spawn over here because I want to run this way anyways. And I turned around one second too early, it's fine. There it is. It was just hiding from me. This can be tricky to find because the map hasn't been fully explored yet, so you have to kind of ping around with uh, waypoints in order to expose parts of the map. The rest of the run is kind of just managing when you're calling the cab, so you can call it before the jump, so it's ready by the time the jump's over. Hey, I need no problem. So you have to call the cab from a road, 
and you have to get back to the area that you called it from within 10 seconds or it won't show up. So you have to be kind of careful with your timing. I went a little far in this jump, but it should be okay. Yeah, there's my cat. So a lot of the run from this point on is just kind of managing the cabs. It's a little tricky. And then finding my my next jump as quickly as possible. Hey, we're here. These next few jumps are good because I don't need to cab from place to place. There's three in a row right here next to each other. This seems like the more laid back part of the run because the car goes a lot slower and there's not as much like traffic or things to run into, but it is actually for me more stressful because uh, it's easy to lose time in the taxi <laughs> for me, like fumbling around on the map and not being able to find my next spot quickly or the cab spawning in the wrong direction or when I get to the next place he's looking the wrong way. I almost felt that that would have been a disaster because it takes forever to get back up to that hill. Alright, so now I need to die again. So I need these guys to shoot me. I'm in the prison, that's why they're trying to kill me. Um, so that's the last death warp, but I'm not on a mission now, so it's just going to spawn me at the nearest hospital, which is out in Sandy Shores, and there's no car in the parking lot. So here you either get a car out of this parking lot over here that I'm looking at, or you call a cab. So he's going to send me another cab, and I'm going to steal it immediately instead of taking it somewhere. Because the next jump is nearby. One of the reasons you see me always go into the passenger side when I get in the cab... Hey, buddy, come on. Uh, it's faster to steal the cab from the passenger side, because you don't have to like drag the guy out, you just kind of punch him out. Um, so I always try to ride on the passenger side so I can just get out and get in the passenger side really quickly. This jump here is really tricky because it's hard to get enough speed for it. But this is plenty. Sometimes you land in that swimming pool, it's all dried out. This cab call here is the hardest one in the run. I usually mess it up, but we'll see. It's very timing specific and location specific. Alright, good. This is hard. I still have to get back to where I called it within 10 seconds, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And I want to look away from the road so it won't spawn somewhere weird. Let's see. There it is. It just takes a minute to find the taxi. That's a tough one to get, that, that cap call there. I'm really surprised it worked out. I was doing it earlier today. I could not get it. Right. So hey, this man, marker you? isn't actually on the road, but he shouldn't have a problem with That's it. Ride, my man. Yeah, close enough. You'll notice I have to wait until after I steal the ta uh, the cab to call the next one. They won't send me one while I'm attacking a taxi guy. But they don't care if I call them one second after I'm done attacking them. Then they're like, yeah, let's send one. Alright, let's see. I didn't look at the time when I did that. It should be here in about three seconds, though. I was early. He does not want to send my cat. Where is it? <laughs> I'm gonna call him again. Oh, it's a builder here. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a little longer, I guess. And because I called him from over here, he just stops where he's supposed to stop. He doesn't drive over to me. That's kind of annoying. That's why I want him to spawn on the other side. So he wouldn't do that. He would keep driving. This jump here can be very tricky because you have to make the phone call while you're in midair. So you don't have the luxury of being able to like see where you're going very well. You can't skip the cinematic. Okay, that counts. That's very surprising. I'm going to call him just to make sure he's sending one. Okay. 
He won't send two, so if I call him and he says no, I know this one's on its way. All right, we only have about three jumps left, so uh, this is... Well, I was going to say this is the last taxi I'm going to steal, but that's not actually true. There's another one after this. This jump here's got a funny thing about it. There's these pigeons on this bridge, and um, you can't really avoid them, so you always kill one of them. If you hit it again while you're in midair, sometimes it'll make you fail the jump. Uh, and it's just there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to hope the pigeon doesn't make you die. Or it might be a seagull, I'm not sure. But um, it'll kill the run. If you do that, it's really annoying because it's like right at the end. It's the only thing that can go wrong in that jump. Well, kind of the only thing that can go wrong. The other problem is getting up the cliff, apparently. This usually isn't an issue. Getting ready for my next cab call here. You can't call the guy while he's talking on the t cab dispatcher radio. Which is kind of funny. He, he will not answer the phone if he's talking to his employees. So if he's asking you if you want a, ride, uh, a fare and you try to call him, it'll just give you like a dial tone and say busy. Which I think is funny. I think that's a neat Whoa. way out of that. Alright. Um, this is the last jump here, so timing will stop when it says jump completed. A lot of people say that this is the hardest jump, but I don't think it actually is. Uh, it is kind of high stress, though, when you're on PV pace, but you really can't fail it unless you do something stupid, which I'm going to try to do something stupid here since my earlier showboat didn't work out with the 360. <laughs> I'm going to try to redeem myself. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> You know what? I didn't even make the save either. I was going to save so I could do this. Now I'm going to have to swim back to shore. Oh no. <laughs> it's fine. I can I can drive half that way. All right, so I'm going to we're going to do another run at this, but I'm not going to do the 360 this time. I'm just going to going to do it proper. I can't believe neither of those worked out. The first 360 I tried was working 100% of the time earlier today when I was practicing. That one was a uh that one was more of a pipe dream. I didn't think it was going to have much of a chance, but it was it was worth it. All right. Problem here is I got to wait for him to send me another cat. It's going to take a while to get it out here in the middle nope. of nowhere. So he says nope there. It sounds like he's not going to send me a cab, but he's actually saying no problem. All right, now let's wait. It can take a long time for this cab to show up for some reason. Done it before. Usually you would never be here calling a cab because the run's been dead for minutes since you failed the last jump. Is that him all the way over there? I think it is. He's on the real it road. Was, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Mountain lion almost killed me. <laughs> I hope that gunshot didn't scare off the cab. That'd be a nightmare. Oh, he's driving off, man. <laughs> oh. On its way, sir. All right, he's sending me another one. All right, let's get out to the main road here. <laughs> be ready for this next one. I was I was supposed to make a save before I did that that little 180 jump, so I could just reload and try again. But, okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He ran me over. Fun. <laughs> no, I don't want to ride. I don't want to be a passenger, Franklin. Yo! <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to hit the right on the D-pad to whistle at him, but I pulled up the phone again. It's fine. Okay, that guy did it for me, never mind. Cab drivers, man, they drive me crazy in this run. They actually cooperated most of the time. It was my own arrogance that ripped me up. Should be okay. Okay, it worked. It didn't complete for a second. Alright, that's done. God, that took I actually was minutes. very scared too. Yeah, that, that didn't work at first. It was the second time my car touched down and completed. Alright, that went that went about as poorly as I expected it could have, but but it was still fun. I'm glad I went for the uh, for both the uh, showboats, even though they didn't work out. 
But yeah, that is way to go, Franklin. Nice climbing. Oh, there's a shark over here. All right, that's the end of the run, though. So I'll say uh, shout outs to some other uh, stunt jump runners, Illuminati, who got me into running it because he beat the world record. And I thought, I won't let him have the world record. So I tried to get it. This was years ago before, uh, before good people ran the category. And then uh, shout out to Rello for doing a lot of the routing and Friendly Baron for pushing me to try to get a better time. <laughs> But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, I think we've I, got uh, Epsilon program next. Yep, that's the that's what's finishing off our uh, little celebration today is going to be Epsilon program. That should be a fun category. I've never ran that, but I've watched a couple runs of it. It's got some cool strats in it. Yeah, I'm excited. I've actually never fully seen uh, that side quest to completion, so it's going to be awesome to actually see. Yeah, it's uh, it's not something that's like that easy to even find in the game. It's not something that everyone does in their playthrough, so it should be cool to see. I do want to say a huge uh, thank you for you coming on and showcasing this run. Uh, I've also actually never seen half of these stunts up, so it was pretty <laughs> cool just to see uh, a little bit of extra of the game I haven't seen before. Uh, so thank yeah. you uh, so much for that. Um, uh, and uh, like you said, uh, we are going to take a quick break while we get uh, set for the last run of the day. I do just want to remind everybody, though, uh, that the game submissions for AGDQ 2024 are ending soon. You've got about four to five hours left to get your game submissions in. So if you uh, want to submit a game to AGDQ 2024, you should do that, like, right now <laughs> during the break. <laughs> Uh, we will see y'all in just a few minutes, everybody, for the last run of GT. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. Today, we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto V, and we have our final... I will hand it over and let everybody introduce themselves. Thanks, Church. Uh, let me start off. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I'm Rake, and... Let me say now, because it's relevant, I am the world record holder for uh, this category, Epsilon Program. Yeah. I'm back again. This time commentating. No yeah. running. Give it up yeah. front end. Uh, yeah, so one more thing I want to say before I kind of like get into the gist of explaining things. I just want to say, because there's some strats that are that were found out today. Yeah, like uh, eight hours ago. Yeah, I've got, oh, it's... Is the lighting that bad? Do I should I take off the cap? It's gonna be bad either way. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, because of those strats, technically you're gonna see a world record attempt live. So yeah, we should uh, go ahead and get into it. So we're gonna start our prologue. So as soon as I uh, hit restart, the timer will run. And basically, our goal is to get through the entire Epsilon program side quest chain. Starting from yeah. prologue and then going to unknowing the truth. Yeah, an Epsilon program is a series of side missions only available for Michael. Yeah, so mo uh, the first 15 minutes it's going to be spent unlocking Michael, and then from there we'll get into some very yeah. fun stuff with lots of fun glitches. Yeah, th this category went through a lot of changes. Oh, yeah, it's definitely had its uh, glow up. But yeah, let's yeah. just jump right into it. Uh, three, two, one, let's go. So yeah, just standard prologue. Uh, yeah, time. you cannot escape it. Yeah. <laughs> Run miscellaneous category, or other miscellaneous categories, if you want to escape it. But yeah, this is going to play out literally the same as the other two times. Yeah, the, the first three missions are going to be the same as the the classic round, and the, yeah. yeah, the classic round. Thankfully, we don't have to do Tanya and Chop, though. We'll be yeah. skipping those. Yeah, like I said, the first goal of like first 60 minutes to, is to unlock Michael. Because that's like the earliest you can get him. Yeah, it's just running in first person. 
I wonder if I should, uh, I know it's theoretically faster to jump in first person there, right? But it only it saves like a tiny frames. bit of time. Oh, frames. Like frames. All right, I'm not learning it then. All right, time for the first skill check of the run. See if I can uh, avoid killing Michael. <laughs> Pick it slow then. No. I never take it slow. I'm gonna go fast. World record attempts unnamed. Oh World yeah, right. XD. In before the best car collection. I'm the They're out of time. Mm -hmm. so All right. Next up is the, uh, I guess Michael push to skip uh, one line of Brad's dialogue. Probably not gonna get it, but we'll see. Ah, barely missed Almost. it. Yeah, Miner's tried to save like two seconds when Brad just doesn't play his dialogue. Come on. Alright, I'm already skill issuing. Well, that's the kind of gameplay you get after I uh, stay up watching nine hours of GTA content. Tab movement here. Making sure I don't uh, trigger return to the crew too early. Because I don't want a mission fail. Oh, I got both of them. Nice. Alright. So, last time I was here at GDQ Hotfix, I was running Trevor Percent. And I failed the uh, prologue skip. It's time to redeem myself. I feel confident. I'm going to pull this off this time. So basically, what I'm going to do is, it's a checkpoint abuse, where basically I'm going to mission fail at the end of this drive, like as soon as I get the checkpoint, but before the cut prologue cutscene plays, allowing us to skip it. Because the retry puts us after the cutscene. Let's see how that goes. Very nice. Fast stop there. Yeah, that's a good jump. Sometimes weird happen can be weird. Yeah. That uh, stop is a little inconsistent. Nice! That's it. Yeah, should work. Hey, nice. I'm so proud of myself for pulling that off on a marathon. Yeah, like, like yeah. it skips like a 40 second cutscene. Yeah. Well, it saves 40 seconds, so I think it's even longer. Like, yeah, maybe, maybe like it's closer longer, to a minute know. or 50 seconds. Wait, the, the usual times on Prog are like 5.13 now from like what? 6.07, 6.09. Yeah, like 40 seconds ish. Yeah, something around that. I really, I really wanted to show off this GTA Marathon hat, but if I wear it, the lighting on my face is awful, so I'm gonna have to forego it. Well, it's somewhat visible then. Hmm. Our Lord was crucified with the we can hide the rum with it. There we go. How's that? Oh shit! My back is still covering it. Under the chalkboard. Uh, yeah, good idea. Let me see if I can do that really quickly before uh, the next mission starts. Okay, I think that'll hold. Quick uh, Twitch prediction. Will the hat fall by the end of the run? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, on to uh, Franklin and Lamar. Yeah. I guess no point really going over the driving glitches. Might just mention the 
the usual using of break boosts and Franklin's power to go fast. But not too fast to not lose Lamar. Yeah, I think I've got this uh, drive down after four years of doing it. So yeah, break boost, uh, power, and power break boost. That was kind of weak, but it'll do. Break. Slowly curve around here. Avoid the car. <sighs> oh well. That just means I can afford to uh, break boost a little more further on. Yeah, there is a small randomness on, on this, despite all of the traffic being basically scripted. Ah, <sighs> like that. It doesn't help that because I slowed down everything's like, differently positioned than I'm used to. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. So yeah, between all these mistakes, I'm probably losing like 5 seconds. There we go, get a fat break boost and hopefully I won't lose Lamar. I think as long as I slow down on the final turn, I should be okay. Uh, he's really close. Can yeah, maybe I can even power on Almost it. full speed. Might as well. Oh wow, I'm getting some weird stutters. Oh well, I'll deal with it. For some reason, you have to power twice there when turning out or else, uh... You'll have trouble losing the cops on this drive. Yeah, unless you do a different exit, but the different exit is inconsistent. Yeah. Sometimes the, the cops will just reapply on you and loses like four seconds, I think. Yeah, not worth it. I'd rather just have consistency. Anyway, if you spam X here, right, uh, you can kind of make where Franklin just kind of shift forward and back like that. It's kind of goofy looking. Uh, by holding the character switch wheel up, I can uh, delay Jimmy's dialogue and skip Simeon's. Saves a few seconds. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of like dialogue oriented stats. Yeah. For example, Calling 911 here to uh, skip Mars dialogue. Yeah, this game really likes waiting on dialogues to finish to progress yeah. level up. Hello. Ooh, had to power quite a bit there to uh, slow down. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up? Can a low come up in your car? Yeah, Franklin and down. Yeah. Two more main missions to go. Yep. So yeah, just we working through the garage door there. Work. Get a mid-drive, brake boost here. Do not get screwed over oh, that by was that a SUV. I know, right? Just came out of nowhere. Yeah, sometimes you cannot notice a car being there. Yeah, that was just bad luck, but I handled it. Punch there to... Start the mission faster. So good to see you. So good. Let's go to Best Future. Magellan. And you still rolling with that old raggedy ass here? Run this way to get Lamar into the bullet faster. Yeah. Anyway, upcoming are uh, some nice Lamar pushes. We'll see how well I can handle that. But in the meantime, just a fast drive with a few brake boosts. Should not have gone for that one. Slow down a little here, so I uh, don't land on the sidewalk on the other side of the road. Yeah, bad things happen. Bad things happen if you carry too much speed into the jump. Ah, oh, thought I had that. Tattoo on his face and shit. Might should be in one of the lockups down here. Should 
Alright, after Omar pushes. Basically, I'm gonna get, like, right up in his, uh, back. And I'm gonna spam, uh, the sprint and, uh, double E keys. And if I do it right, Omar should just kind of work forward. Come on. You might have trouble really when you have the stutters. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking about it's, that. It's it's really FPS dependent. Yeah. Oh, I got a little one there. Come on, let me get one big one. Yeah, I can't get any longer than like a foot or two. Whatever. And then we punch Lamar to uh, skip the rest of his dialogue. Yeah, it triggers the the, the mission progression faster. Because you don't have to wait on the dialogue to end. Because as always, yeah. the game Climbing waits on dialogue. Climbing over uh, immediately spawns in all the enemies, so I can just clear them out. Get a ton of them with that tanker. Ooh, I had to use my entire magazine on them. One more tab movement. And now I should be able to shoot the guy off his bike. Ah, oh, sometimes he can pick it up uh, before it falls. Yeah, just, just get on, on it as it drives. Yeah. It looks really smooth. Oh, it's amazing when you get it. And it's not insanely hard. Yeah, Go but for it in your own I casual run, slow. I think sometimes can be random. Maybe. Oh, I think it's just I, I dependent like... on your position and the speed of the bike. Yeah. Sometimes the bike can be a bit too fast and you yeah. just like... Ooh, that SUV detach. almost uh, messed me up. Yeah, that was... Still a... got the jump, though. <laughs> kind not of gonna... nasty traffic spawn. Not gonna try and do a double flip like... Uh, the last GT or GDQ hotfix. <laughs> <laughs> gonna try and stay out of the highlights when it comes to fails like that. <laughs> yeah. And all the... Now the changes compared to Classic Ground will start because instead of going to Tanya, we're just gonna go to Complications. To unlock Michael. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna try and park close. Whoops. I like to just try and walk in between the hedge and the... There we go. Capping my frames to 60, so, uh... My game doesn't fail here. And this is a controversial take, but I actually prefer to take the bullet here, because, uh... Oh yeah, the bullet is so much better. I know, right? I feel like people are in the past were saying, Oh no, don't take the bullet, it's not worth it. I never got that. I, I think the position is even better than the, than the Telgator. Yeah, it's a little more convenient. And like, it's a supercar, um, like, it's gotta be better, right? Yeah, definitely. And yeah, we cut the frame rate there because if the frame rate is too high, one of the cars slides and it mission fails by spooking by hitting Simeon. Simeon, yeah. I think it just slammed into him basically. <laughs> yeah, it just like probably slides and makes him ragdoll or something. Very fast climb into the house there. Yeah. Skipped a line of dialogue, basically. Can go into third person and jump there. That's a nine millimeter semi yeah. And now we just have a normal drive back to the uh, dealership. And this will be the last time we play as Franklin for the run. Yeah. Unless we yes. find a way to OMO it. <laughs> <laughs> After that, the fun begins. Yeah. The real run. Yeah. Lost control there. Yeah, it can happen with this car. It kind of drives like a nice. Yeah, average American SUV moment. 
My finger's on the trigger, dipshit. Don't worry. Just farm if he break boost to get back up to speed and try and take a decent turn here, which got yeah. immediately ruined by that uh car. Yeah, I Whatever. ideally you arrive at the dealership before the dialogue even ends. Or right about when it ends. Yeah, something around that. So you don't lose time because the dialogue has to end. Yeah, the dialogue kind of gives you a lower bound of uh, how quickly you can do that part of the mission. Can can I get fast punches, please? Alright, I'm just going to have to resort to kicking, because apparently fast punches aren't working. Very embarrassing. Okay, now they work. Very <laughs> cool. Hey, All right. the fun begins. Yeah. Step so one, first... find a bike. Yeah, the, this is step one, find the bike and complete the, the I guess, the survey on Keyflom, on the Epsilon page. So the first no, I do that later. Is found, you do that later? Okay. So yeah, I, I guess the first thing is finding so. the bike. Yeah, step oh, one, I find the bike. Hey, there's one. Uh, I gotta run it over in order to get it. Ooh, that looks like a good bike for this uh, part. That's an Akuma. Yeah. That's a good bike. Oh yeah, very great uh, RNG. Yeah. But yeah, I can't shoot the guy off the bike here because uh, it's basically guaranteed cops and that would uh, make it impossible to do this next step. Which is step two. Dupe uh, the C4 spawn down here uh, five times. Now, how do you yeah. dupe C4? The answer is director mode, but not like the director mode we saw earlier. Instead, I'm just going to go into it, or try to, and then uh, have it immediately kick me out. Kind of like with unnamed's uh, Omo setup. And then that will yeah, spawn in the C4 really quickly. You try to launch it as you get on the bike and it kicks you out for being in a vehicle, but it also makes the C4 respawn yeah. immediately instead of or after like, this, like cap FPS, uh, I think one in game hour, which is keep it slow. So that's one, yeah, two, and that can be only, I think, only done with Three. a bike. That's uh, why it's okay. This is what you don't want to happen. I uh entered yeah. director mode too early. But it's not but an issue. It still spawns a C4. It's just uh, like a 20 second time loss. Yeah, so I just need five more C4. Alright, get off the bike to pick it up one more time. And we're off. Okay, nice. Now we're going to go collect 100,000 US dollars. Unlocked. Yeah, because in this category, you need like around what, 90,000? Like almost close Something to like 100,000. Uh, in total, you donate uh, $15,500. You spend $25,000 on the suit. Uh, we spend yeah, about you need 50000 for the last mission. Yeah, 50000 for the last mission, yeah. And then you spend another $5,000 on weapons. We'll talk about yeah. that later. Yeah, basically, there is a bit of money requirement for this category, too. Yeah. So Thankfully, there's a briefcase over here with $25,000, and we're going to dupe it four times. Yeah, this time using the mission replays. Yeah, because it's underwater, you can't really do director mode. At least I don't think you can. I don't think you can. You would have to swim up and, and reload. Even with, like, pause pen UDM? I don't know. Probably oh, well. something we should try it one day. I could try it right now. I mean, if you want. Yeah, why not? It's hardly a detour. Yeah, so we yeah, dive gonna... into some random place in the ocean. Can't DM it all in the water? All right, big submarine with the, the, with the briefcase. Yeah, so... We're just gonna start complications. Yeah, we're just gonna just start the complications replay and instantly leave it. And that will respawn the, the briefcase. Yeah, and we can just do this at nauseum until we have enough money. Oh, Twister said we can DM in water. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I didn't even try. Take his word for it. Okay, that's the second briefcase. Whoops. For a race, what? What? You don't like me? No. All right, just gotta do this one more time, and we should have enough money to complete the run. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll get into that. Uh, stock RNG is a thing. Because basically, we're going to die a lot during this run. And to keep ourselves from losing money because of hospital fees, we're going to put all our money into stocks. Yeah, because every time you die, you pay, I think, like 10% of your current money up to 5,000. 
But since we need a lot of money for this category, we cannot lose it. Like, at yeah, all. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, and we're going to combine this last load back into the game with a save warp. Yeah. To uh, immediately get us back to the house. Just kind of killing two birds with one stone. And that's the one neat thing with also leaving the mission replay that you can save warp. Oh, yeah. Without the save. That's the real Michael's house now. And conveniently, well, the bullet also spawns. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do the survey while Michael boots up the car. Yeah, and that you can skip through that survey. It doesn't really matter what you pick, I think. Yeah. Just to spawn the next mission. The actual start of the, the Epsilon strand. Yeah, this is where the fun begins. Yeah, now for a bit of a long drive through like half of the map to get Basically, to the mission. Basically, yeah. Not really anything you can do to skip it, sadly. Unless we had taxis, TF. <laughs> or somehow set up the new warp. Yeah, I was wonder brainstorming if you could like new warp uh, back to like the beach location, but uh, the glitch doesn't persist through like loading save files. And on top of that, uh, you have to reload the game to uh, dupe the seat or the uh, yeah to dupe the money. So, oh, right. yeah. no dice. So yeah, just a fairly simple drive. Not much to it, just a couple of break- not even too many break boosts. Yeah, they're probably hard to spot on this drive, but they do Yeah, exist. like this one are about here, but I don't think I have the speed to go for it. Should be one right here. I think I got it. Hard to tell. Didn't see the uh, tire tracks that are the usual indicator. One here. There we go. Got a tiny one. Next one is probably at this gas station, but I'm not going to go for it because I don't want too much speed. Going to have to make a hard turn. Going to fling ourselves over this railing as well to just make a little shortcut. Slow it up for this turn. Hit a little mid-drive. And we're basically on the last stretch now. Yeah. This category will have a bit of driving because the missions are really spread out around. Yeah, and you don't really have a fast way of traveling between four to them. The best we can do is save warping and... Uh, Occasionally death warping. Yeah. <sighs> it's been a long day today. I surely have been. Yeah, there's our uh, Epsilon mission marker. Which is basically just a cutscene. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stop like right outside, we're right on the edge of its activation range. And during the activation part, I'm going to switch into first person so I can uh, use the phone faster. Because we're going to have to do our first stop manipulation and donation. Oh yeah, you can like use the phone options a bit faster when you are in first person for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, so after this mission, we need to donate 500 bucks and also invest the money in stocks. Yeah, so investing or donating first and then off to the stock market. Just buy a random stock, one share to make sure the game doesn't eat my stocks and then quickly toggling the price filter to uh, buy the most expensive stock of the game. Then we're going to kill ourselves to pass time. Oh, yeah, we are also, we, we, therefore, we also use the online switch again. But this time it's to stop the wasted screen. It, it saves around, a, I think, a second or two on every death. Something like but that. But it also, it also applies this weird gray filter. Yeah, for like I call it death. GTA 4 mode. Yeah, I think everybody that runs 5 just call it like that. Yeah, save warping here to get back to Michael's house. Uh, this is for two reasons. One, we're going to go sleep in Michael's bed to pass another six hours. 
to get the mission to finally spawn. And then secondly, it puts us pretty close to uh, the next mission. The next mission, which is some little shack in uh, Vinewood, but like Eastern Vinewood. So we've still got a bit of a drive. So yeah, sleeping once should be good. Now, I have to run out through the garage, because if I were to run out through the front door, it would uh, trigger father-son, which is a mission we don't need to do. Also, if you enter yeah. it and fail it, you lose all your C4, which we desperately need. I'm also yes. going to be look at, uh, looking out for a car uh, that would be relevant here, because I might be able to set up a replay glitch with it. Uh, sadly, I don't see anything, so... Just gonna set it up here with uh, Michael's car, and we'll use that to warp back to uh, Los Santos. Oh, I just saw a Serrano, which is something we needed, but whatever. I set up the glitch already. Not gonna bother. Yeah, we're gonna use that to warp back to Los Santos after we complete a couple more missions. Yeah, this is the same glitch that was used in Classic, but to remind, basically, when you start and cancel a replay, like try to start and then cancel. Ah. That's not what I meant to do. What's the like a glitch in the game where you can warp to the same place you set it up as? You just need to make sure your last car you you driven is destroyed or dispawned. I or threw a C4 just have on to my switch characters. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I threw a C4 on my car here because uh, I'm gonna use this to death warp. Yeah, now now Drake is gonna drive to like the edge of a death warp zone where we where it will put him on the hospital in Sandy Shorts. Yeah, we'll be reusing that, uh, like, replay glitch one more time in the run. Yeah, the start that was fun, like, eight hours ago. Well, not that one. The no, one I just did one. was, uh, when I devised, uh, when the replay yeah, I mean was the later discovered, one, like but I, the later one, yeah, that was discovered, yeah. like, a few hours ago. But it's yeah. really simple, so might as well do it to showcase. And we yeah, so the border, default zone so... is around here. And yeah, again, online switch and just destroying yourself in the black screen. Skips the wasted screen. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Yeah, so Next now step. we're going to call the cab. Uh, and again, donate money, and I guess we need to get that money from the stocks. Yeah, so I'll pull out like 12 or 13 shares. That should be enough. And then we just go ahead and handle the donation while we wait for the cab to arrive. Oh, nope, need one more share. It's, it's a really nice amount of money. Where's my cab? Probably gonna drive around a bit. It should have spawned by now. I don't see it. Uh, I'm just gonna take this. Oh, there it is. Okay. It just spawned super late. Yeah, maybe maybe go to the like right side, to the intersection instead of like towards the barber next time. Well, it usually works. Come on, steal the cat, Michael. For, for me, the, the intersection worked better, I think. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you would have to check for yourself. Maybe he just spawned the road on the on on the right. And had to drive around a bit. So yeah, uh next Epsilon mission, which is going basically gonna be again a cutscene. But I think this one triggers the car collection. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this one. So yeah. yeah, after this cutscene so... it's gonna be the most RNG heavy part of the run. Like, you yeah, can we easily need... lose several minutes here. <laughs> yeah, you need to collect five vehicles for Epsilon. Uh, two of them I, we are always taking from the pre-spawn pre because they are basically don't spawn in traffic at all. And three of them spawn in traffic, and that's where you're going to get them because the preset spawns are just too far away. Yeah. Yeah, and this is basically the most RNG-heavy part of this run. Like Rake said... Or should I say Zolag? What? Your 
Yeah, so now we just gotta... Where's my cab? There it is. Yeah, we just gotta drive out of here, and then... In order for that, uh... Warp to work, I gotta... Suicide real quick as well. To destroy the cab, actually. Well, I'm gonna have to use something to destroy the car, so I might as well, uh... Oh, I might maybe as well, it also uh, pass some time. Of time if, it, if it matters, yeah. Yeah, so now that the last driven car is destroyed and the glitch is like still active, you just need to reload the game and we'll warp him to the place where yeah. the glitch was set up. This normally we would have in the past we would have save warped here, but uh this saves having to exit the house. Yeah, and get the car again. I mean Big either way, I'm still in Michael's sedan, so but if I were yeah. to uh, have taken a Serrano or something earlier before. Yeah, so now the search begins. Yeah, the, so the three the random cars working for the Serna uh, Serrano, the Diamond, and the Tornado. Yeah, Tornado is that like any of them. old shit box. Serrano I mean, is, a, is a, a Diamond. And the Diamond, I don't even know how to describe the Diamond. It's another piece of garbage. I think it's okay. like a There's the uh, old... Tornado. Oh, though. yeah, that's a Tornado. That's the Without a doubt. Sports classic. Yeah, right. Surely. More like sports relic. I think the Super Diamond is a Rolls Royce ripoff. Yeah, that sounds right. Doesn't stop it from sucking, though. And yeah, all these vehicles need to be delivered to the same garage, and they cannot be like too damaged, and you cannot have a wanted level. Yeah, so it's really important I avoid where I commit as few crimes as possible here. Because it's very easy to uh, get a wanted level just doing what we're doing here. And also, if you get really lucky, you can get a, at least one of these vehicles. Oh, the I get a Serrano. Oh, wow. Now. Okay, uh, I don't think I can juggle these two cars, so... Wait, maybe you could set up the replay warp in the... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Or no, no, I set it up here because I'm already in it. So... Yeah, because delivering it will despawn this car. Hopefully. And then, where's Kid Estate Area? I'm going to see if it might not despawn. If I keep looking at it. Worst case scenario, I just have to do a little bit of running. This is scuffed. Uh, it will despawn, I think. Alright. Because it, it will always, almost always despawn the car you are not driving anymore. Yeah. I guess Unless it's too this far. Unless despawns the... the... I'm just gonna assume it uh despawned. This will reload the spawn table anyway to uh get me a better chance of getting the diamond. A strat again. Yeah, just messing around at this point. Wait, maybe it's worth to set it up on the double T and then go for something else. Oh wait, maybe. Okay, yeah. Oh, so it works. Good. Nice. Yeah, that's well, that's I mean, a it was nice find. Either way, it's a nice find during a marathon. Not bad for improvisation. Calling a cab here to make sure I have some sort of vehicle at some point so I can move on to uh, collecting yeah. more cars. So we're yeah, two random that's... vehicles down. Yeah, I only need one more in the traffic and two of the and uh, the two remaining are gonna be from preset spawns. Maybe you could get double T, but it would be insanely lucky. I've never seen a double T on the road before. I guess it's only on the highways then. Probably. Yeah, still no sign of any diamonds. Hopefully this doesn't cause us any issues. And I knocked over the bike. Whoops. Only a slight time loss. Yeah, th this bike is uh, is one of the priest spawns that always happens here. But that's a diamond. Oh, I missed it. All right, it should be in the spawn table at least. So, yeah, sure, we'll see another. Okay, I was just kind of hyper focused on getting this back to the garage. Or maybe I'm just starting to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I guess try to go for a back, huh? Ah, oh, <laughs> well, that, that happens a lot. Nice. I know, right? Man, that... oh. Guess I'll steal this. Or maybe set up the warp on Vaka and go for Super Diamond? Uh, I don't think that's worth it. Or do the other way around? No, definitely not the other way around. Yeah, I guess if you notice the diamond area, it would be worth to set up the warp. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's the diamond. This guy is actually really terrible to drive. Oh yeah, this thing is awful. Might be worse than the tornado. And that pedestrian just said she was gonna call the police. Hopefully that's maybe, not actually the maybe case. Maybe she would despawn in time. I'm hoping. Because if I get police, I'm gonna be very sad. If you get police, I wonder if you could set up a warp replay glitch like next to the garage and go for another vehicle. Most Might not likely. be a bad backup. I'll try that next time I get cops on uh, this section in a run. Okay, last vehicle left, which is... And let's go. I managed to yoink the uh, quick spawn. The cock get. Yeah, the last vehicle is also a set spawn, and it doesn't even happen in traffic, so there's not even point for looking for it. In the whole, like, game, it only appears two times. <laughs> one on Epsilon and one on Meltdown. Yeah. It's Unless a shame there isn't it. any way to carry it over from uh, Meltdown in all missions, where we all have yeah. to do this car collection. <laughs> Great use of quotes. <laughs> Despawn the weakness. Weaknesses, yeah. Uh, I mean, yes. That's how it feels like sometimes when they when they call the cops and they don't appear. I, they yeah, that's despawn. probably what's happening, right? Like I can't think of any other explanation. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and steal this car now because I want it for after I deliver. Just scare this guy out. I guess it's close enough to where it won't despawn. Oh, he will steal it back. No! And the vehicle's too damaged. I gotta switch to Franklin and back. Yeah. Ah, backup strats. Yeah, switching uh, away and back just fixes the car fully. Usually I'll skip does. the car kill, skip the car kill. Yeah. Hopefully this works. It's somehow a scripted switch. Alright, we're good. Okay. And that's car collection done. Yeah, not very good. Okay, good. At least these, uh... These minis stopped. And it's a decent car. Okay, and we another need to go back to Sandy Shores again. Which means death another time. Long, another drive and the death warp. Go ahead and break this window now. And yeah, again, just driving to the edge of the death warp zone to walk to the correct hospital. Yeah, there's the email that signifies we've completed car collection. Fun fact, it always comes in exactly a minute after you've uh, delivered the last car. Shit. And right around here. So yeah, just gonna call another cab. 
and pull out some more money, but we're not going to donate it until after the next mission. I can go ahead and just sell it all. Because we'll deposit the rest later. Or the stuff we don't use. Not going to die anytime soon. <sighs> I'm really uh, failing it tonight, aren't I? Yeah, sometimes it's probably not worth jumping into the taxi. Is that going to happen? Hmm. <laughs> jumping into moving vehicles is bad. I would have never figured that out. Yeah, just another little drive around the uh, Alamo Sea. And we, are, we will actually get to play a mission now, instead of a cutscene. Yeah, the first of three actual missions in this chain. Although this one is awful. It's literally just running around with an yeah, scanner like and scanning like shoes and stuff. Trash. Yeah. Running simulator. Yeah, you can't even run in first person because it uh, slows you to a walk. Got to do the whole thing in third. Gross. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, the only movement tech here is basically just run around the bushes because they'll slow you down. And that's it. Yeah, and the, the artifacts are always in the same position, so... No, I mean, no need to even use the, the, the device. Yeah, just turn your brain off real quick. Cry at all your time lost from the previous section. All right, one more item to scan. We get to do a little bit of jumping here due to the uh, steep, uh, steep terrain. I was gonna say. Ridiculous! Like I don't have anything better to do. I heard that you're being an antithesis again. Yeah, if only we could use first person, it would be so much better. It would be a little better. Come on, then, little flash. I don't think it would be much better. All right, I'm gonna stand on this stump because it's funny. Yeah, and after the mission, I think it's like ten thousand donation, yeah. and so then the save one to the site. Uh, donation five k, back out five k. That counts as ten k donation and save work. Now, because of how things despawn when you do save warp, uh. When I finish this, Spyfall's going to fall a few uh, feet while he loads back into the safe house. It doesn't do anything to make the run faster, but I think it's funny to look at. Well, Yeah. Anyway, to pass more time, I'm just going to sleep three times. Yeah, sleeping with Michael, I think the progress is six hours. Yeah, six. And it actually, the, the time actually differs per character. Yeah, Michael is 6, Franklin is 8, and Trevor is 12. Don't ask me why I know that. Alright, off to the next mission. Burning the truth. Real quick, I'm going to call a blimp. You'll see why in a bit. Nah, it's not useful. Just a meme. Yeah. Yeah, another mission that's just going to be a cutscene. And that's it. There is a dialogue skip you can do at the, like, for the, at the very beginning, but uh, the last time I did it, Hostel yelled at me to never do it again, because apparently it can soft lock you.
Wait, actually, couldn't you set up another replay warp after the car collection for this? Could. To not warp. Well, actually, no. You do have to. Uh, you have to go back in the house, so probably not worth it. Oh yeah, I have to sleep. Right, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, this all just triggers uh go ahead and buy the robes. To buy the robes for 25k. And go to deposit the rest of my money. I mean crap. I need to turn around here, so I'm just gonna quickly do a little turning in place. Okay. Sounds lying. We are actually gonna use the blimp. Yeah, blimp strat is back, baby! Yeah, to some degree. Yeah, it's a lot easier, and... Well, is it easier? Oh yeah, it's much easier. Oh. It, any idiot, including me, can do it with a little practice. Yeah, I guess. That being said, I am going to make a safety save. Because if oh, I explode, yeah, it's uh, very bad. Yeah, because Blimp is an easily accessible flying vehicle in the beginning of the game. We need to fly to one of the cranes on the construction site to get the parachute. Yeah, and we're gonna land right on the crane. With the blimp. Yeah, it's just gonna fly up to uh, a thousand feet because that's coincidentally exactly how high up the crane is. I don't even know. The, more but the know blimp them. is a bit terrible to steer sometimes. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a chunky boy. It's it's hard to turn it. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get a turn going nice and early. My reference is usually like I think after this uh three, two, one, right about now. Make the save by the way. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make it when I get closer. Yeah, we'll explain where the parachute will be later. Go ahead and save right around there. Yeah, so we got to line up nice and perpendicular to this crane right here. You can see the parachute. Yeah. And we're just, just going to land it. right on top. Oh, uh, a little back. I think that should do. Got it. Okay, nice. And cyborg. Yeah. And sleep again. Four times. So, because the student yeah. of you would have seen an email saying, the Epsilon ropes have been ordered. Please wait 24 hours for delivery. It's literally just wait 24 hours. In game. Oh god, imagine what? if you had to wait 24 hours in real life. <laughs> I'd be uh I would be uh, manipulating my system clock immediately. Yeah, just sleep for times to progress a day. And you actually have to leave the room oh, after yeah. that for the robes to actually get delivered magically. All right, one more sleep. So yeah, as the name said, we're just going to go right out the door and immediately turn around. And put on the ropes. And now we have to wear the ropes for 21 days. We're going to do but... that or by killing yeah, ourselves over speed it and up over a bit. again. Yeah. Uh, because I'm down the C4, I'm going to run over to Michael's car real quick and blow it up. Yeah. Every two devs advances a day. Yeah, we're also going to make use of that uh, online switch thing a lot more. So get ready for a few minutes of uh, GTA 4 mode. And just dying. Yeah, there isn't really a faster way to skip the 10 days in-game days of wearing the robes. 
Yeah, the best you could theoretically do is set up an Omniscient Zero glitch to uh, skip the needing to switch to online, but I don't know how that compares in speed, and you'd lose a lot of time uh, setting up that state, obviously. Yeah. So not worth it unless you can checkpoint transfer to uh, the next mission, Bearing the Truth. Nice rain, by the way. Oh, he's gonna get skipped. Oh yeah, for sure. Although that's some pretty big thunder. Oh, yeah, I think it's already over. <laughs> Alex is jealous of our uh, rain dispersing skills. <laughs> and yeah, every now and then there's gonna be a prompt above the minimap saying how many days we've worn the robes. Yeah. See if we can get a funny uh, ragdoll pose for Michael. Sometimes he can get something real goofy like him sticking his butt out at the camera. And yeah, that's basically all the. C4 duping was mostly for. Yeah. We killed ourselves 21 times. Yeah. I think the alt was just sleep through this. Sleep? But, yeah. I, I oh, think so. Oh god, no. That sounds awful. Because what other way there was of progressing time? Surely they would have figured out the C4 thing sooner. But being desperate enough to sleep. All right, about halfway done. Yeah, I figured C4 was pretty much from the start. No way it wouldn't be. So I didn't quite get the online then, but I think uh, because I kind of half hit it, uh, it kind of did a faster wasted screen than usual. Wow, twice in a row. Oh, yeah. It does a bit faster, but... Yeah, but I think due to low times, it's just as slow as uh, normal suicide. Yeah, all the dying is to progress the in-game timer for for a mission. Kind of finish, because we are kind of like doing a mission to some degree. Ah, uh, Michael almost landed on the bench. Trees talk, but oh yeah, sometimes you get the occasional dialogue from Michael, and I didn't drop the C4. Very cool. Happens. Yeah, you get the occasional skill issue when doing this so many times in a row. All right, last suicide. Nice. The pain is almost over. There we go. Yeah, there we We've go. worn him for 10 days. All Too right, many. let's get driving. See if I can grab this nice sports car. Come on. Yeah, I... Nice. Yeah. I really want to get something fast and then try to go for a bike. Because we are gonna go for another drive. Yep. Through half of the map. I see a bike up ahead. Let's see if we can catch up. And hopefully, it's not a uh, piece of garbage. What is that? Oh, that's, that's a, a chopper. chopper. Forget that. Yeah, no, I'm not that taking that. That won't do it. That won't uh, do it. I think the heck, heck not another chopper i think oh not the chopper spawn table oh no there's still a chance oh yeah we've got plenty of time to find a bike because we're driving all the way up to the military base yeah because the next mission is is there which is probably gonna be one of the worst oh uh, that's a good ah oh, there's no. another one <laughs> yeah now what is this? Alright, that'll do. 
Yeah, that's a Raffion. That will definitely make it. Yeah, so we hunt for a bike because with the bike you can jump over the highway railing from the bridge to get to the mission like a lot faster. Yeah. Also on the way, we're going to stop at an ammunition and uh, pick up some weaponry. We need a micro SMG and uh, so man. as much ammo as we can afford for it. Or as we can fit in our inventory, I should say. Um, not a sticky bomb, so I don't need to buy any grenades. Dodge and weave traffic. Pull up my phone and pull out about... Ah. Whoops. There we go. I might be low on money. I think that was a 15% stock uh, price drop. So... Oops. We might have to go search for some more money. Hmm. Maybe it'll be enough, who knows. Usually have a little bit of money buffer. Maybe for safety you can take it out earlier. To see take if what? you have 50k. Take it out earlier after the death warps to see if you still to if, to see if you have 50k. What will even be the best time for me to pick up more money if I don't? I should check before that point. Uh what even is the money? Well the money's like over in the ocean, uh like near the golf club or uh, tennis courts, like where you kill uh, Wei Chang. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that I one. know the, that times. one, but there's there's also different. Oh, I don't know any cases. of the others. Like I know there's the, one like at, around the docks where you go with monkey mosaics around. Oh, what, like after DLG? No, no, no. I, I won't really explain this place. All right. Okay. If I run out of money, I'll just go back to the place where I got it in the first place. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so really great mission just flying the plane to the airport. Yeah. Exit 7k. Yeah, but that one's further away than the uh, money I was thinking of. But I know the one you're talking about, the old Epsilon route. Anyway, we're going to fly over the military base, but but uh, even though it's turbo illegal, uh, we're going to lose the one that starts before we get to our destination, so it's fine. Yeah, and for some reason the jets don't spawn either, so you, can, you won't be shut down. They might only send like police helis, but they... Uh, yeah, they really do send up. police helis, so if I get respotted, we'll be in trouble. Anyway, just flying up to 900 feet to uh, get a little bit of a speed boost. Make sure I'm on the right course, so it's a little veering to the left. Yeah, and remember about the new strut. Yeah. Surely I won't forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so after this we've got just two more missions. Once a cutscene followed us by running five miles in the desert. Kappa. You'll see what I mean by Kappa. <laughs> and then after that it's the final mission on Knowing the Truth, where we steal two and a half million dollars from a cult. Based. But why not deliver it? Because it's slower. <laughs> but you would get a really nice vehicle for it. What is with your you and your obsession with tractors today, Unnamed? I don't know. Brain rot moment. Yeah, slightly overshot where I wanted to land, but whatever. Kiflam, bro. Yeah, so 
guess basically time for the new strat that was found a few hours ago. Yeah. I think I can... I wonder if I can just bail out and die this way. Nope. No, you have to destroy the vehicle. Okay. Oh, well, no, I'm gonna die either way, so... Uh... Whoops. Hmm. I guess you could use the C4 and then blow up yourself with a gas station. Oh yeah, the gas station is the thing. Well, I'm, I've already run this far. I am basically back at the car, which I'll use to blow myself up. Yeah, I guess that's the best way. Pull it up from the right side, I usually do it on the left. I mean, the, like the no. gas tank. Yeah, the gas tank has to be on the on the left. Yeah, so dying two times through us, bump, huh? No, oh, continue. I was just gonna say, die two times to uh, spawn the next mission. Yeah. Hello, officer. Bye, officer. Wait, where'd the- yeah, Oh, just... there it is, it's just behind Michael. Yeah, I just wanted to say that you can shoot a bit faster with pistol when you spawn oh, yeah, the stealth spam crouch. Yeah, speaking of reloading a save to uh, activate the glitch. Come on. Sometimes uh, this game likes to hang on uh, menus and just crunch down to like yeah, 10 frames per second. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, now we're back over here. Come on. Yeah, instead of looking for a random car and just driving, we can do this. It's actually a pretty nice save, especially that we get a pretty decent car. Yeah, and time for running in the desert. No, with a bit of a, with a, bit of a, a twist. Yeah, there's a reason we bought this SMG and picked up that parachute. I think other than saying that, I'm going to let the uh, strat speak for itself. Yeah. It's more fun that way. Yeah, so the game expects us to run like five kilometers or no, it's eight kilometers or five miles. Yeah. In the desert. But yeah, I really have oh. to do is this. Wait. Like. Do I have to run into the ladder? No, I think that's the. This is the one where you go from the bottom. Yeah, I thought so too. But there we go. I'm doing this wrong. Uh oh. Reload the save. Reload the save. Oh yeah. For a moment I thought I was gonna have to cheat. No. Yeah, I just reload. realized my muscle memory is screwed. I forgot how to do this. Yeah, fortunately the replay bug persists on save files, so it has like infinite uses. I'm choking so hard, I legit forgot what uh where you shoot on the parachute and which keys you hold. It's been a long day for everybody, it's understandable. Yeah. Doesn't help I haven't practiced this part in a bit. <laughs> I spent so much time strat hunting uh, when all these new discoveries were found recently that I just kind of ignored this part, assuming I just remember. Just go ahead and make a safety save now, as well. Yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. It's coming back to me. Yeah, so actually, you don't have to run to the desert. You just gotta move. Just gotta move, somehow. That being said, I'm getting dangerously close to this mountain. Give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. 
Yeah, it's gonna take like all of my uh, attention to do the strat right, so. If you feel like there's uh, anything important to say on name, that's on you. Yeah, this is pretty a new find to shoot the parachute. Because a few months ago we would go for like another parachute on the... On the Mount Chiliad. By doing a bit of... Uh, yeah, DM tomfoolery. With, with the DM to persist like the progress. Because if you, if you leave the desert for too long, your progress will, re will reset. Unless you break the game. Yeah, unless oh, you break the game. One of my, uh, the cans on my desk just fell over for moving my back. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm good. Panicked a little bit there, but I'm fine. Yeah, the one, uh, downside to this, uh, or the two downsides to this strat for me are... Or, I guess three. I keep thinking of some. One, y you gotta pay money. Uh, two, you need a high mouse sensitivity. And three, you probably want a lot of desk space. At least it's fast. Oh yeah, and unfortunately this bug doesn't work on latest patch. It's been fixed. It's It's only... On the older patches. Yeah, we play on a version of GTA 5 from 20 Eight years ago. Yeah, eight years ago. Yeah, can we for the 10th anniversary of that? <laughs> yeah, when I was first organizing this event, I was thinking, oh, it's the 10th uh, year of the version on the uh, Xbox 360 and PS3. Wouldn't it be cool if we uh, got like a uh, 80% run on one of those consoles? Then I realized how infeasible that would be, so I was like, eh, we'll just stick to PC running. Although the old generation has some unique with like yeah. home struts. Not many, but there are some. The two I can think of off the top of my head are uh, Long Stretch and Chop. Where there's a faster Chop skip, and on Long Stretch, if you do the shootout fast enough, uh, you can avoid getting a wanted level entirely. I, can you I think, think of also any other on, on on father's son, you can kill the guy earlier on the boat, the first one. Oh, nice. I think that also can happen on the first PC patch. The 124, that's really hard to get to work. Oh, yeah. When uh, P127 downgraded for 124, uh, XD. It really exists, just works for very limited amount of people. Same as uh, 127 before P127 came in. Oh, yeah. Play. I mean, I wasn't around, so I don't know. Yeah, I remember that time. I was like, oh, thank God this happened as soon as I was going to university. While I go to school, uh, uh, everyone else can fix it. And then I got sent home because of COVID two weeks later. All right, almost done here. Yeah. So we can hear Michael having a mental breakdown already. Kiflam. Oh yeah, cops won't matter. Right. Yeah, they don't really matter. Uh, I don't know if the save warp will work. That's my uh, only no, concern. Sl sleeping removes them one level. So oh wait, no, I've got a solution. I'm gonna die anyway. Oh, right. I'm just gonna move a little bit here to make sure I stay in the pilgrimage zone. Because I was kind of going pretty far south. Don't want to lose uh, my progress now. Oh, jeez! Alright, guess, guess we're uh, walking the last point two miles. Yeah, average Epsilon run. I mean, at least you didn't uh, die from that fall. True. Fun fact, if you die, you lose all your progress. One time I was uh, parachuting over, like, west, and I smacked into a billboard. 
Yeah, that oh. run died pretty quickly. Oh no. Come on. Any moment now. Yay, we're done. It's done. And I want to die here, so I'm just gonna... Wouldn't the SMG be better? Oh! Uh, I think the SMG does less damage to the car. Like, I've dumped a whole SMG mag into the uh, tank before and not been able to blow it up. Well, you can do it in one mag with the pistol. Nice rain. So yeah, save work for the last time. And we're gonna have to sleep at least once. We should also go ahead and check and see if we have enough money. Finally pull our stocks out and have our moment of truth. <coughs> All right, pause your fishes, everyone. We're oh, five no. grand short. <laughs> All right, off for a little adventure. Honestly, at this point, we're overestimate. Yeah, and it's I got really unlucky day, with so. the stocks. RNG. Yeah, that 15% drop was incredibly unlucky. If it weren't for that, we would have definitely been fine. Maybe you can find a random security one. <laughs> That'd be really funny. But I don't think there are any random security vents on the drive I'm, route I'm taking. I mean, I guess you could try the one we do in the first in Hondo. Nah, I'm just gonna drive over to the uh, money spot. This one says 120? Oh! I could have sworn I wrote down 110. Oh, it got probably changed, just in case. I mean, I feel like if I didn't say anything, I'd gaslight people. I just changed it a few minutes ago. Based. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, Chris, uh, the epsilon like leader guy, is supposed to call you while uh... like after his missions and stuff. But he's well, kind of just stuck like, up throughout the duration of the uh, parachuting, actually. Oh, there's no jet ski. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. It's probably because uh, of the rain. Yeah, rain or time of day issue. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna swim it. Uh, yeah, it's this. Let me check the mini map to make sure I'm not messing this up because it would be. Which one? I think it's this one. No, it's this I one. I don't remember. I, I I could never remember this this place for the money. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for another money source. Told you. Oh well. This just makes it funnier. I might have chosen the wrong spot. Oh wait, is that it? Yeah, that's the submarine, we're good. I did choose correctly. I feel like we should have pulled the money earlier when the stocks were going down. Well, by then the stocks had already gone down. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna have to tap swim. I guess, yeah, just tap shift. Yeah, I should be okay here. Just don't die and lose another five grand. And one more safe warp. Did I? Okay, I didn't sleep, so I need to uh, yeah, fix need time to of sleep. day and then put my robes back on. Because you lose some when you die. Yeah, so basically I set up to last mission. Need to have the robes on and 50k.
Yep. There's submission marker. Now one more walk through Michael's house. Of course it's still raining. Oh no. Whatever, I'll be fine. Hopefully. Because driving the rain is yeah. terrible. Alright. Okay. Last mission. One last little gift for you, Unnamed, since you've been so great staying up so late. Oh no! I'm gonna give you your tractor. I don't even know when the mission finishes with this. Me neither. Uh, let's find out. Nah, okay. What, you want me to uh, abandon? I can. Yeah, I go abandon. Alright. Might be yeah. harder to lose them now. Though. Oh, probably. Oh, well, can't get worse than that last one time I got world record and flung myself into the ocean. But yeah, we're gonna drive on the uh, wrong side of the road to uh, lose the uh, Epsilon members faster. Come on. Yeah, the, by the way, the timing will end when the mission pass screen will appear for this yeah. mission. It's only the heli left. Might need to We're shoot just shooting it down. it down, yeah. Come on. Oh no. Come on. Okay, maybe if I run like this. Come on. I don't think I could shoot the pilot from this angle. There we go! I've never had to do that before. And I almost died, of course. Okay. Alright, time. GG. GG. That was all <laughs> Epsilon missions. That was a chaotic run. It normally goes better than that. You fucking traitor. Yeah, and with that, that is uh, 10 years of GTA 5. I gotta say, it's been an honor. Oh yeah, the hat stayed on. Nice. Hat. <laughs> I'm not even doing any predictions. I would have. I would have lost. Oof. Anyway, I think it's kind of late for pretty much everyone here. Uh, I'll leave it to you to wrap it up, Sarge. Uh, if you, honestly, if you two want to uh, say some shoutouts, I think uh, I think you two at least deserve that. It's been a oh yeah, time. fair. Completely forgot about that. Look how tired I am. Uh yeah. Uh, follow me at twitch.tv slash Rick Giles. Uh, I will occasionally be doing runs of this, especially with the new strats we found. I will definitely be grinding for a better world record. Um, I also run any percent classic with Omo, and I'm trying to get back into uh, some hundred percent in all missions categories. What about you, unnamed? Any last thoughts? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I said probably said enough on the on the segment run. <laughs> It's almost 5 a.m., so I, I cannot think anymore. That's valid. All right. <laughs> well, um, I appreciate you all coming out here. Um, everybody who watched, uh, everybody who ran and commentated. Uh, seriously, uh, an awesome showcase of this game uh, that I legitimately still can't believe came out 10 years ago. But here we are. Um, uh, this community is great, uh, and y'all really uh, came out today in full force. So thank you so much. Uh, we've been going for a while. Uh, we ran a little later, so uh, let's wrap it up real quick. Thank you, everybody, for dropping by. Um, don't forget, uh, we got like three hours left on GDQ, AGQ run submissions, and volunteer submissions are open for about another week. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those, don't uh, don't forget to get those submissions in. Uh, we are going to take a quick break while we look for somebody to raid. Uh, anybody who isn't uh, up at 5 a.m. and wants to keep uh, watching some speedruns, uh, feel free to stick around and let's cheer on somebody else in some other speedruns. Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>